Rolling, we rolling. Check it out, it's your man's verdict right here on the shot and verdict versus everybody podcast. <laughs> this nigga, uh, episode 39. What's this nigga, uh, fuck it, uh, what's my man came out Breakfast Club with the mask on, Kodak Black and shit? Oh, come like, on, that nigga was on that bitch the whole time. <laughs> I think I'll be like how when Nori came on Breakfast Club, dog, he turned that bitch into the drink chance. Nigga. That's how nigga turned this shit to his shit. Yeah, Breakfast Club, his show, nigga. Yeah, no, you gotta talk sometimes, you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, for real. yeah, I got a special guest here today, y'all. My man Shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We on E Block, you know. Six Mile and Gunston. Appreciate so, you having me, cuz. You know, it, it ain't nothing, bro. I'm already on episode 39. You feel me? So, um, <laughs> you know, just tell the people, you know, how you started or what made you want to get on this podcast today. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I had woke up thinking of my shit. Yeah, damn, nigga. Got fired on this motherfucking day. Well, sometimes shit. you invite the wrong people. No, you still, you know. But yeah, like, we wrong, right? Yeah, we roll. All right, man, you keep that shit, all that shit. Shit, what, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shot. Shot versus everybody podcast, episode 39. We supposed to have different guests, like, <laughs> but we got my nigga Vert. We've been talking about this shit for a minute, dog. What's going on? This what nigga supposed to Ben came on. He been talked about in two interviews with uh, with Hurt and with motherfucking uh, Joe Kane. Shout out. And all them niggas was talking about you, talking about how dope you was as a motherfucking MC and all that shit. So, but we going to start <laughs> off on some, on, some, on some positive shit, dog. Uh, I usually do a shit called Salumi while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be passing away, and then you be on Facebook like, damn, they showing hella love. But when they was here, they wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't showing that type of love, or niggas be too scared to tell a nigga how he feeling shit. So I've been shouting niggas out left and right. I'm kind of running out of niggas to shout out. But dog, I'm going to shout your ass out because you did an interview with uh, Hood Howard Stern, nigga, like, <laughs> I want to say 2016? 2018. 2018. Eight. One of them days, one of them years, and you had your uh, you know what I'm saying your uh, album came out uh, uh college, college, college for everybody, for, yeah, college for everybody, and um, I I wasn't supposed to be on that show, bro. I just came over, I was off and shit, and uh, you and your uh, your dog Paulie and shit from Beneficial was on the show, mm-hmm. and shit. And that's the I know I'm asking questions with this nigga Q. <laughs> I go home like, cuz I think I could do a motherfucking show myself, nigga. Like interviewing niggas and shit. So I already told Paulie that shit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I say I tell your ass that shit. So the, them two niggas kind of like birthed the motherfucking showers everybody podcast. Because when I went to the crib, I felt myself a little bit. Felt That's I fire. could do this shit. And That's fire. Nah, two years later, I got the best podcast in the city. So. Come on, nah. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. That's my motherfucking salute right there, dog. Come on. And, oh, yeah. But the only thing about it, when you salute niggas, it can't be like your kids, your mom, your dad, your brothers or sisters. got to be like homies, cousins, distant relatives. So it's my turn to salute. Mm-hmm. And I can't salute my mama. No, because that's everybody do that shit all the time. I mean, we can shout her out, mama verdict. But uh try to do somebody who wouldn't expect it. I wanna shout out Paulie. All right, bet. I wanna shout out Paulie. Took me from um uh, I can take this down. Watch me network. <laughs> um, <laughs> we gonna talk about that, all that. <laughs> uh but no, he took me from a sixteen year old that just had nothing but dreams. You feel what I'm saying? And um I'm gonna try not to say you feel me what I'm saying anytime. I'm trying to be professional, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but no, he just took me from a 16 year old with, with nothing but dreams of this, and we accomplished so much. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I said it again. Mm-hmm. But Bless we accomplished you. so much, and it just didn't work out mm-hmm. on the business end, but that's still my big brother. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Damn, that's crazy. That I took my that. first plane ride with Paulie, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Where y'all go, Cali? Minnesota. Okay, Minnesota. I went to go get my first album, All Rise Mixed by uh Tom Tucker Jr. Not Tom. Tom Tucker, which is uh was Prince assistant. Okay, damn. Yeah. That's what's up. Hell no. Minnesota. Uh October two thousand eleven. I was like That was your first fight on the plane. That's first, first fight in the play. First no, it's time good. It's good. It was, it was a fight for sure. <laughs> when that engine get the revenue, you sitting right next to it and woo. Oh yeah. That real. shit's scary as hell, dog. My first uh, time on plane, dog. Shout out to Paulie again, beneficial. Uh, my first time on a plane, though, I was like uh, 12, going to Texas, bro. And it was right around that time that uh, one of uh, JFK uh, kids had died, whatever, on a mm. single-engine plane. So, mm. I mean, that's extra scary. That's the scariest part, I think, on a plane, dog, is 
it's going it's going up, dog. Cause you're like, damn, it's like it's over. Like it ain't shit. You you got no control. There's nothing over you can do. Right. And speaking of that's, I was on my podcast when I found out Kobe passed away. I know you're a Laker fan like I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the first time, bro. Like that sh- that shit. Somebody death hit me that wasn't like a part of my inner circle of my family, and that shit hit me hard, dog. Like damn, I'm in this bitch crying for like a week. You know it's crazy. <laughs> you know it's crazy. I still haven't cried from it yet. Man. Every time I want to or think about it, I just think about something else. Yeah, dog. Like, but I be in the midst, I be in a conversation with my girl, like, we just be talking about anything. And I just be like, damn, I miss Kobe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy. For real. Cause it's I, crazy, especially seeing how deep of a playoff run the Lakers making now. And it's yeah, just like, yeah, like damn, fuck. Kobe can't even celebrate. Yeah, this. And, this the, and the last time they made the playoffs and went deep was with Kobe. You feel me? Right. That absence without him, they was even with him in the last two years, but that wasn't Kobe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> that Achilles. Yeah, and that that Achilles ended him. Hell his yeah. career, I should. No, that's how much I'm a Kobe fan, bro. That shit almost made me cry when and they the Achilles? Achilles. Yeah, against Golden State, uh, nigga went past uh, Harrison Burns. I was at work. I'm like, fuck. When they grabbed his leg, I'm like, it's a wrap. You know, what when you ma- grab that area, it's over. Yeah. What made it so special was they was making a playoff run because yep. that's when they had Dwight. Hell and yeah. it was just it wasn't the chemistry wasn't working. Steve Nash was hurt all year. Oh yeah, just like they made that final playoff push, and it was just like. And that's when you found out that motherfucker Dwight Howard was soft as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even say he was soft as fuck. I'm gonna say he just wasn't ready for the LA line. Like, yeah. yeah, he wasn't ready for the expectations. There's a big difference between being playing for the Lakers and playing for Orlando. Oh yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So. And because that Orlando team, bro, it was dog. Because if nice. you think about it, he still led the league in rebounds that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what and so? it's like it's a certain expectation when you playing with Kobe, dog. Because Matt Burns talking about this shit on his podcast, like you gotta be like a fearless ass. I'm gonna get in your face. You ain't talking shit to me, type of dude for him to even respect you. If he see any signs of weakness or or, or some bitch in you, like it's over. Like he gonna disrespect the hell out of you. And watching that Jordan doc, he was the same way. Can you like we are gonna get back on music? But can you play with a nigga or? Or be on the same page as a nigga who just like who 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 like that? Can it, like what? Like how Kobe is somebody who kinda like intimidating the others. So you gotta go in that bitch like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you ain't doing that shit to me. Like cause that can be with music, that can be with a label, it could be with your homies, expectations and shit. Like they expect so much from you that they hard as fuck on you. I don't know if I'm not that person. Okay, yeah, you could be. Like, I just I'm gonna yeah. compare it to being in the studio with rappers. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm that rapper that wanna push everybody to do if you make a whole lot of songs, fast tempo, let's do a slow tempo song. Yeah, 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 let's yeah. just challenge yourself. So hell yeah, hell I don't yeah. know if I'm not that person. So Yeah, you might be, dog. Yeah. And sometimes you can't... I can handle that shit, dog. Like, you got to be able to handle criticism. You got to be able to handle a nigga telling you, like, dog, you should do this. If you can't, then shit, a lot of shit ain't going to be for you. And, like, a lot of niggas hoping wasn't for them. Who was that one nigga uh, Jordan was hoeing in the dock? Uh he was hoeing him. Scotty Burrell? Yeah, Scott Burrell. Yeah. You never even heard that nigga after, uh, after he left him off left the Chicago, bus. boy. And th- like, he couldn't handle that shit. And I think he was like a rookie with them niggas. And Jordan was just hoeing him. And Jordan knew, like, dog, you a hoe. Like, you ain't ready for the, <laughs> You ain't ready. <laughs> like, you ain't ready for that big moment, boy. And, and yeah, he was calling that nigga all type of shit, dog. Like, and play with Jordan, dog, it had to be hard for niggas, dog. And I could play for Kobe, it had to be hard for niggas. Like, that's why Kobe probably respected niggas like like Ron Artest and motherfucker. Can you imagine what Kwame Brown go through? Oh, nigga, he got hold by both of them. Yeah. And you a number one pick come from high school, dog. Like, and no, I feel like Kwame Brown wasn't ready. No, he wasn't. He wasn't ready. Like all them stats look good when you playing in high school. You yeah. seven feet. You average thirty points, twenty boards. Hell That's yeah. cool. I guess he should have. He should have went to college. Hell yeah, for sure. He, he should have went to college. A whole lot, dog. But some niggas be too scared to go to college because they like, okay, my ceiling here, and they. Projecting me to be a top five pick, I might ruin that shit by going to college, or I might right. ruin that shit by staying extra years in college. You know what I'm saying? Which which leads me to think, what do you think about the one and done rule? They should just do that shit from high school, dog. Cause like, I agree. You wasting their time, bro. And I feel like the players who want to go to college they should go stay, to college, and they gonna stay for probably two years or whatever. But like, you know, cause that's what Ben Simmons was saying when he was with LSU, like, dog, I was wasting my time. Like I just they ain't even make the tournament. Yeah, like I just want to hoop, bro. I ain't trying to. I ain't worried about chemistry one and the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about that shit. I'm trying to hoop, work out, and get right. That's why a lot of niggas like. I think B. Jennings was the first one to say fuck college and go overseas. Went to Italy. Yeah. yeah, and he was playing against Ricky Rubio and all that stuff. He had committed to Arizona. He was like, man, fuck that. I'll give me a quick meal and work out with pros uh-huh. and get ready for the draft. Uh-huh. Lamelo Ball. This motherfucker was getting talked about he like be a dangerous. Th- man, he six be dangerous. eight, bro. <laughs> 
guard got vision. Only they, thing, and I feel like they be worried about the wrong shit. Like mm-hmm. he or his shooting shot with mechanics. Like, like, come shit. man, he gonna be dangerous. Yeah, like dog, and plus like dog, everybody in the league like. Everybody ain't Steph and Clay. Like, niggas ain't got <laughs> motherfucking automatic guns out there. But it's like, it's other shit that you can do. Being a 6 8 point guard is going to be a dangerous thing, dog, to most people. Because then you learn how to back up niggas like a Steph Curry or somebody who on you. Then give me that bitch on the block. You, you know remember, what I'm when, remember when Steph went on that Davidson run? Oh, yeah. I was watching that shit during the whole little quarantine, dog. That was dog. crazy. That went was off crazy. On Wisconsin, Georgetown. That was crazy. They made it, what, the Elite Eight? Yep. Almost made it to the Final Four because they could have won that game, dog. And that's what you going to, that's what I missed about the March Madness with the whole Corona. That's when you get those players that you ain't had shit. About, That's what no, I miss about. about the players who wanted to be in college. Mm-hmm. Like Steph came out with his junior year, right? Yep. Because he could have came out after that, but he's like, I'm coming back. I'm going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the players shit. that want to develop, they stay in college. Yeah, yeah. Dame went to a four year school at Weber State. Weber State, right? You know what I'm saying? Came right. in this bitch, won rookie of the year and shit. CJ went to what? Lehigh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, blue as hell. So we, before, uh, one thing, I know we about to probably argue about this shit, dog. Do you feel like LeBron should have won MVP, bro? Oh, we, I'll say this before you answer that, dog. Giannis, niggas be forget, niggas be judging off the what have you done right now. So they judging off the playoffs and how they got bounced real quick by my, Miami. But you got to pay attention to what he did in the season. He averaged like damn near 30, it was 14 like 30, rebounds. 30, 14 rebounds, most you know six, what I'm six assists. Yeah, like he's killing. And that's without a three point shot. Averaging 30 points without, <laughs> without a consistent three point shot, bro. That's hard. If anything, I actually feel like it probably should have been co MVP. Him and him, him and Brian. And I know that that I don't think MVP. I don't think it ever been co MVPs in the season. I know it's been co MVP All Star games, co rookie, rookie of the year. Yeah. But you can't take away from what Giannis did. But you can't take away of how LeBron led the Lakers, even though he has a top five player on his team. Mm-hmm. He does. Mm-hmm. So you can't take away from what AD does for the Lakers. Mm-hmm. But at the same time. AD putting up the same numbers he was putting up in New Orleans. Hell yeah, hell yeah, we, we, yeah for sure. And like and really, a lot of them guys he be he be carrying the team. With LeBron is thirty five years old. Bro. Hell yeah, seventeen years in the league. Seventeen years in the league. Still. LeBron been in the league since I was a freshman in high school, bro. Damn, hell yeah. When he was in the league, I was a junior. You see what I'm, <laughs> I'm saying? Like, this nigga cold, bro. Like, <laughs> but but what's ain't got robbed that year, bro? Melo should have won Ricky that year that year. True. He took his team to the playoffs. But we talking about LeBron James, bro. Yeah, man, but <laughs> <laughs> we talking about LeBron James. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Melo you... did eighth seed Nuggets. I remember that. I year. people sleep. I am Melo. People would say what they want to say about Melo, dog. But if he would, you see what he did with his best, his best team as far as with Denver and with New York. With Denver, he went to the Western Conference and he ran to that guy Kobe. With New York. They they went they went to the second round and ran to a better Indiana team. The real, that was the real uh, uh, playoff P. Cause this nigga this P ain't this nigga P from the street. They line. called him pan, <laughs> they called that nigga pandemic P. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that nigga dog. Like, but that was the, that was a, a good ass team. You had Roy Hibbert when he was actually good. You had Mark, he was good for a half a season. Yeah, in you the had playoffs. Danny Green, uh, West David West. Like you had squad. Lance Stevenson. Lance Stevenson was coming. Was George Hill was George Hill was there. Yep, yep, he was there because that's when they had traded. They yep. traded George Hill for Kawhi. Kawhi. <laughs> Looking bad, like goddamn, this nigga, the Pacers was dumb. Cause they had Paul George and Kawhi back then. I seen a meme. They called it. It had a whole list of shit that was uh, going on. Paul, Paul George. They called a nigga. Uh, PG missed thirteen shots, <laughs> dog. <laughs> dog, <laughs> them niggas, dog was trash. So yeah, oh, so God. I just say like, like Melo, he get a bad rap sometimes, but I don't think it's all his fault. Like. Of course, he wanted that brand in New York. Who I don't want that money? But he never been surrounded by like a perfect team. What me? makes what makes it so bad is he could have waited. Mm-hmm. He could have waited half of a season. That's it. Yeah, yeah. He, he was could, a, he was about to be a free agent that year. And, he still had and New York team. had money. Yeah, and you got so it had been him, Ray Felton. He got traded with J.R. Smith, so J.R. Smith probably would have still been with the Nuggets. Yeah, you got he Gallinari. Had Gallinari. Wilson Chandler was killing. Was, they traded man. him. <laughs> and they still have Mari. So remember when the Lakers signed Miles Golf for that, that money? No, I ain't gonna talk about that shit, dog. Them Lakers. Miles Golf, Lou Aldang. <sighs> Lou Aldang barely played, dog. That can't be no worse than Tom Pearson drafted Ben Gordon and motherfucking Charlie V. When they signed him? Yeah, that, they gave them niggas hella bread, dog. <laughs> Just to stink that motherfucker up, dog. And, and that's what I'm do. So do the NBA? Do they have to give the? Do they have to fill their salary cap? I don't think so, because you can do, I, I think now, like, even with, last year with the Lakers, they did a lot of one-year deals, yeah. just so they can keep that money for the following year when they got AD right. and shit like that. So, I don't think they got to, like, fill that shit out. 
Because Pistons like gave hella money to two bench players. <laughs> yeah, Charlie V. I remember. Oh, that shit was fucked up. Come out. My brother in law got you know alopecia, but that shit was fucked up when uh, KG did that shit to him. Yeah. Say he was a cancer patient. And all that shit, dog. <laughs> yeah, KG ain't right for that. <laughs> but he shit. Ain't right for that. So what's that come to <laughs> that 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 leads me to a question. What's the craziest lie you say to get out of some shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that you can that you can talk about. <laughs> damn, you pretty good at this shit. Uh, <laughs> the craziest lie I told Don't to get out of something. All this shit, bro. It could be your mama. You told your mama. Let's come back to that. I don't even know. What's yours? My shit was, now I used to, you know, my oldest son, mama and shit, we ain't together. Mm -hmm. I used to like going to a club a lot. You know what I'm saying? I had my oldest son when I was 20, so I'm young. I'm still trying to, you know what I'm saying? I was a good father. Shit, I had my son. Mm -hmm. Even when me and her broke up, he was staying with me. You feel me? So uh, a lot of times I'd be like, I'm spending at my mama's house, but I'm really going to fuck around with this nigga or my homie's going to the club. So one day, she just trying to like, she trying to. Figure out where I'm at for real. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the club, but I'm leaving. So it's like 2 in the morning. I'm in the car. So I'm like, fuck, I got to answer this phone because she calling me. So, nigga, I, I'm in the back of the seat, back of the car, dog. Like, answer the phone with this sleepy voice. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> like, so the car next to you hung the horn? No, no, but she hear all the wind. Because, like, it's like the car, the window's up, but she can hear that I'm outside. I'm I'm in the car. So I'm like, what up? She's like, where you at? I'm like, I'm in the bed. She like, dog, it's like you in the car. I'm like, no, I'm in the fucking bed. Like, dog, and she just not believing me, dog. I'm like, dog, I'm in the bed. Malcolm got, my brother got to go to the basketball game tomorrow. I spend night at my mama's house. I got to take him to the game early in the morning. I don't feel like waking up and missing out on this nigga game. Mm -hmm. I'm in the fucking bed. So she cussed me out, this, that, and third. I, th I think that's what led to her cheating on me. Because mm. I was just leaving her every night, every weekend. Going to my brother, going to my brother's shit on my mama's shit. Damn, I want to think of something. I want to, <laughs> I want to remember Cause it's like I ain't even gonna be, I ain't even gonna be fake, bro. All the lies that I've probably told, you still gotta keep them up. I'm still, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they, they still rolling. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> the camera's still rolling. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we just gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? But see, this will be from previous, <laughs> from previous relationships. Cause me and my girl right now, we solid. So yeah, I'm trying yeah, to think some old shit. Yeah, I be think. sweating thinking about this shit. That was, that's how I was. And the then it's just like. I've never had, I never had to, I never got questioned mm -hmm. really like that mm -hmm. because it's just like one thing I don't really do mm -hmm. is questions. I don't really like being interrogated. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah, interview yeah. podcasts is cool. Yeah. Shy versus everybody. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. me? But um, like I don't really like interrogation because just like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just never like it. So it's just yeah. like, listen, I nine times out of 10, I just come out and tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't like to. Yeah. But if you think about this. But I'm trying to really think I'm about 20, something. I'm 21, 22, so it's like. And then all my lies been like petty. Yeah. Like petty lies. Like, like, yeah, so, like think about like. I ain't got a lie. job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a dumbass lie, like dumb as fuck, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it, it, it had to be that, though. You're like, trying to expose me to be a liar. I won't let you do it. I think the worst thing I'm I did. I'm seasoned. The, uh, the worst thing I think I did, dog, was uh, <laughs> I tried to lie about. um. Remember back in the day when Facebook first started, like how your messages would come, your inbox, whoever, if you send me a message, it go to my voicemail. I mean, not my voicemail, my my uh, email. I remember that. Yeah. So all your, your all your, uh, I remember that. all the messages you got from that person came to your email. So it kind of like had to guess what you said. So that's funny. I remember that. Yeah. So you know that. what I'm saying? I'm um I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Early early inbox days and stuff, DM days. And uh, my girl go to school. Ooh, that's funny. At the time she went to school at uh. What's the shit when you try to be like a um uh pharmacy tech and shit? Whatever that shit uh, was. Pharmacy downtown. tech. Yeah, it was some little college downtown, whatever. Forgot the name of that shit. Everest. Everest, Everest, Everest Institute, dog. <laughs> so she like, yeah, so you've been talking to girls in um in your inbox or whatever? I'm like, hell no, fuck no. You crazy? Never. I never do that shit to you. I'm faithful. So um, you know what I'm saying? She go to work one day. I mean, she go to her school one day. You know what I'm saying? She catching the bus. We ain't got no car right now. She come back home. So she asked me again. We got to steal your apartment, bro. Like, mm -hmm. nothing. We right there. And we got to face your motherfucking fears right in each other's face. That's hella funny. <laughs> so um, she like, uh, <laughs> she like, so you ain't talk to nobody. I'm like, dog, I told you yesterday. I didn't talk to no bitch on no fucking Facebook. Mm. Bam. She motherfucking put an essay on my motherfucking, in my face. She ain't printed out every fucking inbox I ain't got from every chick on Facebook. She printed it out? Yes. Your baby mama's bored. <laughs> What do you do? I'm in that bitch like, damn, I can't. This is the one time I can't even think of a lie. 
I'm like, well, we were just having a cordial conversation. Like, you, you said you <laughs> yeah. had a dream about this bitch. Like, you got me. Damn. Boom, 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 boom. That's why I went home and did the lamest shit to get my girl back, bro. I play a uh, Ray J uh, verse on her voicemail to try to get her back. It didn't work. And she probably showed it. Let, let everybody hear that shit, too. Damn. One wish? Mm -mm. I hit it first? It was some shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's too <laughs> It was a lot of shit, bro. I forgot, but it was like... Oh, uh, wait a minute. No. It was like... I'm out of rage. <laughs> <so. laughs> it was some shit like... Like, basically, like, telling her, like, like nigga, shit, I, I, I love your ass. Please come back. Like, And it begging. didn't work. No, it didn't work. It didn't Damn, work. I'm trying to think. Damn. Okay, because I remember that. You, you taking me to a time. I remember that for sure. Yeah, because on Facebook back then, you can motherfucking be chatting with somebody on the little chat board. It's, it's not the worst, but just for the sake of the conversation, I kind of do remember... Um, inboxing a girl telling her I wanted to take her out to eat yeah, and shit like yeah, that. And then my yeah. baby mama texts me like, have you been texting a girl that you wanted? She said the name and everything. Like, yeah, you you, like, have you been texting such and such you want to take her out to eat? I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, don't, I don't know where you got that from. Yeah, dog. But you you, know, you, you would be lying for no reason. I know I did. But she, she didn't, it didn't go, it didn't escalate past. She probably just knew I was a liar. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Just. And then that's when you gotta be like, damn, like she probably doing some dirt. I'm doing dirt. Like I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was my daughter's mama. We yeah. um we grew up together. Yeah. So our relationship was never like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So y'all, so to this day, like, our, um, 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 you got what? You got two baby mamas. Two baby mamas. Y'all, y'all still cool. solid. Y'all good. Like great. everything cool. Ain't great. It? And like the uh, fucked up relationships or whatever. Like I hate you. Don't don't talk to me. <laughs> I nah. drop the kid off to the. It's mama. never. It's really never been like that. Well, my daughter's mama. Yeah. Now, my son's mama, you know, I got twin boys. My son's mama. Yeah. Shit, get real. Yeah. But listen, not now. Not now. Like, yeah, back then. Six, 2016 and before. Yeah. Like, since 2016, we had our little situation with the courts and shit. Yeah. We great now. That's my dog. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. But yeah, my son, my daughter's mama, I've been knowing her since I was like eight. Yeah, damn. And, and I actually been knowing my son's mama since I was 10 because... Yeah. We just know each other, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but sure, but sure. shit got real. Shit <laughs> got real. That shit could get super real, dog. Yeah, one of my, my daughter's mama, that's like one of my closest friends, for real. That's what's up, dog. And then, like, your girl right now, she 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 fine with that. Great. That's be, See, that would be the ones you want. That's why I married my, my chick down with now, because she was okay with me having a relationship <laughs> with my son and mom. Because at the end of the day, niggas say, oh, when he turned 18, like, you still got to have conversation with that person even beyond that. Your son going to eventually get married. Your son eventually going to probably get into some trouble. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep that relationship open. And I've been knowing her since she was fucking, like you said, she was 14 years old. So, like, we kind of like, <laughs> I've been knowing her more than half her life. You feel me? But I, I learned from my mom and my daddy. They not together, but they yeah. still, you know, yeah. my mama, um, like, say for instance, she, in the, she went to the hospital. She's not in the hospital now, but she went mm -hmm. to the hospital. My daddy used to take her and bring her food every day. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure, just yeah. like, and ain't nothing like that. It's just, yeah. they friends. Yeah, that's somebody you've been knowing for a long ass time. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, they friends. Yeah, when, when a girl can understand that, she be like, oh, shit, I got a motherfucking keeper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, what, the key to it is, I was just talking to somebody the other day. They like, uh, what, what, how, what makes a successful co-parenting situation? It's just like, both of my situations became solid gold once we stopped fucking around. Dog, dog. Hell yeah. I, you get what I'm saying? Said, I told this little nigga, dog, he was like, he got baby on the way and he already broke up. Nigga, I ain't even give it time. <laughs> so, That's how it was. Baby head came out the one way, like, fuck this, cuz. That's how it was. But I'm like, dog, sure. the only way it's going to work if y'all not fucking. If y'all fucking, then feelings going to always be tied up in it and y'all always going to argue. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be solid. You got to be solid. You yeah. got to be solid. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, because like me and my son, I didn't do shit. And we had the best co-parenting relationship you could have. And she, mm. she I got custody of my son. He go with her. She stay in Florida. He go with her for the summer and be with me during the school year. Yeah, well, my kids stay with me too. Yeah, so it's all gravy, dog. Even though I might have to change Good a little father bit. Shit, you yeah, know? They might have to change once. Um, Watch his network. He play AAU yeah. and shit, dog. He, he might have to go in there for a week and shit. <laughs> <laughs> for real, we hooping for real over here. That's but shit, funny. man, you talking about, you know what I'm saying, you know your baby mama when you was 8 and 10, dog. Talk about growing up. I know you, you know what I'm saying, said it for uh, when you was on... Motherfucking E Block Radio and shit. Got a whole new audience over here, all 8,000 oh, of my man. people. Let's bring them back. Yeah, but tell me how it was growing up. Like, did you have mom, dad in the household? You got brothers, sisters? Like, how was it growing up for you, dog? I had the neighborhood. Yeah. The neighborhood was um my, my mom and my daddy split when I was four. Mm -hmm. And um I had three older siblings in the house. Yeah. Brothers. Okay. And then I had all their friends. Okay, so yeah. So it was just yeah. like 
I really move so cautious in life and boring because <laughs> no for real, me and my girl talk about that all the time. She's like, remember on um remember on Payton the Fool when Ace was oh, yeah, like, I'm yeah. boring. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just me. I'm boring. I done seen it all. Yeah, for sure. I done yeah. seen I don't wanna I don't want that to happen to me. Yeah. I don't want I I know Around that corner is some bullshit. Hell I don't yeah. even want to look at it. Especially growing up where you grew up, because shit, I've been over here too. Yeah, so it's just I'm I'm born. Yeah. And I just I'm chill. Mm -hmm. And I spent as crazy as it is, I spent a lot of time to myself mm -hmm. when I was younger. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm just like I don't I don't really fuck with people now. Yeah, yeah. Like I got sure. the same friends that I had twenty years ago. Yeah, hell yeah. Twenty five years ago. I don't really I don't, right I don't, I ain't trying to meet new people. Yeah, yeah, cause you got unless it's business endeavors. Yeah, and then you gotta connect on them. People. <laughs> like you know you know a network uh, boy. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just, it's just, I just grew up me, you know, and I studied like, say for instance, I know we we talking about me growing up, but it's just like I study every everything I want to do, I study it. Yeah. Like sure. when I when I decided I wanted to become a rapper. Yeah. I studied all the rappers ahead of uh, yeah. you know, and that, yeah. and it was okay, I work I work with um like artists now, for instance, you know what I'm saying, and I'd be trying to tell them like, if you want to be the best, mm -hmm. which is the integrity of the art of being a rapper to yeah. me, yeah, 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 for sure, it's different now, yeah, I guess, yeah, but it's like I want to study everybody that's around me or yeah. the people that's in my field because I want to be better, yeah, for sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, it's so, like like you say rap, like it's like that's like hooping, you looking at that nigga, damn, he cold, but I never really wanted to be a better student. <laughs> my get age like shit. I sell for the C. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. my whole mindset was, I'm gonna be a rapper. Yeah, from, from, from need, day one. Yeah, like from, how old from, was you? From, from the moment I started rapping, I had great grades before. Yeah. Before I wanted to be a rapper, I wanted to be an analyst, yeah. like a sports analyst, yeah, basketball. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And um, so you still do that shit? I can't watch me network, sure. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. For um, sure. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dog. So shit, you uh you growing up and shit, you say mom's dad's broke broke up, you got brothers and stuff like mm -hmm. a lot of times mm -hmm. they shit on there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, we get our musical influences from our parents, older siblings in the crib. Like, what was some shit you were listening to, not necessarily because you wanted to, because you had to. And you grew to like it as you got older. Like Rock Hill. Raquel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, uh, it's crazy because punishment for me and my brothers, we had, I had my own daddy and my okay. brothers had, they, they, they shared their daddy. Mm -hmm. But, um, punishment for us used to be, my mama would be like, you gonna go stay with your daddy. Yeah. And he'd be like, that's great. No, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> want to. It was born in my daddy's house. Yeah, yeah. For me. Okay. Because I was, I will be, you know, he worked, yeah, so you, and I would be the only child, yeah, yeah. so it's boring. You mm -hmm. know, day. And then, like I said, I didn't really mingle with people, so yeah. I'd just be in the house all fucking summer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, long story short, I used to go over his house, and um, he used to, like, say, fans, he'd getting ready for work, or he'd just be around the house chilling. Mm -hmm. He'd be listening to, like, the, the CD that stands out the most to me is Don't Sweat the Technique. Mm -hmm. It just, it stands out the most, and it's just yeah. like... Just listening to him, like, damn, this is this is pretty sweet. Yeah, hell I yeah. like the horns on this song. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. And um, yeah, so the, yeah, that's what we're pretty much. You see, Rock Him. Yeah. But see, my brother, my brother loved Rock Him, dog. He always felt like Rock Him was like the the start of like true bars and rap. Like as far as like you know you mainstream. He, yeah, cause he he can you know before that you had like the hip hop. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucking pop. That was like pop it's song. Christmas time. Yeah, yeah like his queen. Yeah, Mama like made chicken and collard greens. Yeah, so you got him coming with <laughs> with structured bars. You know what I'm saying? He barring you like he he hitting you with those metaphors. He hitting you with those good bars and shit. So that's what my brother always say. Rakim is his favorite rapper ever. And I think um, Rakim was different. It's kind of Rakim. Don't compare lyricism. Just <laughs> just follow me. Rakim is what was to to that generation. Mm -hmm. What Snoop Dogg was when he first came. It was just smooth and yeah, different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. Snoop Dogg wasn't saying the greatest of no, shit. No, he was just saying some good. But it was just good music. it was smooth. Yeah. It was it was it wasn't da 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 da. Why Kim came on thinking of a master plan? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't too much. Ain't nothing like, but sweat yeah. inside. You know what I'm saying? It was just like ooh. It's like he made every song just feel good. Mm -hmm. Like Snoop to me is the he might not be like you say he he don't have the the, the most bars or nothing like that. But he got like the best songs, like, and he's the most famous rapper ever. 
Like white, black, old, young. You know who the fuck Snoop Dogg is. Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, you know who he is. And the mark I think that was a marketing it. I seen that. Genius I seen, as far as I, I like, seen that and I agree to an extent. I will still me personally will probably still say Tupac. Yeah. most famous. But but I, I can't debate with somebody yeah. saying Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Now Tupac is my favorite rapper. But I I my my, my uh my I girl. feel like Snoop I apologize, bro. I feel Go like ahead. Snoop is the most loved rapper. Oh hell yeah. Time. hell yeah. Hell yeah. But whether you love or hate Tupac, you can't deny that you know Tupac. Yeah, no, you can't at all. And then my uh my girl, uh her dad, be uh her stepdad, whatever, he would be mad at me because I said that um to me, as far as the best rap album <laughs> Let's talk about it. It's like to me, I think it's like uh The Chronic and Doggy Style is up there as best rap album ever. I know I wanna say in my heart of heart that me Against the World is the best rap album ever, hands down. Is that your favorite, Me Against the World? Because you can my have a favorite album, and yeah. you can have, you can be like, this is the best. To, to me, the, to, Me Against the World is my favorite rap album. I believe it got to be between the Chronic and Doggy Style is the I best rap I feel like my, be ever. my favorite rap album is also the best rap album. What's that? Life After Death. Life After Death? Life after, it covered everything. Everything you need. <laughs> everything you no, need, true, it was true. covered on that's that one true. album. That's true. You can't. You want some down south shit? He got some down south. You want some West Coast shit? He got West Coast shit. You want some club shit? He got club shit. You want some grimy hip hop shit? He got that. That's true. That's true. Everything was covered. Yeah. That's Flawless. True. No, I can't argue with you about that shit. I can't argue with you about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this nigga love. Him. And then you got to look at, like, as far as, like, with Big, he became, like, one of the best rappers ever off of two albums. Do you remember the feeling you got when you first heard him on, uh, uh, Notorious Thugs. Mm -hmm. I was like seven. Yeah, I'm like this is different. With, uh, with, uh, with Bone Thugs. Armed and Dangerous. Dog. I'm like whoa. And he said, uh, I heard uh, Fat Joe saying like how um, I think it was uh, um, they didn't want to work with him on that song because they just had fuck with Tupac. Okay. So he was saying like, dog, I don't know, like we fuck with Tupac heavy. We on the West Coast. You feel me? Like we don't want to do it. And then Fat Joe was like, he really talked them into doing that song with Big. And once they did it, they became homies like in that short time. But which one was better? Like, story. The one with which one better? You think the one with, with with big or the one with Pac? Big for sure. Yeah, I, I gotta agree with you. I got, mm. what, what's the story you heard pa about? Pac sound, Pac sound, uncomfortable on that on that beat. I gotta go hear that shit again. I just remember it's like guns. a slow I look. guns at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's shit. Yeah. yeah, but the big shit and that showed you that big. He was spitting like they were spitting. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how how this song got set up, but I just remember them saying like they didn't even they didn't hear that song until it came out. No, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like yeah. uh, they went to do the album. I mean, they went to do the song. Mm -hmm. Uh, they either I want to say either Biggie took all their weed, <laughs> or they smoked with him and got. Okay, that's the story. Nas got smoked out. Okay, when he was smoking with Biggie. He I heard about that. To, yeah. He was supposed to do a song with Biggie and got smoked out. The uh, Bone Thugs did the they laid their verse and left. Yeah. And Biggie was, I guess he was probably too high, but really, yeah. me knowing artistry, yeah. he just wanted to sit back and study some more. Hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. And then he you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's that's the type of move <laughs> yeah. I would have pulled. Like, Hell you know, yeah. What? Yeah. I, yeah. you can't be you can't be afraid no. to to be like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this home. And Bone Thugs don't get enough respect, bro. Just like he did with uh uh Brooklyn's finest with Jay Z. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Who who had the better verse on that? <laughs> it might be Hove, bro. I think Hove got the best verse on that Brooklyn's finest, dog. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give you this one. I'm gonna give you this one. Biggie was better. Mm -hmm. Jay Z was better on I Love the Dough. Yeah. Okay. Jay Z was better on because that 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 mm -hmm. if Faith had twins, she probably had two Pox line. <laughs> Whoa. <Yeah. laughs> No, and I remember what, um I was reading it. I think it was probably be like the tenth anniversary of Blue uh, Reasonable Doubt. So this probably oh six. Yeah. But um. Yeah, it came out ninety six. Yeah. Uh, Jay Z said that Biggie had a line in there that he had to take out mm -hmm. because he was dissing Tupac again. On oh, Brooklyn's finest, or mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And he had to tell Biggie like, "Listen, bro, I don't have no problem with them. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? I ain't trying to create nothing. that part. Yeah. That line where he say, uh, I'm warning you. Uh, he say, uh." Okay, so he said that Biggie ended his verse is what I'm warning you. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the the bar was I'm warning you, most hated in California. Yeah. And Jay Z just took it out like yeah. I keep on warning you. So if you ever listen to Brooklyn's Finest, he'd be like yeah. I'm warning you, you yeah. know. And then it just yeah, Jay. Yeah. 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 He that's said it, I'm warning that's you. That's it. That's funny, dog. And then uh, another thing that's funny is like when you listen to um 
to tracks that niggas rap for people. I was I was listening to Joe Button podcast, my favorite podcast, dog. Right. And I was listening to like they was talking about like reference tracks. And I went back and listened to Biggie's reference tracks for what he was doing for Lil' Kim. That shit was hilarious to me for some reason. Cause like You hit the Gene Deal? <laughs> Who? Gene Deal. No, who's that? He is Puffy's old bodyguard. Okay. He had a story. I mean, he had a, a docu-series called uh, The Last Big Night. Mm -hmm. And he was just basically explaining about, um, you know, the nights leading up to, to Big Biggie's death. death. Yeah. And he was like, you know, they was warned and... I got different feelings for for uh for Puffy. Yeah, I, I don't I don't because I kind of I've heard too many stories that's similar to Gene's deals. It's like basically Puffy knew. Yeah, that was 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 coming down. He knew. Yeah, and got to get in a different car and all that shit. Like, but you know, but back yeah. to um, <laughs> that shit. Puffy was mad yeah. that Biggie was writing for Ken. That ain't the reason why he did it. Yeah, he yeah, did, yeah, but yeah. but he was he was he was he didn't. Biggie was trying to keep that a secret because of the the publishing and shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But when yeah, you just yeah. said the reference track, it made me think. Yeah, because he was. I'm oh like, oh, that shit sounds funny. Hear him rap those bars that she rapping, talking about dicks and this and then all that shit. Like, but that's what you gotta do as a ghostwriter. Shit, and that, hmm. that was like we we gonna get on that shit later on. But real quickly, is that ever ever something that you thinking about doing? Like, or are you okay with ghostwriting for people? I do. Or, or do you do it? Yeah, go go for it. Okay, it's, now I can't. I wouldn't disclose who I. Go no, 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 for sure, for sure. Hell no, hell no. But being a ghostwriter, can a person that's receiving? That I lay those same reference tracks. In <laughs> <that you laughs> <didn't talk. laughs> hey, low key, though, I've been doing that jump uh, as a recent. Me getting older, I've been trying to see if I can write for other people. I wrote something for my brother. We gonna test it and see how it sound, dog. If it do, fuck it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. My son, everybody, we all. That's what that. Yeah, well, ghostwriting <laughs> is is pretty cool. Like now, the, the person receiving the music. Let me ask you this: Is it different ghost ghost writing for a female, and opposed to ghost writing for a dude? Because if a, it it's always seem okay for a female, because you heard about Cardi B, you know about Lil Kim, this then the third. But when you seen Drake, they said that he was getting you know what I'm saying reference tracks from my man's that you know what I'm saying he can't he can't call himself an MC because he's not writing those lyrics down. I don't think Drake even give a fuck about being no. called MC. <laughs> yeah, no. um, he's making some good but, music. But the thing is this. At the time, which was what that was two thousand fifteen mm -hmm. when I came out, I was I was on everybody's side like, oh man, yeah. no integrity, hip hop, yeah. hip hop, hip hop. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, bro, what do you want him to do, man? It's the busiest mm -hmm. fucking person in, in the music industry. And on the right reference now. tracks, those reference tracks was trash. Yeah, they were. But even <laughs> even 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 without trying to 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 take down what my man's did on the reference track, mm -hmm. it's Drake, bro. It's yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Just say, for instance, just say, for instance, your music pop off or your yeah. podcast pop off. Okay. When it pops off. Yeah. Sure. Um, you busy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You still want to do your music, but it's just yeah. like you got this business over here, a Sprite one at meeting with you, such and such. Yeah. And then I come to you, like, listen, bro, here go a song. Yeah. Just record that, put it out. Yeah. They business was never supposed to hit the light of day. Yeah, at all. At all. At all. I heard it came out. I'm pretty sure that? if you was busy and I sent you some fire, yeah. you would be like, all right, yeah. if if knowing that our business won't hit the light of day, yeah, 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 hell yeah, just throw me my whatever you, like, you gonna I ain't throw me. Worry about writing some shit. All I gotta do is go and deliver it. Just go deliver it. Yeah. It's there for you. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It's it's always crazy with that shit because you you know you know Easy Eden got you know Ice Cube to me made NWA like it was it was it, that's why I always say Ice Cube is in my top ten <coughs> because he made <laughs> the probably the best group ever. You know, say if it was for him, it wouldn't be an Easy E. I don't think Dr. Dre be as big because you know what I'm saying without fucking Ice Cube. Ice Cube is the reason why NWA blew up, and why he's still blowing up afterwards. Like Ice Cube is is a, is a big influence on hip hop to me, especially the West Coast within itself. My ghostwriting started with me writing the hooks for the artist mm -hmm. that's that's on my records. Cause that's hard. Writing the hook is hard. It was writing the hook. Was. I think it's, it was. It's harder it was. Than, it's it harder was. writing my, the hook than my hooks used verse. to sound like verses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause that's what uh, Fifty was. Whole problem was with the game. He said the game could rap, but he couldn't write a song or he couldn't write yeah. a, a, a hook. Yeah, you know? my my um my my brother E class mm -hmm. actually groomed me on the hooks. Mm -hmm. Like just not without word for word. It was just. Without word for word saying what he actually said, it was just like this got to feel different. Yeah. It got to feel good. Yeah. It got to be the the part that everybody want to sing. Yeah. It has to be this, cause I I will give you seventy two straight <laughs> bars in a minute. Yeah. And that's, and that's that. The spitting, you boy, feel what like, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But that that be the thing, dog. The hook, 
And the beat is the I think the part of the song that make the consumer know if they gonna go ahead and keep listening or not. Right. Because you ain't gotta hear a fucking bar. It be, oh, this beat trash. Let me turn this shit off. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that hook. Oh, that hook. No, fuck that. Because usually most songs starts with the hook. Oh, no, I'm good. Turn that bitch off. Like, that nigga might have been saying some real shit in them verses, but you wasn't feeling the beat and you wasn't feeling the hook, so you went to the next song. All right. So back. Uh, um, oh, go ahead. Wait, uh, go ahead. Uh, the go ahead. song. But you, you actually asked me. I think you was in the process of asking um, what what was better, like writing for a male or a female. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, so and writing for a female, like, it seemed like it'd be a little easier because with the dude, it's kind of like nigga. I, in hey. today's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In today's so time. So, which one would you? Yeah, who would you rather write for? Like, as far as female. Female. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Cause man. it's like you gotta create some shit for real. Like, you just gotta you gotta you gotta step outside yourself. Yeah. Like writing for you yeah. will be easy for me because yeah. I'm sure you will say some shit that I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you gotta be on the opposite side, for writing girl, for gotta, a female. You gotta look at your inner. Period. Like when I wrote, I don't know how familiar. <laughs> That's funny. Like, your inner yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with my song Scenario featuring Nisha Nashe. Mm-hmm. I actually, oh, when I wrote when I wrote her part, like that song was really tailored for her. Like my yeah. song Feelings was was tailored to hook was tailored for Dej Loaf to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh baby, I like it raw. Ain't nothing yeah. like the real thing. Like that was yeah, I wrote yeah. that the, the the hook that you hear on there is the reference. That is the reference track. Okay. And um. I guess she was going through management changes, so she didn't. She ended up not doing a record. Yeah. And my engineer was just like, "Fuck it, we just gonna keep this hook, sure. mix the hook, and that's just yeah. you feel what I'm saying." Yeah, so yeah, I sung yeah, yeah. it for her to be like, "Yo, know, damn, that's me." Yeah. But the uh, scenario was written for. I was trying to go for that another feel with uh like uh, Biggie and Lil Kim. What would you do? Where yeah. it's just like back and forth. The mm-hmm. men sing the men, the man part, and then the woman. You know what I'm saying? So. That was really written for Nisha to do. Okay. And she got in the studio and delivered Killed, it like yeah. that. That's what's up, dog. Shit, yeah. Hell yeah. So I could see why it'd probably be better for you writing for a female than opposed to a dude. That's fine. Yeah. I just, all I had to do is just write the opposite of what I said. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I, yeah, I got a song like that for this one chick, dog, uh, that I'm thinking about going ahead and recording stuff, man. Because I just like doing music, dog. Deal or no deal, whatever, whatever. I just like doing music. It's fun being in the studio, just watching the whole creative process. Even if I'm not even recording, I like seeing how other niggas do shit. I had to get to that point. I had to get to that point where it was fun, deal yeah. or no deal. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell we yeah. gonna get to that part. Oh yeah, though. for Come sure. On, for sure. Now you know you said you said Rock Kim. You know what I'm saying? Big hurt. Now, and I'm gonna tell you why Big Hurt. Okay. I didn't really grow up listening to Big Hurt. Mm-hmm. But story goes all the way back to 2007. Um, a group, my homeboys, my brother, my homeboys, they like brothers to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, E-Class and J.E., mm-hmm. um, they were under label with Paulie first. Okay. I wasn't even under the label. I was just, I met E-Class first. So I met Paulie through E-Class. And them. Mm-hmm. But um, they had a song with Big Herc. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I'll never forget. Yeah. June of 2007. That's how good my memory is. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> June 2007, they had a song with Herc. They called me. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I ain't had no car, no nothing. They yeah. like, we had the, the studio with Herc. Get up here. Yeah. So you're like, fuck it. Um, I was on college. Yeah. My um my sister's, which is my brother's wife. Okay. My sister, um, friend was there at the time. I I like, hey, listen, yeah. Big Herc is at the studio. Yeah, I need that. Can you please <laughs> take me to the studio? Yeah. She's like, yeah. Boom. Took me up there, dropped me off. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Okay. They doing a the song. They they, they um remade Stand It. I can't stand it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't stand it. They they um they was remaking that. Yeah. My objective, only thing I was supposed to do mm-hmm. was just sit there and sit there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm 18. Yeah. I'm fresh out of school. I'm hungry. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> so, <coughs> Herc is in, I'll never forget, we was at the Dream Factory on 8 Mile, right across from Eastland. Yeah. It's not oh, even there see, no more. Yeah. 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 Herc is in a room with the piano, writing, EJ and, uh, well, E Class and JE is yeah. in the in the sound room. Yeah. On a verse. Yeah. Me being me, I goes off with Herc at. Yeah. Because I study. Yeah. I want to be the best. Hell you feel yeah, what I'm sure. saying? Hell Let yeah. me see what you do. Yeah. That makes you you. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You know, so um, I'm sitting in there. I'll never forget. I'm talking to him while he's writing his verse. Big no-no. Yeah. Hell yeah. 18. Yeah. I don't know. We're wet behind the ears. Hell There's yeah. It's a little similar. Hell yeah. But um, he like, hey, yo, young dog. Um, 
let me work. Yeah. I'll chop it up with you when I'm done. I said, got you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I write me a 24 because, I, you know, I'm <laughs> ready, boy. <laughs> what? So they lay their verse. I go in there. They like, we could give you a 16. If we like it, yeah, we, we keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go in there and spit a 24. They say, bro, we gave you. Now you can't even get on the song. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we didn't get you. They, you know, they give an inch, they want a foot. No. I took a mile. So, um, <laughs> so, you know, then Hurt was about to go. He pulled me to the side and he gave me the realest game that I will not disclose okay. ever. Hell yeah, That's sure. why I will always have respect for her. Yeah. It was basically I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little. It was basically along of being an artist and not a rapper. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Hell yeah, for sure. And he just gave me game, bro. And it's like every time I get a chance, any, every time I see her post on Instagram, I always, what's up, Unc? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're and such. Thank you. you probably feeling like that was your opportunity, so you wanted to jump on that shit Oh, I quick. was crushed when yeah. he told me I couldn't get on there. That's like the whole shit. And I he, think he's seen it. Yeah, with, with this nigga, he hit me up one day. I'm with my, uh, you know, first son, mom, and she's like, dog, we going to the studio, Ben C going this bitch. Mm. I'm like, oh, shit, hell yeah, let's go. I, I mean, that bitch doing same. Story too. I'm go thinking, ahead. I'm, I'm doing same thing you doing. I'm trying to write. I mean, that bitch putting four verses together to make a good mm -hmm. verse. Though. Mm -hmm. I mean, that bitch like, write <laughs> this line, that line. I'm ready. The only thing I wanted up doing that bitch was doing a little chant, nigga. Like, mm. like yeah, y'all come in here and say, oh, who? I'm like, damn, that's the only thing I did on this song. Man, now they had the best <laughs> fucking IU in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody be in that bitch. So IU is better than me. IU, you, you. <laughs> You, 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 you. That bitch Luther, that bitch, dog. Uh, dog, so I'm in that bitch. I'm watching this process, and that's why I told um, uh, Young Hurt, I'm like, I seen how niggas be saying they don't write. And I thought when niggas say they don't write, they go in that bitch and spit quick 16 clean. Mm -hmm. He's spitting two bars coming out, practicing, coming there, four bars coming out, practicing. That's how it is, though. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, damn, like, this whole, this all different. Like, for this one verse, we probably in this bitch for two hours. Just yeah. for he, to perfect this one verse. Mm -hmm. So I'm in that bitch right for no reason, putting shit together for no reason. And thank God he probably didn't I ask me to record because it would have been super trash pain. probably. So I went that bitch like, oh, who? <laughs> <laughs> what was it, nigga? Like, I never forget that shit. You remember that shit? And I left out, nigga. I'm like, yeah, I'm on that uh, Ben Siegel song. What you say? Oh, who? Oh, who? That was it, nigga. <laughs> you better check me out. That before he got shot and stuff like that. So he was mm. still fat and everything. So yeah, that was my big uh, Benny Siegel uh, story, dog. Yeah, I, I, uh, my Benny Siegel story ain't as good as yours. But, uh, <laughs> my homeboy uh, Marty McFly was mm -hmm. shooting a uh, video. Mm -hmm. I think this around the time where uh, Benny Siegel was BMB. Yeah, he was he was rocking with BMB. Oh yeah, because he was Detroit heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think at the same uh, time then. No, this was after he got shot. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This was after he got shot, but um, I, uh. My homeboy Ted's like, yeah, come down here. I'm shooting a video at such and such and such with Benny Siegel. Just come introduce yourself. Yeah. So I get down there. <laughs> no chance to introduce myself, but I did get it. I mean, you introduce yourself, but it's yeah. just like I, I couldn't kick it how I want to kick it. But it was just like it was weird to me seeing Benny Siegel slim like that and yeah, just like it's moving around like sound. a rapper. I ain't like it. Yeah. I ain't like it. Yeah. I'm I, like, this ain't. I was expecting him like I was expecting them to punch me in my face or yeah. something. Like yeah. I wanted, I wanted to see. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mac. Yeah. You feel me? For sure. Like, like, and niggas sleep on Benny, dog, because yeah, that's the one so. time I say Jay-Z didn't have the best, uh, the best verse on that, uh, What We Do. No. You think Beans had a better verse? No, on no. Jay Freeway had the best oh, verse. Freeway, for sure. But that's the one time you can say Jay-Z didn't have By default. A, yeah, because he had the song. He was able to... Long verse. Yeah, yeah, it. But it was fire. Dog, that, that it was fire, for sure. CD is slept on. Which one? That, uh... The True? Yeah, the first one. I mean, I'm, I'm, my bad. My bad. I'm being single. Uh, freeway, freeway, Philadelphia freeway. That CD is slept on, bro. I'm about to do you on worse. I'll be in my, I'll be in the moment sometimes. So don't tell your viewers, don't, don't kill me. <laughs> sometimes I don't think Cassidy did him as bad as people think he did. Cassidy, that one, um, which Cassidy? You the did? battle. I'm talking about the battle. I don't think he oh. did him as bad as people think he did. I think it was just a shock. Like, damn, yeah. Cassidy spitting. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If freeway was freeway be spitting, bro. And it's just only, like the only thing fucked freeway up was him asking for a beat. Yeah, put on beat. Yeah, that, that's what fucked him up, dog. Put on beat. Yeah, because then it's like, all right, damn, he oh, killed you. Oh, man, straight raw, man. Give yeah. it to him raw. No, and, put on beat. And Cassie, oh, and that's, to me, not watching Cassie battle, it got me second guessing, like, him. I, we already know he was cold at spitting, but now you can't spit those same 99, 2000 lines in 2020, 2018, whenever he came back to battle rap. <laughs> because niggas scheming, niggas got... People come that rap different. For yeah, sure. so you can't come that out, boy. Fight. You can't bar a nigga to death because you gonna get bored. You gotta have some type of scheme. You gotta have some type of 
a, a plot. You got to have a, something to destroy this dude. You can't just come with straight bars and right. a bad rap no more. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you, you ain't coming like, yeah, like with them gun bars. I come with the gun cars. Like you can't, you can't do that. That no. was trash. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, that no more. That was trash. And that's, like, I hope he never would have came with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm that like, was, like, dog, like, damn, come on, Cass, like. <laughs> my man's back in the day, him and Sirius. I was more of a um a I like Lloyd, Banks. Lloyd Banks. Oh hell yeah. I like Sirius Jones and all them <laughs> niggas, dog. For real. So you know, you say you you know Rock Kim, Big Hurt. Like who was the R and B influence? I got some more, had? I got some more. I like it that you keep coming well, you fired for that. No, keep coming back because I be having more people. Uh R and B. Um Cause my R and B was uh my mom was listening to Sade. Okay, so all right, so let's break it down to who my moms used to listen to mm-hmm. that that I can remember. Um, I always catch myself mo- like recently been I've been rocking to Janet Heavy oh, nigga. for some reason. What was that? Um, what was the album? What was the album mama, with the, in the red? Velvet Rope. That was the name of the album. She had it was a red. It was a red um red cover. Velvet Rope. Okay. Oh, you sure? You can look it up. Oh, because that, that d- it's just one song on that mother dog. <coughs> I fucked my mom. I mean my uh, my mother in law and my uh, father in law up with this shit because you know when you get the Oscar. That's a big responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So we we in that bitch playing. We playing that's a big responsibility, dog. Like you can't fuck up when you get the Oscar. court. So we at my um last year before this whole corona shit, we we go over my um my in law's house all the time and we'd go ahead and you know play spades and shit. We trying to teach my wife how to play spades. Control. Control? That was the name of the album, this shit. Oh, okay. Oh shit. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking you're talking about Velvet Room, bro. So um, you know, we playing um Control. We, we playing spades and shit, and um, you know what I'm saying, and we got we we pick songs and stuff. So like, mm-hmm. Tootie, that's, that's what her, we call her her, uh, her stepdad Tootie and shit, her mom Shell. They picking good songs, so it's my turn. So nigga, I gotta keep the I gotta keep the momentum going. So nigga, I, I'm playing some some shit from this Janet song, and they look at me like, damn, nigga, you know about this shit, bro? Like, this was a CD dog that my mom played heavy. That's when like before that whole when she. Like she was a female version of bad. So like, you talking about heavy? Yeah, um, she was heavy. My mom played heavy. Yeah. Crazy, sexy, cool. Oh hell, that, that's a that's a good ass CD, bro. Crazy, Fuck. sexy, cool. Every time I hear that album, it remind me of kindergarten. Yeah. Every day she dropped me off at school. Nigga. Crazy, sexy, cool. And that's why you gotta respect T. Bob because her voice was different as fuck. Mary J. Blige. Uh, what's the four one one? Yep. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. My life. Okay. My life. Um. Later on, like still elementary, uh, TLC fan mail. Okay, that crazy sexy cool um, though. That's a classic motherfucking yeah, album. Yeah, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm um, gonna listen to that shit right now. I leave. Janet you know? Jackson, all for you. Okay. Um, she was, she was, she, she rocked with Whitney. Yeah. But that would be like before my time, yeah, kind of yeah, like you know what I'm yeah. saying. So if if we listen to Whitney, it was because we caught it on the radio. Okay. But the tapes, I rem- tapes. Yeah. I remember yeah. her. See, I remember my mom playing like crazy, uh, sexy, cool. My mama was in love with Gerald Levert and the OJ's. I ain't, I ain't, my, I ain't rock. I ain't. I yeah. wasn't around. Jer- so I'm listening. My, my mom probably, I don't know, she was probably a little older, but Gerald Levert, Anita Baker, we playing that shit heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Teddy Pendergrass, all everything Luther. I, and I discovered all of them on my own. Yeah, yeah. Own. everything. And the one person that was like, play heavy, this nigga don't like Sade, boy. Like, I like what? Sade, how she look and how she sound. And just her mm-hmm. music. Suicide music. Dog. <laughs> like, that was cold. Like, before, like, I tell everybody, dog, Ooh. like, how you say you study rap music from a youngin'. Me, my introduction to rap for real rap was... I think I heard you say this on one of your podcasts. Yeah, 2000, dog, 400 Degrees. Juvenile. That's 98, but I feel you. It was? Mm-hmm. I was thinking about 99 to 2000 when you talking about that bad that thing. Up. Yeah, it, came out, it came out 98 for Okay, sure. well, yeah, that's my introduction. <laughs> and I know that for sure because I was going to the Boys and Girls Club on Shainer <laughs> when that album came out. And I remember... Um, that's funny as hell. Um, my brother used to drop me off. My mom, my mama got my brother... Uh, 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 at that time, he was just turning 18. Mm-hmm. And she got him like a 99 Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> and he had that tape. Yeah. Like, I'm going, I'm I'm from the tape area. Like, these people, oh, they yeah. got streams and all this yeah, other shit. Yeah, tapes, I, was, I, man. Tape cassettes for sure. Hell yeah. But yeah, that 400 Degrees, Cash Money changed my whole outlook at rap. Because like I said in previous interviews, I was listening to Childish Rap. Like, you say, that's that's crazy how you say Rock Kim, your first person is rap music. 
the first rap that I remember. Yeah, see, now, first now one, I'm talking about no, no, no. Your question was who did I listen to oh, that I that I didn't want to listen to that okay, I heard that okay, I ended cool. up liking. My introduction okay. to rap that you was feeling like when you had your own vibe. When I had my own vibe, okay, yeah. okay, who? I'm like two years younger than you, so man, when I had my own vibe, everybody I was listening to, like the Jay Z's and all them, was was uh, was forced, not yeah. forced, but it's just like this what people around me listen to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. My first favorite rapper that I can consider my favorite was Kanye West. Kanye West. Okay. Yeah, I liked rap. I liked rap before. I was rapping before Kanye yeah, West, yeah, man, yeah, but yeah. that was my first favorite rapper. And you know what's funny that it took me forever to like that uh, college dropout album. I had to listen to that bitch by at least a hundred times before I liked it. My um <laughs> my homeboy Christian Randall that I went to school with he uh he used to get all the CDs on Tuesday and that's when he used to come out he used to come Tuesdays. on Tuesdays and um he used to come to school Wednesdays and let me borrow it until yeah. Friday yeah. <laughs> I never gave him that CD back like, <laughs> it, no. it is what it is you gonna have to you gonna have to buy you another one yeah. fam or whatever the case so my be. uh my like I said my uh my step brother my mom got with um this one dude Sir Charles and shit my nigga Chu uh -huh. he uh he like I'm listening to you know the first, or you say your first favorite that was, rap album that was, was my first, that was my first favorite rapper. Kanye okay, West. my first favorite rappers was Criss Cross. Okay. <laughs> See, and then it's just like I rocked with them, mm. or I, I rocked with Jump. Yeah. But they weren't my favorite rappers. Yeah. I that wasn't oh. that wasn't my vibe. I love the whole my, shit. My yeah. whole first like. I'm a fan, like yeah, you know I was what I'm a saying, fan, bro. Get well, on the bus. That's what I was a fan, nigga. Get on the bus. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I had my clothes back with my star jacket backwards, dog. Like, yeah, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, um, like nigga, I was a fan, nigga. I remember getting that CD and couldn't believe it. Like, damn, because when you get a CD, the front of the CD had them backwards. You turn around, it had them frontwards. That's fire. What? <laughs> that's fire. That's great marketing. That's great marketing. Shout out to, to the marketing team over there at I think they was with Rough House. Yep. But um. What was your first CD that you bought with your own money? Oh, I ask that all the time. I ask that question all the time, dog. Okay. And it's funny because I had to think about it. I've been lying this whole time. I said it was Lil Wayne Lights it's, Out. It's breaking news right here on the I said it was Lil Shivers, Wayne. everybody <laughs> watching the network. I said it was Lil Wayne Lights Out, dog, but it was really Usher My Way cassette from a bootleg store. You bought that store. with your own money. Mm -hmm. But from the bootleg store, my uh, <laughs> my uncle. It ain't, shout, it ain't it ain't as bad as mine. But shout out to my uncle Junior, dog. He stayed in these apartments. He, he uh, was trying to set a vibe. On, uh, uh, on uh, I want to say on Moraine <laughs> by Denby. Okay. It was a little uh, bootleg uh, little story. He had all the CDs and shit. Mm -hmm. And nigga, I was listening to Usher videos. I was seeing Usher video. Um, he had that one song. You remind me. No, not you remind me. Oh, you remind me of a girl oh, that I once knew. I apologize, bro. Please don't let me forget this. I lied to your people. Sorry, viewers. <laughs> my first fucking favorite rapper in life was Mace, bro. That's who my... Um, man, I was Mace for like three Halloween straight. <laughs> man, damn. Hey, I feel say, bad. Gonna, my gonna, girl would have watched that and said, you fucking liar. I'm going to say something going to make you mad. How do you, how do you I, be Mace? Yeah, for Halloween. How you... <laughs> Over my eyebrows. Duh. <laughs> I was Mace for like three Halloween straight, bro. Like damn! I'm gonna say something make you gonna make you mad, dog. I feel like Mace is overrated. You, I feel like you sleep. <laughs> like okay, okay. What was his first album? Harlem World. Harlem World. It was cool. Listen, you talk about somebody having a better verse than Jay Z. Yeah, Mace oh, yeah, probably oh, arguably oh, yeah. had a better verse than Biggie or only you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arguably, Mace Biggie was, was rapping. Biggie was cool. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. He his verse was fire. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. You can hum all you want to. Come on. Yeah. That yeah, was that, the vibe, bro. You talking about smooth flow. That flow. was like, the vibe, bro. You talking bro. about smooth flow with Snoop and them. Mace had a smooth-ass flow. He did. He was, I was murder. P. Diddy named me pretty, man. Oh, yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be mad. I'm mad at Mace now. Because what Mace would come back like he... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like he'd come back and, and this camera and just disappear. He'd come back with this and it just disappear. Nigga, is you going to rap? Nope. Or you not going to rap? Not going to rap. Like nigga, don't come, don't but, come. But 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 come on, you know they've been disrespecting Mace for years. They have though, they have. Ever since he, as soon as he turned Christian and Damn. became a, a, a pastor, that's gonna be on. That's gonna go verdict viral. Duh. <laughs> I said Kanye West was my first. That's like you don't understand, bro. Yeah. Like, and see, I can see what you. My want. family gonna see that and be yeah, like, like, "How did you get here a lot?" Yeah. Mace was, bro. Listen, bro, I'm about to tell y'all. This is a, a, a shy versus everybody moment. Yeah. Watch me network. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
bro, my <laughs> brother. Remember, I told you I had three older siblings. Yeah. They clown me for years. Yeah. Because my mama made a mistake. I'm going to say it was a mistake, ma. <laughs> made a mistake and bought me a mace calendar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You had that motherfucker up though, didn't you? For sure. <laughs> for no. sure. They like, bro. I got in trouble for having that uh, Lil Kim poster in my room. <clears throat> with the uh with the little she had her legs open and shit with the lollipop. You are a nasty boy. Dog, that's why I be so mad at <laughs> Kim, cause dog, Kim was bad. Why you do that shit to you, Kim? Like why I don't know why she did that to herself, dog. Like Kim was cold. Harlem World was fire. Yeah, Harlem Maze Maze was straight, dog. I, I think I'm also mad at him like just disappearing and coming back, you disappearing can't... and coming back. Like you was on G Unit. I'm sure. He, uh, yeah, I, I feel like he should have never came. I was I was disappointed when he came back for uh, Welcome Back. Yeah, but I liked it. I love that song though. Welcome that, Back. That song is fire. Welcome Back. The like, sample, oh, the, yeah. the beat, the, yeah. the, the that song was the fire. Video, Breeze Stretch Straight was trash. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that probably was the only song that bitch I listened to, dog. Oh, for sure. I didn't like. I didn't. I listened to the album because. Yeah, I bought that from like, the Bullet Store too. But the first album I bought with my own money yeah. was Bow Wow, Beware the Dog. Beware the Dog. And Bow Wow, you didn't ask me yet, but Bow Wow was the reason I started rapping. Okay. And I can see why, because like <clears throat> people hold Bow Wow a lot. And he do some shit. You don't know why, but I'm going to let you guess. This now, is funny. Go ahead. But Bow Wow, like, to me, Watch this. he was that first one to be like, nigga, you, because you know Bow Wow came out around when we was young. Okay. So you like, all right, if that motherfucker can do it, I can do it. I think a lot of people was hating on Bow Wow because he was... Young, 13, 12, whatever, coming out, got the holes on him and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He with Snoop, he with JD. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like it was more of, so for most little kids, like, dog, it's a challenge. Like, nigga, I could do music too. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't necessarily like Bow Wow, but I'm like, oh, nigga, little nigga got braids. He can rap a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I simply started rapping. Because I wanted girls to like me like they like Bow Wow. Oh, yeah. Bro. Hell, yeah. That's, what that's I, it. As I said. You know, I didn't shit, have like, no passion to do music. None of that yeah. shit. I simply wanted to rap because I wanted girls to chase me in the hallway like Bow Wow. Bro. Hell, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was on that um that song you had with Snoop. What was the name of that song? Bow Wow. Wow. Yippee. Yippee. Yeah, yippee. Yeah, yeah, where my, my dogs, dogs at? at? Yeah, Bow Wow. Me now. <laughs> yeah, I bought that. Fifth grade. I bought that album. <laughs> hell, yeah. But, dog, he was selling like... And you can't say like he don't have no... No, uh, no place in hip hop, dog. Like this little nigga was going selling out the garden mm -hmm. as a little motherfucker, bro. Like he mm -hmm. grew up with you, like, and he probably the only little nigga who, or you know, with females and males who came up as at a young age and didn't go strictly crazy. Niggas be going crazy, mm -hmm. motherfuckers be tripping out, like, cause he been in, in the limelight for so long. I mean, I feel like he got, he got, he got the 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 quote unquote OGs that won't let him do that though. Yeah, like, like he, got, he got a Snoop or Ti, yeah, like chill Nelly, out. Nelly, all the niggas won't let Nelly. That Nelly. country grammar was a good album, great fucking album, bro. He's he had something that you was. You was rapping too, not knowing he talking about drugs in that bitch. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. That was a good ass motherfucking uh, city, dog. So, nigga, to you. So, you you listening to Rock Kim. You coming up. You liking music. You got older brothers and shit, dog. And you say you've been studying the game. Like, when did you study in the game and shit? When did you feel like, all right, it's time for me to go ahead and, and make music and let people hear what the fuck I've been writing? <laughs> Cause you know you be you be having that shit in 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 in, in, in the chamber, but you ain't shooting it out. Cause you you know what I'm saying you might be worried was, about what niggas gonna say. Okay, so that's a two part question. I mean, a two part answer. Uh, We're gonna take a commercial break. We'll be right back after these few flushes. Shot versus everybody. Watch me network. Yeah, I'm back from taking that motherfucking long piss real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you drinking that motherfucking effing or in water, motherfucker got you to the bathroom, though. I've been holding that shit since motherfucking earlier in the show and shit. Effing and water mix. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got that. You got For that all mix. those who don't drink, you got your good <laughs> and your bad. Hell yeah. So, yeah, we were talking about um, when you was, when you wanted to let the world know, like, I'm Verdict and I rap. That might not have been your name. S Dub. S Dub. <laughs> when you wanted to let the world know S Dub, because your, what's your name, Sean? Shine, so you yeah. want everybody to you? you know what I'm saying? You, you, it's, on, it's on IG and shit. That's hella funny. I ain't gonna see your whole name, but... Oh, Sean Whitfield, for yeah. sure. You know, just for everybody who wanna, you know. <laughs> Sean Whitfield, the first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so when you wanted the world to know, like, you know what, I do music, this is what I do. What my bro well, my brother, my brother Joe, he actually, um, 
He he caught me rapping. Yeah. He caught me writing. I used to be like I said in my room chilling off to myself, and he uh was like you know what you doing? I'm like shit. Listen to this. Wrapped it to him. Yeah. He didn't believe it. He like do it again. <laughs> Wrapped it again. One more. <laughs> Hell no. So this time I did it without the paper. Mm-hmm. He like, come outside right quick. Yeah. Oh, damn. All his homies was out there. <laughs> Do that shit again. Yeah. Now I'm feeling myself. I did that shit. He like, damn, Lil Sean. That's what they called me because I had like four Sean. I'm Lil Sean, cold. Yeah. So um, that's when I started feeling myself. Like, okay, I'm 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 good. I'm yeah, good. For sure. Then I started going to my my uncle house, and he my cousin Matt had a um computer, mm-hmm. and we used to he used to download. Uh, I forgot the producer name. Watts something. Yeah. Yeah. Instrumentals or something. He's the yeah. I used to rap to his instrumentals yeah. on the fucking computer mic, <laughs> like literally the microphones that used to come with the computer. <laughs> that shit, and it's crazy because he recently just emailed me all that shit, and I was listening to that show. My girl, my voice was trash. <laughs> yeah, my name is S Dub, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> you know you just start rapping when you when you introduce yourself on the song, <laughs> bro. Oh, man. I still be trying to get people to do that now. <laughs> I'm for real. I feel like that's the proper introduction oh, no, to is. the world. Every let, song let, you got, let, let us know, know who you are. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, because that's because always, that's I guess the shit. that's the way. That's the the quote unquote lame way now. Yeah. Was just like that's how people gonna remember you. Yeah. Hell yeah. You like know you what I'm saying? That's just like that's just um I learned uh I learned the yeah. the proper way to to hold a conversation introduce yourself you know you walk up to you know how you yeah. doing i'm sean such and such yeah, yeah for sure and then it's just like just say my name say say the name of the person three times and you won't forget it you yeah. get what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. oh nice to meet you sean yeah, such yeah. and such and such you ask me something i give you an answer okay well sean I, this is such and such and then you know nice yeah. to meet you sean you have a good day yeah, hell yeah. you always gonna know i'm sean every time hell yeah, you, for sure. hell yeah. you know that's just uh, I, I learned that mm-hmm. in one of my uh Speaking classes. <laughs> Says so the nigga who never took a speaking class. No, I remember I had they speech and shit. My 12th grade year is to graduate on time, dog. Mm. I don't, we had to like come up with presentations all the time and all that shit, dog. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that shit was crazy, dog. But so, the two part answer. Okay, and then, oh yeah, I gave you my cousin house and then my yeah. rapper. Right. So, like, you know what I'm saying? You're doing. So, in, in, in high school, nigga, like, did you ever, like, you say music was always a passion? You know what I'm saying? In high school was. Yeah. Was anything school. else ever like something you wanted to do as far as like sports? Because a lot of times I had hoop dreams, but I've been 5'8 since 10th grade. Mm. So I knew for real, for real, that shit wasn't going to probably go nowhere. No. <laughs> I always wanted to, um, my little brother, my, my, my little brother actually be, uh, be mad that I, that I gave up hooping. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I was like his running partner. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? But it's just like, I'm too good with these bars, bro. Yeah. Um, was you straight hooping though? Mm-hmm. I wasn't put, like all American or no yeah, shit, but, you but was, you was, you was I was like was more like point guard. Yeah. I was like my, my favorite basketball player of all time outside of Kobe Bryant is Jason Kidd. Okay, okay. so that's the type. It's like it ain't all about the buckets. Yeah. I like to actually, and that's what type of person I feel like I am. I want to see you shine. Yeah, you that's feel what, what I'm that's saying? What, uh, Watch me network gonna do, huh? You <laughs> 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 fucking Jake Kidd or that bitch? Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Watch me network is gonna be fire. Hey, now, now you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just to make this podcast could be five hours long, low key. But when I met you, you were doing the um, college ain't for everybody, mm-hmm. and I felt like when you d- was doing that um, that album, it was like you y'all y'all was marketing that thing like for show, like everywhere, mm-hmm. doing little commercial skits with my man on IG and shit. Jackpot. Yep, y'all uh, um, having like uh, shows at the Dime. Was mm-hmm. it the Dime? Nah, yeah, mm-hmm. doing shows and having um, CDs and this and the third mm-hmm. merch. You had the merch and stuff like that. Came did an interview with the hood, Howard Stern and stuff like. That's my do guy. do you feel like um, you got the, you got good like for lack of a better word recognition from that album? Did you feel like you got what you wanted out of that album, for you to go so hard <clears throat> with the whole, you know, what I'm saying trying to get it out there for the people? Mm-mm. And um, no, I don't. And I actually didn't want to put that album out at that time. Okay, Cause I know it's not your first album, but that's the, like I say, I'm, that was I'm my, taking you back was, to when I met was, you. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that would be my biggest album. Because when you came on the show, and I quote, you said this is going to be like the college dropout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what? what that shit didn't age well. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, like I, I ain't saying that shit because you on there. Like, dog, you no, was, it's good. The album was, was dope. 
No, you my man. So. Like the like to I me, know it. No, I know it was a I dope feel dope. like like I feel like listen to your music like when I listen to other Detroit rappers, I feel like you, like you should be signed. Or if not signed, you should be way more recognized than a lot of these whack niggas. Okay. Like, Thanks. cause like you got, like, <laughs> like cause you got Hold real. I, I like, I like bars. Like, mm -hmm. and it's, and you know, a lot of niggas. It, it's hard for niggas to give people props, especially when they they call themselves doing the music too. Mm -hmm. And like I said, from that day, I listened to that shit. I listened to the last thing you did. You know what I'm saying? Which one? Hmm? What, what last thing I did? What I do? Your last album, cuz. Keep living. Yeah. Fine. You forgot about that? No, I just wanted to see. <laughs> you know. I was gonna talk I about that one song you did on that on them uh, uh Jody. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, see, come on. I, I know who the fuck you Ooh, do. Ooh, you can't even touch it. <laughs> <laughs> like, dog, don't call me like that, bro. I, I apologize, bro. <laughs> so with the, uh, with the college ain't for everybody, dog, you know we got the college stuff because you grew up on college. Mm -hmm. And really, college ain't for everybody. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because even on the what's name, you were talking about going on jo uh, um on um on your last project, you was talking about going to WC3 for a hot two months or a month or something. You know? A semester. Yeah, semester. So, uh... You know what I'm saying? Going back to that, like, what you felt y'all did wrong as far as, like, getting that out there to the masses? Um, You say you, you released it, what, too early? Yeah, I feel like we should have had more of a, a push. We, You know, this should take a team. Yeah, And sure. when me and Paulie was rocking, it was just literally me and Paulie. Yeah. Hell so, yeah. if you seen some marketing shit done, mm -hmm. it's either because I came to him with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or he came to you. He came to me with it, and yeah. we, you know what I'm saying. But um, I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready mentally because it's like at that time in my life, mm -hmm. March of or well, early 2018. Yeah. I was just going through, and I don't want to blame it on this, but I was going through a breakup. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I was really I broke up with my ex because I was trying to figure out. I feel like I was holding her back. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't who I should be. I'm about to say, yeah, explain how you felt. You sometimes, like, sometimes you you know when you just ain't shit or you yeah. ain't right for somebody, and, yeah, and it's yeah. not even always based on cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. see what I'm saying? It's just like right now, it's just like I'm, I'm about to say, not to throw you off, but like you probably feel that way because you ain't where you want to be in life, so you can't even be a hundred with her. I was living through everybody's expectations of me. Yeah. Okay. And that's the worst way to live. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! You hell know, yeah, for sure. Like you say. Like for instance, and this ain't this ain't accurate, but you say you feel like I should have a deal. Yeah. Without even knowing if I want a deal or not. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. You get what That's I'm saying? True. Yeah, hell yeah, hell and, yeah. And I remember I remember having this talk with Paulie. Yeah. And you know, and I'm just telling him, like, listen, bro, I've always been that artist that, that said I was only gonna do three albums and I was done. Yeah. From me studying. Yeah. I, I look at it like how big do you how much more Big in in uh, hip hop form or hip hop talk, would you do you think DMX would have been if he'd have stopped after and then his ex? <laughs> if he just stopped yeah, rapping, yeah, and people just wanted more, it's just like damn, that nigga went out with the like you said, Biggie is considered one of the greats off of two, two albums. albums. Granted, you know what I mean not granted, but he he unfortunately he passed. Yeah, was just like we mm. we we sit there and debate he's the best artist. Just imagine if Nas would have stopped after what was it? What was it? it was uh, written. But see, he wouldn't be able to put out Stillmatic, so yeah. some people is not for this conversation. But um, <laughs> I wanted to give myself three albums. Okay. If I if I wasn't where I wanted to be after three albums, then always my passion is music, so I'm always deal with music, some type of and, and media, and you know what I'm saying. And thank God for the the, uh, the podcasts. Yeah. Podcasts. Have anybody ever used that in club <laughs> podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I um, I was just going, I was going through a, a, a just a, a tough time, bro. Yeah, it was just, yeah, for sure. I wasn't ready. I wasn't, and then just like some behind the scenes stuff happened, and I'm just like, bro, we need more. We yeah. need help. We yeah. need help. Yeah. Sometimes you have to know when you need help, and I just feel like we need help. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell and hell yeah. Is you know all y'all came and showed love, and that was love. You feel that's that was love. Mm -hmm. It was just like after that. I had that talk with him, like, listen, bro. Yeah. And I know, I know it probably hurt him. It, it was, I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. I don't yeah, have you, nothing. I don't no, have nothing you else to disappeared. give. Disappeared. Yeah. You was. I, I'm talking about nigga. Social media disappeared. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, I got rid of my Facebook. I was, yeah. I was done, bro. Yeah. I was, bro. I was living through some, like, say, I was with Paulie since I was 16 years old, bro. Yeah. So do you feel like you was more so trying to stay around to because of his expectations of you? Yeah. Okay. That's the worst way to live. Yeah, 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 for sure. Hell yeah. Like, just think about it like this, bro. 
whether you get a million viewers or one viewer, you come and do this podcast every week because this is what you love to do. Yeah, for sure. I got to a point where I didn't love to make music no more because of the expectations. Yeah, yeah. Like now, me and my girl, we make our music. Yeah. And it's just like, I told her, like, for um the song Ignite, which we're going to talk about. Yeah, for sure. Hell, we got to. <laughs> I, I made that song out of pure fun. Mm-hmm. I told her, I don't care if this, I put this shit out on my network. Yeah. On my time, like my homeboys, for instance, my homeboy, like, uh, you should have got like a, a a more uh known or popular girl to be in the video with you. Yeah. What it did is, I don't give a fuck what it do. Yeah, yeah. Hell this yeah. is my girl. This is my family. It's this is that this you enjoy it, doing the this time. is this is what I wanted to do. Yeah. Whether it failed or not, I can look and be like, I did that because that's what I wanted to do. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And opposed, opposed to, to somebody, somebody saying, I spent twenty five hundred on this. Yeah. This is what I'm. No, nah, bro, just yeah. That ain't that ain't that ain't what it is. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Because depression true. is real, mental, and I'm glad that that, that's that mental health say. is becoming becoming more of a known because t- like, topic. I could tell the difference. Like you said, that motherfucking hiatus. I'm like, what? Cause me and you talk, nigga. You must have been one of the motherfucking first people see, on the show. See his expectation? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> for, for first people on the show. Okay, okay. You must have been Shot one of the first. Shout versus everybody. Yeah. Watch so the network. with the album, you know, saying keep living and stuff. A lot, even on the first song, throughout the album, you talk about depression. You talk about your, you know what I'm saying, your brother passing. You talk about different shit like that. Like, did that play a... a that's a, my favorite album by me, too. That's your code. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you, you living, when you I'm, had... Can, living. Like, when you came out, I'm like, this nigga spit. Like, I was kind of like ashamed of myself to call myself a rapper, nigga. Like, you came with some, you came with some bars, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Yeah, and like I said, it's trying, hard man. for niggas to, uh, to really tell a nigga when they... I thought that shit was dope. Like, nigga, I, I hate when people can't... Give somebody else the recognition that they deserve. You feel me? And when mm-hmm. nigga can really rap, you gotta just give it up to a nigga who can really rap. You feel me? Thanks. So with that whole <laughs> shit, with that keep living and stuff, and you talk about depression and your and your, and your brother and things like that, is that the reason? An, another reason why you kind of like stop rapping for those two years? Mm-mm. My brother passed away before College Jane for everybody came out. My brother passed away in November of two thousand fourteen. Okay. But um, keep living happened by mistake. Mm-hmm. So. I was um I was done, I was done at the at the college ain't favorite through, <laughs> through through, but you know, without giving too much information, I still had contractual obligations. Okay, you know, so uh we put out a, uh, well he put out the label put out a, uh, All Rise, which is the first album I told you about that got mixed in Minnesota and never came out. Yeah. So they we used that called it Lost Files. Okay. He used that as one of the the, the albums. Yeah. And then um, I was. I didn't, I was going to the, I was writing for somebody. Okay. I was writing for an artist. And um, one of the uh, producers, uh, he really, you know, we vibe. Mm. And we can I told him, I'm like, listen, bro, I want to make a project, but I want it to be like on my terms. Yeah. Cause it you was only like, what, nine, nine songs on there? Eight, nine songs? Eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. But, um. I wanted to make it on my terms. I just really wanted to do an EP, but I had to, uh, in the middle of me making that, or at the beginning of me making that album, mm-hmm. I received some news that I still owed an album. Yeah. So I um, I feel like as sweet as that album is, bro, it was mm-hmm. supposed to be way more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, I'm talking about, listen, bro. <laughs> you listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that listen album. Listen to me right now. Man, listen. When I get into a creative zone, that's one thing I want. I want to executive produce a project for somebody. Yeah, I but, feel like um, you should do that shit too. Because I put college ain't ain't for everybody together. Yeah, but um, yeah, but uh, keep living. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I started recording that in October, mm-hmm. and then um, I received news that you know I had to have an album out mm-hmm. by March, or it'd be a breach of you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, kind of just rushed everything. Cause and, I, I was and, saying, cause you put kinda, the, you put it, that snippet out, and like this, the 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 tape came out like right after. Yeah, I I. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I hit this nigga up, dog. Like, dog, you heard that shit? We both of us said, like, dog, shit, nigga, spitting. Like, 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 bro, that album was supposed to. If I would have, if I would have never got that, that got that news. About you know the contract and all this other stuff, bro. Yeah. That album would have been like it was supposed to be. I'm sorry, it was supposed to be like documentary base. I was yeah. gonna have all. See if you listen to the album, everything was supposed to flow together. Mm. I was gonna have like uh, how Jay did the streets is watching. Okay, I was yeah. gonna have a video for every song, and it was yeah. gonna be like one long short film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One Hell long yeah. short film. Hell that was wow. Yeah. It was supposed to be like one short <laughs> film. 
And it's just like once you got that, it just put me back in that place of damn. Like man. fuck fuck this whole rap shit. But pretty much. Yeah. It put yeah. me right back into that space. All right, let me ask you this though. Why why do niggas who like let me see how I, how I word this shit. Why do dope dope niggas always want to just dope niggas always have like a, a, a way out? You feel me? And opposed to niggas who ain't dope. Let a shot. No, 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 it ain't a shot. But no, like, like to me, I, always, I always look at. Am like, I dope niggas? <laughs> like, like it's like it's like it's always more to a, a dope rapper. It's always more to their situation. And opposed to a person who just kind of like. Not necessarily, not necessarily doing it, cause we we see that you study the music, you know your music, shit. You can sit here and quote bars and shit from people, mm-hmm. but it's like it's always more to them than in opposed to a person who just like kind of like do it for fun. A person who do it for fun try to like put as much music out as possible in opposed of a person that's really dope. Uh, take their time with some shit. Um, I can't speak for all other dope people. <laughs> if I'm dope, if I'm dope, niggas, you talking about? Uh, <laughs> But my my answer is always gonna be we should have just had a team. Yeah. We should have you, you, we should just had a team. It wasn't really no togetherness for yeah. real from from the outside. Okay. But um. Yeah. We we lived, bro. Yeah. We lived. Uh, keep living <laughs> yeah. was actually a, a quote I got from my mama. Yeah. And she always used to like tell me. Like say I just kick it with her, mm-hmm. and you know talk about how I'm you know what I mean how fucked up my life was because I had. I had uh, kids like early, yeah, but not like too early. But I had them all at one time. It was like a rush. Yeah. <laughs> 2011, I had three kids, yeah, all in one year. Okay, so your, so your twin boys and your daughter is not that much separated. Eight far months as... apart. My daughter was born in April of 11, and my da- my sons was born in December 11. Oh shit! Yeah, like it was. I had a two door Cadillac, a 97 El Dorado. Yeah. With three car seats, <laughs> like for That's real, crazy. like for real. I'll think about. I'll think about when I had. Imagine my... going to the mall, having to get three <laughs> babies out of a car. No, I know. No. I can imagine. Like I remember trying to holler at chicks with Corsica with a car seat in that bitch, and they look at me like, "Cuz fuck out of here, you got a car seat in the Corsica." In the Corsica is wild. Yeah. That's wild. That was my first car, bro. No, it's good. It's yep. good. My first car was a '99 <laughs> Taurus. Yeah, that I, my daddy gave me. Yeah, Chevy Corsica boy. The and first that, car I bought so, was real, a '97 Mark Eight. Real talk. Oh yeah, Mark Eight was cold. Real, real talk though. Before we gonna get back to your music, but with the Corsica, say if I'm going to your crib, like hey, Verdi, dog, I'm about to come through, dog. But I come over there and you're not there. So Q, I'm about to come over your house. I come over Q crib, he's not there. I have to sit in his parking lot for at least thirty minutes for my car can start back up. Your first car was trash. <laughs> But 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 I'm not gonna let you, I'm 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 gonna jump I'm gonna jump off the cliff with you. Yeah. That's how my '99 Taurus was. I had to get a nigger rig. Like I had to Duh. to to connect the battery every time I wanted to drive that motherfucker <laughs> and disconnect it when I was done driving it. No, I got to a beef with my nigga Red. Shout out to my nigga Red. He just got the motherfucking uh, rehab. He got to a little accident or whatever. And he was like, he got mad at me, dog. I'm waiting for this nigga. He he claimed he got tased by police and shit off a of fight at Burst on Broadway. But I'm like, I know my car. I gotta leave. So nigga, I left the nigga. So when I got to my crib, motherfucking antifreeze came out. Radiator fucked up. We beefing for a whole month. I'm trying to let this nigga know like cuz the beef is all about my car, nigga. Like, like just chill. It wasn't me leaving you. Is I had to leave. You left him and what happened? He said he got tased. It was a fight that happened. So when the fight happened at Burt's. Was he in a fight? Yeah, we everybody was in a fight. Everybody in the club basically was in a fight. So I'm at Burt's. So my my uh my mom boyfriend told me whenever a fight happened in a big space like a club. Make sure you back up to the wall. Because if you back up to the wall, I ain't shit behind you. Everything is in front of you. So I back up to the wall. I'm looking. I ain't throw a punch. No punch came my way. My nigga, swear to God, he was in the scrap. He got tased by the police. I'm by St. Andrews waiting for this nigga. But I know my car. I got to start this bitch up and got to go. So I left. I get to the crib. This nigga mad as fuck. Without me knowing the full story, I would have been mad at you. <laughs> fuck that car, bro. <laughs> fuck that car. Fuck that car. We done, we done figured that shit out together, bro. You got me. Uh, you got me tased. Hey, hey, I yeah. said fucked up. My Shout nigga, out to I, Ridge, man. I ain't, I ain't, uh, I ain't I, with him either, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry you got tased, nigga. I still believe you got tased, but if you did my fucker, I was worried about my car getting home. Yeah, fuck that I had fucking insurance, so I can't get that bitch tased. If I was Ridge, I'd have kicked the shit out your car. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this car. <laughs> Nigga uh, left me, bro. The, uh, the moral of the story is you left me during a fight, bro. I don't, I don't see, but the thing about it is I didn't know he got to a fight till I got home. Mm-hmm. 
And like I seen a scrap, but everybody just kind of like dispersed and went their own way. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I didn't know he was fighting. Now it would be different if I seen him fighting. I'm like, nigga, I, I can't help you in this bitch. I'm gone in my car. More important than well, you get your ass beat. That would have been wild. Yeah. So I leave a nigga fighting. I found out the next day that he was in a scrap and got tased by police. That's in my defense. Yeah, all right. What's the verdict? <laughs> the verdict is <laughs> you you ain't as good as friends you think you oh, are, no, brother. That's my nigga, dog. Yeah, nigga, nigga, yeah, dog. yeah, all right. If if, if that nigga fight that thousand, is blind. <laughs> if I fight if that nigga fight a thousand niggas, I will jump in and get my, get beat down with the. But that day, not that night. That day, I didn't know, cause it'd be like that. My bad. So yeah, we talking about the song <laughs> Jolie, dog. On the uh, second project, dog, the uh, Keep Living, and you was talking about like. Your dad being gone. We kind of touched on that earlier. Your dad, you know what I'm saying, not being there. But you was like, hmm. like maybe things would be different if your dad was, was here. Maybe things would be different if your mom was the person that your dad wanted. And then you saying that Sorry. you're not with your kids, you know what I'm saying, mother. Do you feel like being in that relationship can help the kid? Because at the end of the day, if the relationship ain't healthy, it can also hurt the kid. That's true. So when you saying that, like, do you take yourself to a, to a place like, damn, if my mom and dad was, a, was, was together, maybe things would be different for me. And whatever type of you know saying things you was going through, like you said, also I uh, said if he was if she was the person yeah, that he she wanted, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he if, stay if, too. If, she, if he if she was the person that he wanted and she stayed, then I, my life would be totally different. Yeah, you, you think it'd be you think it'd be better or or, or like worse? Better. Okay, I think but, it's better. I because I feel. It wouldn't have been no separation. It wouldn't have, my punishment wouldn't have been I'm gonna send you to your yeah, daddy's house. Yeah, because you right there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, here. Yeah. And we could have dealt with it head on from, mm -hmm. from right then and there. Yeah. Um, I also feel like in this moment, because I'm a I'm a in the moment type person. Some I might walk away and call you when we leave, like, bro, I don't even feel like that no more. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I feel like um Yeah, where was I going? You talking about your mom and dad if they was No, together. no, I'm 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 I am i am know where I'm at. Okay. I'm I'm just trying to figure where I was going. I know. Is, oh yeah, it being with separate and separate homes, mm -hmm. kind of I feel like it kind of divides because yeah. my daddy don't know really what's going on. Yeah. My mama can call him and tell him that, but now I gotta, I it's my chance when we talk to him to convince him that my mama the lying. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's just yeah. like when when we both there, it's just like yeah, yeah we know we know we, I know who I'm dealing with. Yeah, for sure. I can be for a sure. whole different person to my daddy. Yeah. Hell yeah, because you be a good kid. Like, oh, he ain't fucking up like that. Like, yeah, because you ain't with him with so much time. But then right. you with your mom all the time. She know how much. Like, oh, he fucking up. Yeah, you feel me? But no, so you feel like, like, and that could go ahead and, and and go into your own situation. Do you feel like your kids are probably being a? I ain't gonna say they not. They in a bad situation, but you think they'd be in a better situation if you and their mothers was to get was to. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no! Yeah. I am in a committed relationship, my man. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. For sure. I'm not trying, oh no, I'm not trying. No, to no. Do I'm that. get you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with yeah, you. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. Uh, but no, and and that's the and that's the, and that's the one thing. Like, we not talking about this again. But we gonna bring. Well, we gonna bring it up in after this. I'm gonna answer your question. Okay. But um, no, I feel like they are in the best situation because of the the foundation that me and my girl is showing them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For but sure. um. No, nah, me and they moms wasn't compatible. Okay, yeah, and that's okay. okay. Sometimes, sometimes, like my 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 daughter's mama, I can honestly say she gave me a child because I wanted a child. Okay, I wanted a child at that time because but she's the oldest, the, your baby girl. My daughter is the oldest. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. but I, I wanted a child at the time, and um, even though I wasn't ready, you know how I don't know how you felt when you had your first child. Yeah, but um, sometimes you be feeling you be feeling needed. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, yeah. Like, and a, a woman uh, in a way uh, like somebody needs you yeah okay yeah you yeah. you just feel like somebody you want to feel like you're responsible for for something yeah yeah I and feel like my daughter was that for me yeah when i was having bad days my daughter like i spent more time with my kids than anything yeah hell yeah like hell yeah because like now when i come in the, in the crib Shit, my four year old hike. I got a fourteen year old. Well, he about to be fourteen. Okay. And then my son's four. Sweet. So it's like when I come in the crib, he'd be like, "Daddy's home." Like he'd be going, yeah, getting ham. My son, my son Sean, <laughs> love me to death. Yeah. And then love I got, me to death. I got my last one. This is my last album I'm dropping. Fire. Uh, my last one is my baby girl. She coming. Well, uh, me and my wife having her. Uh, she be due December twentieth. So that's it. You we, think she might come before that or after? Well, she getting a C session. So okay. It might be that okay. Same yeah, day. it's coming December twentieth. Yeah, yeah, because. <laughs> Are you uh, looking out for this album? Yeah, December twentieth. Yeah, that's fire. Congratulations, so, yeah. bro. I uh, appreciate it. So my baby girl coming. I'm like, I'm a little nervous because I got a girl. 
So the thing with a girl, I'm thinking about, I don't want her to be gay and I don't want her to be a hoe. <laughs> Those you are fuck two- me up, bro. <laughs> like I ain't even think I'm thinking I'm thinking he about to come with like I I was want you know what I'm like Cause, dog, Wow. With, nowadays nowadays dog with the whole social media and shit. Like dog, it's it's scary to raise a kid, let alone raise a girl. Cause you want your girl to be everything that you imagine the girl you was wanting when you was a youngin. Imagine what you want her to do when you was 14, 15. Okay. Imagine a kid want your daughter to do that shit at 14, 15. <laughs> I'm different, bro. I'm going to tell you why. Okay, go ahead. A lot of people might call bullshit. Okay. That type of shit don't concern me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what she's going to do. Oh, no, yeah. Like, yeah. no matter how big, of, how, how, how big of an influence it is on her. At the end no, matter what, went, no matter what I do to teach her. Yeah, yeah. She's going to get around her peers and do what she, she wants, wants to do. So at the end of the day, that's what I feel like with her. I got to be that role model to hopefully see what she want and to do when she get older. Or what she expect. Because if you dogging, like, say, I'll say me and my wife. Say I'm, 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 I'm talking to her crazy, even though I don't. Or I'm doing things that, you know what I'm saying, that you sh- shouldn't be doing to your lady. She going to think that that's okay. You feel me? But if I'm doing the little things, opening the doors, telling her how I feel about her and shit, like, and she's seeing that, maybe she thinking in her head, like, this is how a dude supposed to act to a woman. But you can't control that. You can't. You can't. That's she might see thing. that. She might see you doing that all this for your wife and be like, my daddy a punk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's like, true. she might see you doing that's that. True. She might, you might be the best man in the world. Yeah. And she like thugs. Yeah. No, for that's sure. just what I like, dad. Yeah. Are you, are, now, and there's nothing you can do about you that. Have only, a daughter. Huh? You have a daughter. Do that scare you? How old is your daughter? My daughter's nine. Do that kind of scare you like when she grow up? No. You don't think about that at all? No, I can't. Yeah. I can't. It could, you can't, bro. That's just scary, though. To me. It's not. Well, to you. Okay. okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. But you can't think about stuff. Like, only thing I do is respect her. Okay. That's the only thing I can do. I do my part. I provide for. I I show her. I show her the ropes. I, we kick it. We have an open and honest relationship. Oh, yeah, for like sure. we got to. For instance, a lot of people disagree. I don't want my kids. Yeah, I don't either. Because I I want to teach them. I I've, I've had I have before, but yeah. you know, growing into this relationship with my girl now, and this is like, I don't whoop. We 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 don't whoop the kids mm. because we want to show them. It's a different way. It's a different way. It's another way to express your anger than to put your hands on somebody yeah. or to, yeah. because then they grow up. Something happened to them. They get angry. The first thing they revert to, they want to yeah. fight. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Which could lead to something else. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, you can talk your way out of certain certain situations. You're going to have to protect yourself. Yeah. Hell but yeah. But if it don't be out here just hitting people because you're angry. Yeah. Yeah. Walk yeah. away. Yeah. You might lead. That might lead to your girl. Your daughter. She, you hit her because she did something wrong. That she could be one of the girls that that hit they man. Yeah, and then that's, and then that's he hit her. Up. Yeah, then I hear I gotta come. When he do something <laughs> wrong, he cheat on you. He do this, just leave, just yeah. walk out. Yeah, you can butter this because you know us dudes, we don't be really letting women leave after we do. Yeah, so like we, stay, stay. You know, please beg. Like, <laughs> but then it's just like you can, you can, you know, butter them up like, oh, it's cool. And then as soon as he go to sleep, yeah, come out. Yeah, that's funny because that's what... I'll be there to pick you up. My mom, When my mom and dad broke up, dog, I was a... Uh, God rest both days, so both of my mom and passed, and dad passed away. Dad, bro. But when um I was, I want to say 11, my mom was taking so much shit from my dad that nigga, like, sometimes it take your kid to tell you, dog, you need a dip. Mm. And my dad went to work. I never mm. forget it, dog. My dad went to work and we left. We was on my uncle Kenny crib and my dad called, like, don't you want... Don't you, don't you want to come back? And I'm like, no. Mm. That was the hardest shit I could have said, bro. Like, we can't. You 11? Yeah. Like, we can't. Because at the end of the day, the first person you in love with, for the most part, for a dude, is your mom. You feel me? So I'm like, we can't come back. Like, nigga, I see what you're doing. I love you, nigga. Like, I'm going to come over and kick with you, but I don't think you and my mom should be together. That's fire. You was was wise beyond your years. So, nigga, when he said that shit, I'm like, no. And I knew me saying no, like, probably fucked him up. But, like, nigga, I'm just seeing what I see. I'm like, no. I don't think so. the, The older I get, and like I, I actually appreciate my dad kind of more now. Yeah, yeah. Being a father. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and you see what you going, what he went through, probably. Yeah. 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 Like my dad, you know, had. You can say he had a baby on my mama. Yeah. That was the reason, really, for they break up. Hell yeah. And then I grew up, and when my when my daughter's mom was eight months, 
mm-hmm. I had somebody else pregnant. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of so like, like it's a cycle. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. 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 And you kind of like see if me and him had that. I wish we could have had that conversation, but by him, you know, what I'm saying leaving, I'm like fucking thirteen. Shit, I don't know about fucking females and what you're going through. So it would be a mm-hmm. conversation we probably could have had when I got older. Right. You feel me? So now I try. I look at that shit and try to be like, all right, bet. If I'm in, if I'm if I'm in this committed relationship, we going we gonna make this shit work. My first relationship, I'm 20. I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm trying to, shit. I'm worried about this bitch with this fat ass. You feel me? Like right. I'm, I'm intrigued. Like damn, nigga, what the fuck? I'm about to get on. But then when I get to this, this next relationship, cause I ain't gonna count the middle. <laughs> okay, I count. I, I count her because I think she probably built me up for this to see like what I need. Because my first relationship is some, a relationship I wanted, but I wasn't old enough. Or mature enough to appreciate a relationship. So, my second relationship was kind of like a bounce back. Like, oh, bitch, you got a nigga? I got a chick. Sweet. You feel me? Sweet. I took this bitch to Texas. I, I took this chick to Texas. You feel sweet. me? Sweet. We do what we do. When I get back and meet this chick, all right, bet. Your wife. I'm perfect. Your wife. Yeah. Okay. We perfect. Like, I know what to do, what not to do, what you want, what I don't want. If we argue, we ain't got to sit here. I got to go home. I can, I can go in the living room. I can go in the room. And we can still get through this shit because we in this relationship. Sweet. We got this kid. Sweet. I ain't going to let that shit fall That's off on fire. some bullshit. You feel me? Because yeah. I ain't learned from these two relationships. I learned from a relationship where I had my motherfucking son who I feel my son helped molded me to the do I am now. Me and my son been in the motherfucking worst situation where I'm making $9 an hour to making $18 an hour. You feel me? Sweet. So I know I handle shit. So I feel like this relationship is perfect for me because those first two albums went... <laughs> That's a, that's a, and you know what's crazy? That's how I feel about that's how I felt about my ex. Yeah. It's just like it just didn't work. I'm not FYI when he say albums, he talking about kids. No, 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 no. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> no, no, but see, them albums I was talking about. I was talking yeah, about chicks. Yeah, those chicks, them albums. Yeah, right. I, I was already here. I was here. Went, them motherfuckers went concrete. It be like that. Oh, it went wow. concrete. But um, first album went gold. Second album went concrete. Yeah, this one platinum. Like with my ex, it's just like. <laughs> This is, I'm I'm not I'm not who I need to be. Okay, for yeah. you, yeah, for sure. You had expectations, and I just feel like I haven't. You know, we was together probably about five years. Yeah, I didn't fulfill those expectations. Hell yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, you yeah. you you deserve better than this. Yeah, and I know for a fact. See, when you can when you can say that as a man, that's some that's some grown that's man what, shit. Now like, listen, hey. now listen though, it was it was hard. Yeah. But I had to do it because this is somebody that, like you said, this is somebody I wanted. I yeah. wanted her. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, you got into, I got into a relationship with her. It just, it wasn't, it didn't go nowhere. So yeah. it's just like, all right, listen, I love you enough to let you go. Yeah. Hell you yeah. gonna you gonna see it as bullshit. Yeah. But then the day, but you gonna you gonna you gonna, you gonna, yeah. you, gonna you gonna respect it. Yeah. For and sure. it's, and it's gonna set you up for your next relationship. When, cause you deserve more than what I can give you. Hell yeah, that's why you saying shit, dog. Cause with my now, uh, with my son, my I feel like we were Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe won some rings together, but they wasn't the perfect fit together. You feel me? They you was, don't think so? They was cool together, but in the, the day, Kobe wanted to do his own shit. Okay. He wanted to he wanted to show the world like nigga, I can do this shit by my damn self. Okay. And that's how and I that's feel. What you, who was you? <laughs> 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 Which one was you? I probably Shaq. You were Shaq? She was Kobe, though. She wanted to show you, like, nigga, I can go get like, Paul Gasol. Yeah. Got you. And, and I can turn Paul Gasol to a motherfucking mainstream. <laughs> All right. I'm with you. And then, it's crazy. Damn, nobody never asked me who the fuck was I. Like, damn. So, so I'm thinking, this. like, who the fuck was I? <laughs> so watch this, though. Watch this. Now, me and my girl supposed to be starting, like, I don't, I'm going I'm to reveal this on your show. Okay, but Me and my girl, well, I want we're going to start our own, our own podcast. Mm-hmm. Which we'll talk about in a minute. But um so me and my ex broke up okay. December twenty fourth. Okay. Day before Christmas. Damn, I was about to say 2017. Yeah. I was done. Yeah. So she probably thought it was I ain't getting nothing for Christmas. <laughs> all this type of shit. All this type of shit it could be, but it's just like I hit rock bottom mentally. Yeah. Yeah, you and that can happen. I don't even want you to deal with this funk I'm about to go through. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's crazy. So I left all cause I always had my own place. Okay. I went home. I met my girl now. Mm-hmm. I met her um, like some months uh, before okay. before this. Before y'all broke up. Before me and my ex broke up. Okay. Yeah. She texts me randomly. 
Like verdict, what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, what's up? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna be lie. I ain't gonna lie. I tried to hit her. Yeah. Back, you know, me so much <laughs> yeah. ago. So she hit me like, you know, verdict, what's up? I'm like, you know, what's up? Such and such and such. My keyboard went out on my phone. I had a metro. I don't even know. It, 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 my keyboard went out. So I had to use my daughter phone. Yeah. I bought my daughter a phone for Christmas. I had to open the damn phone up. Like, whoa, fuck this. <laughs> so I get to text her. I'm like, I text her. So listen, that's that's December twenty fourth, the same day, and this is why I be feeling like it's that's like it was meant to happen, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like she texts me the same day I broke up with my girl. Yeah. So uh, well, my ex. Yeah. Um. So then, New Year's Eve ro- rolling around. A week later, yeah. <laughs> I call her. I'm like, um, I call her. I'm like, where you at? She like, I'm such and such. I'm riding right now. I said, I'm about to come get you. She like, I'm I'm riding. You know what I mean? I'm, this I'm, I'm current. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're like, I'm with, I'm with my people. I'm riding. I'm saying, okay, well, listen. When you get to where you're going, yeah. Call me. Yeah. And I'm gonna come get you. Yeah. <laughs> she called me. Yeah. Went and got her. We've been clicking ever since, bro. Damn. That's now, crazy. It's, it's crazy because we've been through so much shit. Yeah. But it's worth it. I've learned what I've I've learned so much in this relationship yeah. than I learned in bro. Any, like I can I, I I can I've learned to um uh. uh like deal with people as they are. Yeah. I can't change my girl. No, you can't. She the fun that she like to have, you have to let her have that fun. Yeah. You can't control that. No. And that's and that's why that's kind of, it kind of taught me like what parenting. I can't control my kids. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell, I can give them I can give them the tools. This is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But I can't control you. Hell yeah. That's I don't want to control you. Damn. You that's can't it. I can't and, control and, my girl. And that's why I probably the the whole time a lot of times when you be in relationships you kind of like them early relationships you probably I know I tried to control what was they what they was doing. Can't control it. I know with my son, mom, we met at a young age. I know her since high school. You feel me? So I'm trying to sit here and control her and make sure she stays his way. But at the end of the day, she's trying to see how life is because only thing she knows is being a mom, being a, a girlfriend, and shit like that. She mm-hmm. don't know how it is to be out there partying, how to be wild, you know what I'm saying? And she wanted to do that shit. With the check with the second chick, I see her, I met her in the club, so I'm trying to change her and stop her from going to the club. Can't do that. She loved the fucking club. She loved the party. She loved the half dress. Show them motherfucking tees on IG. <laughs> I can't change that. But then when I get with somebody who just like the same as me or like, like you said, you can't, I'm not going to even try to change this person, but you see that this person is like, dog, this person meant for me. Like she, she doing everything that I wanted these other motherfuckers to do without me even asking. Let me stay right, motherfucker, right here. Cause and I'm, like, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm gonna perfect being me. Yeah. And I'm gonna let you perfect yeah. being you. Like I know I she hate our union. Yeah. It's what it is. I know she hate when I leave. When I go do Your my wife? shit. Yeah. But in the, the day, she ain't gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna say stop doing the podcast. But I know she probably want me in the bed, motherfucker, not get up out the bed because Sunday, like my my guaranteed day off. Right. I right. know she don't want me probably leaving that day, but that's my that's my guaranteed day to do what I like to do. Right. And she ain't gonna say shit. You know what I'm saying? She might say some shit like, damn, it would be nice to chill with you, but you know what I'm saying? That'd be it. Right. You feel me? But that's when you know you meet you meet that right person when you like, fuck it, I'm willing to change some shit up Bro, about me. I am I can honestly be I am this is the most happiest I've ever been in a in like in life. Yeah. Damn the relationship. In yeah, life. It's like, yeah, just like I'm sure. doing you to be able to be like really wake up and like I do what the fuck I wanna do when <laughs> I wanna do it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That, and when you and when you got somebody like that, when you can do that shit, dog, that should be the truth for real, for real, dog. So before we we gonna get to the other shit, the Watch Me uh Work Network TV, we gonna get to why you didn't do the podcast and shit. What, what you waiting on? You said that you touched on it earlier when you gave a shout out to Paulie and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I talked to Paulie as far as coming on the show one day, one day and shit. Cause like I said, I, y'all the reason why I started this shit from the first. But what kind of like ended y'all shit? But still, y'all still being cool though. What ended it? Yeah, what like, you, you what what ended y'all? You know, saying y'all y'all whole little you being part of beneficial, but y'all still having that relationship. You know what? You know we ain't gonna beef about this shit. We still gonna be you know homies or whatever. Um, we had a uh, we had a meeting one day at Stars, mm-hmm. and not and the one not the one in Eastland, right? Uh, Tell downtown. Me <laughs> no, Woolworth, like Woolworth, Woolworth. I'm sorry, <laughs> it was on Woolworth, and um, this was two years. It was right after college ain't everybody came out. Yeah, and I just you know had that little brother, big brother moment with him, and just had to tell him like, bro, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm done. I want to figure this shit out on my own. Yeah, and I feel I feel like he didn't have he just respected it. Yeah. You know? So what, it was never like no, all right, we ain't talking no more. Like no, nah, we ain't, we ain't clicking together as far as like the business because I don't want to do this shit no more. 
Hold on one more time. So we, it, with y'all two, is like we ain't clicking as far as business because I don't want to really fuck with this shit no more. Or I don't want to really fuck. If I do fuck with it, I want it to be a part of my shit. Yeah, that's what the conversation was. All right, I want gotcha. to do my own. I want to do my own thing. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, um, he was, it was pretty much, you know, a label investing to artists. It's yeah. pretty much like, yeah. big bro, I don't want you to invest into me no more. You yeah. feel me? I don't want you to, and it's not even a, a selfish thing. It's just like, bro, it's 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 the same the same conversation I had with my ex. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same one I had to have with Big Bro. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm about to go through some shit that I don't even want you dealing with. Yeah, hell yeah. Don't spend another dime on this shit. Yeah, because please I ain't, don't do invested. it. Yeah, I'm not invest. Yeah. I'm not investing yeah. into it mentally. I'm I'm fucked up, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. I am mentally fucked up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I feel you. Please on that don't shit, do dog. it. I feel that shit like a motherfucker. And I don't want to tie myself into no further business. Right, so we, you know, we talking about everything. We talking about you and your girl and stuff, man. You know, the funny thing about it though, last time I spoke with you, dog, you said he was gonna bring on the show and shit. KJ, right? Yeah. yeah. You said he was gonna bring on the show. She was doing her music, which I ain't gonna lie, she dope. I, I heard her stuff. I heard what you, you know, what I'm saying put out whatever. <laughs> so what, what? You know, let me ask you this though. Hit me with it. I'm gonna tell you what I got from the outside looking in. Okay. I think the reason why you didn't bring on the show because during that time I think that y'all took a a, a a a stop on your relationship. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold, on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The wait. Reason, I'm gonna tell you why. <clears throat> and you can tell me if I'm wrong. And you can tell me shut the fuck up. No, I wouldn't ever do that. No, but I when whenever somebody take a hiatus from from um social media, usually it's a problem in the relationship. Oh, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'll be the first, me and my girl, ever since, <laughs> ever since no, listen, seriously, ever since January 1st of 2018, we've been rocking. Okay, bad, 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 bad. No, it's okay. like, you know, we wasn't, we, 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 we consider ourselves, we wasn't in a relationship until like April of 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the other shit we was doing was just free, free balling, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, we, we've been rocking consistently. Okay. Now I got a lot of like with that, she was right there with me through my depression. And it's crazy because she was going through a breakup. Yeah, like our stories is just crazy. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. We Hell really, yeah. you know, we really met. We our love came from a hopeless place. Yeah, yeah. So y'all solid right now. We went everything. through. We went through both our depressions together, and it's just like we've helped each other. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I've helped. We we both have like say, man, I got Watch Me Network. Okay, she has uh, Misfits uh, Shootique. It's just okay. an online shootique or a boutique for for women. Yeah, and it's like we both invested into each other's. For sure. So like you'll yeah. probably see me posting some Her dresses shit. or something on yeah. my page. She yeah. posts my videos, so, so it's just like okay, okay, yeah, that's dope, that's dope. So yeah. as far as her with the music, like, do you feel like once you um, you know, what I'm saying you you, you and Paulie, y'all talk about what y'all was going through and how you want to do stuff on your own. Do you feel like uh, KJ was like, you know, what I'm saying yo, was that like your first artist as far as like developing under your thing? My girl was doing music before I met her. For real? Before I got with her, yeah. Oh shit. She was, she was a singer. Yeah. My girl sing. Uh -huh. And um, I I would say I influenced the, uh, I was I, I helped influence the rapping, okay, like her rapping. But she she's she's a natural, like I said, Nisha was. Mm -hmm. My girl is a natural. She you know, yeah. we work on music together, mm -hmm. and um, she was singing before I even got with her. Okay, so she 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 grew up loving music just like me. Okay, and it's funny you say y'all working music together. Mm -hmm. Has she ever told you like, hey, Vera, dog, take that fucking whole ass bar out, put this on? Mm -mm. She, <laughs> I'm one of her favorite rappers. Okay, man. <laughs> For real, friend. I know a lot of men. Men that probably come on here and testosterone. Like, yeah. no, but no, I'm serious. She 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 critiqued me. She never told me to take nothing out, mm -hmm. but she'd tell me if she don't like it. Yeah. Do you do you take her advice as far as like, all right, man, I'm gonna listen to it, or like, mm -hmm. you don't know what you're talking about? No, nah, she she know music. Yeah, so I'm, uh, that's what's up. Damn, that shit gotta be dope. Cause like, when you when you can vibe with somebody on the same shit that you do, that gotta be dope as hell. As far as like you doing music, she do music, y'all can go ahead and vibe out together. When when we vibe out together? Yeah, I've been. I'm about to throw her under the bus. <laughs> I've been trying to get her to write this one song with me for like three months now, and she yeah. just she's so busy. Yeah, hell yeah. And it's just like I want her perspective on it. Mm -hmm. So it's just like when when we vibe, we vibe, mm -hmm. but. It's just like you would think that two rappers or two uh, artists would be in the in the house all day just doing some things. Some shit music together. is our last thing that we do. We yeah. got our family, yeah, and we building our our network. Now, now do we she got have a boutique? Do she have a uh, kids? On the... She got a daughter. Okay, okay, okay. So she so, so uh so she came in picture with daughter. You got kids and stuff like that. Yeah, that was an issue with her. With her dude never was an issue with your you know saying baby mama and stuff like that. Her like, dude. 
No, my, my baby dad, I meant to say. Okay. My bad. Like, okay. It was never like no issue. Like, because I never, I never, <laughs> I, like, I asked that because <laughs> they were like, Cut what? You know, so I don't know. Nigga. Yeah, like, I was like, No, because my thing is, I never, I never, um, I never dealt with a chick who had kids. Mm. So I don't know how it is dealing with the, with the, the quote unquote baby daddy, you know, lack, lack of a bad word. Like, we, we straight. Okay, we cool. Straight. Okay, we keep we keep at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Cause yeah. I I'm gonna tell you my story real quick. It's now, hard. It's hard for us not to to to. We not friends. Yeah. Oh no. Of course not. But but it's cordial. It's okay. cordial. Yeah. You it ain't gonna be. It ain't never gonna be no fisticuffs. I know. Like, his no daughter. Boxes, his daughter loved the shit out of him. Mm -hmm. And she loved the shit out of me. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's just yeah, like. Yeah. So it ain't no problem. I'm not about to beef with her daddy and. Yeah. Over over love or some shit yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause uh, I can sit here. Um, and say like as far as me like um well my my oldest son his mom got with somebody after me and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say how it was some bullshit. We we all know it's some bullshit. I say it on other podcasts. Mm -hmm. But you know, me being a, a bigger man, I came to him like, cuz listen, if it's a problem with my son when he come around his mom, let me know. You feel me? If it's something that he's doing that you feel like he shouldn't be doing, let me know. We can talk about it, whatever. Like just let me know, dog. I'm like when I talk to her it's about my son for the most part. We're not sitting here and having like reminiscing, like, you know what I'm saying? You should edit that for the most part. Okay, but, <laughs> but no, no, he's cheating with this dude. But my thing is this like, he didn't understand when I came to him. I came to him out of the place of like, listen, I understand you with her. It's no beef. It's no problem. I'm happy she got you, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. If anything happened, hit me up. But that turned to a whole new thing. Like, once I started hitting her up about shit, he. He took it as like me trying to get back on. Oh man! My like, God, it's not even like that, bro. Like I talked to you, like me and you talk without her. Me and you talk man to man. And I told you, nigga, it's no problem. Like oh, I'd you be good. So happy when my baby mama's got boyfriend. <laughs> I was happy, yeah, man, bro. I was happy as hell. Like, oh, you got somebody? Bet. But when things start shake, getting shaky without me putting all our information <clears throat> out there, I had to kind of like things was 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 just ugly. And it's crazy. Um, the dude she with right now, though, that nigga fantastic, nigga. Like, thumbs up to you, bro. Like, you a good nigga. Like, nigga, it's so, it's so, it's so crazy, nigga. Don't you ever call another man fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga dead, nigga. Like, dog, like, you, you can come through, nigga, without them being here. I'm like, cause you cool, but I ain't gonna feel right coming through without, you know what I'm saying? Just dolo and shit. Like, we drinking and shit. Like, he a cool dude. Like, I'm, I'm happy she found some. Florida, right? Yeah, okay. but when they come here, her dad, her dad say not too far from me. Okay, 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 okay. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. But with you. my thing is, like, I respect that she found somebody. He, he a good dude. The dude's dad say you can come over? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I ain't going to do it, though. Yeah, I wouldn't. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come I'm a good come dude. On, nigga, yeah, 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 no, 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 I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Maybe look like my damn nigga, a cool-ass nigga. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. I'm just, it, that threw me off. I'm yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want you. I want you. Yeah. I want you. We rocking. We rocking. I can never do that shit. But I'm happy that she found somebody who, who, who a good dude. She got a good in laws and they good to my son. That's what I asked for. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to be like, damn, you love that nigga that much. Like, I ain't about to be that nigga. That's like, hella funny. I'm, I'm happy, nigga. I'm happy you found somebody. I'm happy she got a husband. I'm happy everything working with them. They got other kids and shit like that. Like, and my son. They got kids together? Oh, uh, yeah. She got two girls. Sweet. So, and my, my little son, my four year old. My think son. he think that my second album yeah my second album he <laughs> think that my first album sister is his sisters sweet he, he think sweet. those are his sisters so when he talk on Facetime he be on that mud with him and I'm not gonna ever say like no nah, they ain't got nothing to do with you like rock rock out you yeah, feel me sweet. like that's sweet yeah that's I ain't sweet. gonna ever be like no nah, angel motherfucking you know what I'm saying it's all cool it's all love okay he thinking like that was my brother's sister so that's my sister it's all me, good let me ask you this we we'll gonna go. we gonna uh, switch topics for a minute <laughs> go ahead nigga. You came up, you were, what, two years older than me, right? Okay. 87? 86. 83 years. Three years old. My old ass nigga, though, damn. All right, all right, we Fuck. there, we there. <laughs> but, um, so, no, it's even sweeter. You came up in a time where wasn't no social media. No, at all. Like, I remember the beginning of the Black Planets and all that. I remember that yeah, getting you a little Black Pan page. Do you feel like social media kind of had a negative effect on the world? Yes and no. I, I say, say yes and no too, but tell me why. I say yes because me and it's funny, me and this nigga was just talking about this shit before you came here. Imagine if you imagine what's going on right now with the kids having to go to school online when we was young. Imagine when we was young, we couldn't necessarily go outside for real. Nowadays with social media, 
even with the game systems, you ain't got to be with somebody to be with somebody. My son could play a game with somebody, and he, wherever he at. Mm -hmm. When we play the game, we had to play against the computer. That's okay. it. Okay. We can play online against nobody. All right. And they, you can FaceTime people. You right. can still interact with people in some type of capacity. When we was coming up, you needed, hey, Vert, dog, come through, dog. We about to play a game. You had to come to my house, or I had to come to your house to play a game with each Which other. Which is fire. Yeah. Now, I'm going to so, tell you what. I apologize because I did ask you for your answer, but you, <laughs> you kind of you you gave me the, the, the leeway to hit to where I want to hit to real quick. What that, though? That's what I feel is wrong. Like the fact that I can be chilling in my own house mm -hmm. and say, "Sha, come on, I want to, um, I want to play the game." You get on what's the name? Yeah. The ex I'm missing out on the experience of getting to your house. So much shit that you will learn going to someone or just going in the outside world communicating. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. missing everything because I'm just sitting here in at my, my house, crib, not moving, not moving, yeah. nothing. I don't yeah. know what's going on outside. Hell yeah. And it's just like you gotta know what block not you to go on because dog might come out you. <laughs> people, I feel like. People, especially, like, I got all three of my kids in the same house. People don't know how to converse with people no more. Oh, hell no. Fuck no. The communication no. skills are... No, that's why my son, like, I make him get out the, out the room. Then they close the door, like, open that fucking door. Like, come out here and watch the game with me. Let's talk about this game. You like hooping? Let's talk about what we watching right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was surprised yeah, the other day. That's a great thing. Well, I can't... My sons don't really like that. <laughs> I came in from work, dog, and watched my son and my uh my wife watching a movie together. That uh, what's that new shit? Annabelle, some shit. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I watched them watch that shit together. I was surprised. Like, damn, you got that little nigga out the room. Like, he watched the whole movie. Like, damn. Fourteen year old, right? Yeah. Okay. So okay. we, I have a lot more conversations with him, and sometimes I want to tell him to shut up. Damn, you talking too much because I just got home from work. But I don't say that shit because at the end of the day, he is talking to me. He know how to ride the bus. Nope. <laughs> I got. He never been on a bus a day. Last time he been on a bus, he was probably about one years old. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Just yeah. that's <laughs> that's. <laughs> I feel, I, I, hey, dog. It's something the, goes wrong. Something goes wrong. He don't even know how to get home. Yeah. For what bus to take? You see what I'm saying? It, it, it don't even have to be the bus, bro. <laughs> it don't even have no, to be the bus because I know people gonna be looking like that. That's a good. Sometimes you wanna you want your. I want my kids to be. You don't have to be a street nigga to be street smart. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Oh, my kids to be street smart, know how to operate in this world when I'm not around. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Some shit break out or some shit go down. I don't want you to be the one hiding in the fucking closet or hiding somewhere because you don't know <laughs> no. how to, how to no, operate. It's so bad though, bro. You know, we were talking about me coaching and stuff. My my one of the boys on my team didn't know how to get home, and he didn't stay that far from the school, dog. He couldn't tell me how to get home. He had to just give me an address to put in my motherfucking um my motherfucking uh, Google uh the little map shit. He couldn't tell me, hey, y'all, take this shit straight here, make a right, make a left my house right here on the second block. Back then, we had to tell somebody exactly how to get to our motherfucking crib, bro. Like, That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, coming from downtown. The most we got from, <laughs> from out of technology was MapQuest. And that shit took forever. And that's if you got a printer. That's if you had a printer. Because <laughs> if not, you got to send right that shit down. On the motherfucking napkin like that. Man. This nigga had, we had the MapQuest, how to get to Schoolcraft College, where I was supposed to go to Schoolcraft, bro. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to hoop at Schoolcraft. Hey, I'm going to go to school for you, bro. This nigga, I went, I was supposed to go to school craft college, dog. And I wanted to hoop. But my auntie played me, bro. She was supposed to give me a, a car after my after, after my granddad passed away. He didn't have a wheel. That told me right there you should have a wheel when you get to a certain age. He had two whips, house, money, everything. So my thing is like, all right, I'm gonna get one of the cars. I get back forth to school. That shit didn't happen. So I just switched from going to school craft to Macomb. This nigga and my mom walked me to my motherfucking class, dog. My first day of college, dog. I didn't finish that shit because guess what? I had a little child on the way. I couldn't focus on that shit. I said, fuck school. Let me go ahead and get a job and get some money. I got son on the way. Yeah. <laughs> I dropped out of college. I wasn't I wasn't there. So you went to WC3, right? Mm -hmm. Which one? You went to one downtown and one Eastern, right here? The Eastern Campus, right there off Connor. Oh, that's like going to the motherfucker. You got all the holes. <laughs> yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't there, bro. Um, <laughs> my granddaddy had just passed Yeah. Um, in December. Okay. And, and, you know, I did the first semester, but he died at the end of my first semester. Yeah. And then when second se semester rolled around, I just walked out of class. But I wasn't there. Yeah, me I too. I wasn't there. I, I was going to school for business, and I'm like, I'm in class. You know, you got that mean when you look at the professor, but you still know what the fuck he's talking about. That was me. I mean, hmm. it's like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, no, I knew this? everything was going on. My um, I was one of my professor's favorite students. So what made you, you, you just your granddad strictly or just life? 
life, bro. I wanted to, I wanted to rap, bro. Yeah. I wanted to rap. Yeah. High school was a blur. Everything yeah. after seventh grade was a blur. Yeah. I didn't care I see, but school. then, the, you know what fucked me up, bro? Is when they told me that middle school didn't count for shit going to your college ca- career. Middle school? Middle school don't count for shit. Shit? I mean, it, you know, it shouldn't. But then when you get to high school, you got to think about, like, what you going through now as an adult, like, that's most important. Credit. Okay. Credit is a big thing as far as cars, houses, just life in general. Credit is a big thing. Do, do we learn about credit in high school? No. No, watch this, though. Watch this. <laughs> Shout out to my homegirl, Shansay. Okay. She told me that I did have a class in high school. That talk about credit? That talk about, I had marketing financing, bro, and I didn't even know. I was rapping. <laughs> I had marketing financing. She told me. We was on the phone. We was on the phone. That's one of my best friends. We was on the phone. We kicking it. I'm like, man, that's so fucked up because, you know, at this point, everybody, we all trying to build our credit and shit. I'm yeah. like, man, I wish we had a class that dealt with that shit. I'm serious than the motherfucker. She like, we on FaceTime. Actually, we on FaceTime. And yeah. she just looked at my face. She like, nigga, you had marketing and finance. You were in marketing. That was one of my electives. Yeah. That was like a class that I was in. <laughs> Three hour block. Marketing and finance. 11th and 12th grade year. She like, yeah. nigga, you serious? I'm like, yeah. Oh shit, I did. <laughs> well, maybe we just don't get that motherfucking. Maybe we just don't. You know. just didn't pay attention. Yeah, That's and you ain't got nobody to reinst. Like, hey, dog, you got that shit. Pay attention. Because at sixteen, you don't give a fuck about no, no goddamn credit. No. Only thing I care about sixteen is my motherfucking. Uh, is these clothes matching? The motherfucking Ivo braids crispy. Is it my fucking Mike Vick jersey going with these motherfucking Jays? Like that's yeah. the only thing I don't care about. Good. Yeah. I'm calling my girl at the time. Like, hey, hey make sure you watch. The, make sure you rock this because I'm rocking this. We gonna go to school. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that might be lame, but we, we no, gonna dress. That, that, that was we gonna time. dress that the same. I didn't. I didn't never dress like my girl, but that was the time. I don't know. Oh, so I'm gonna did. tell you about this one girl, dog, real quick, dog. I ain't gonna say her name because I don't want my first baby mama to get mad. If okay. she, I know she don't watch this shit. But before her, it was this one chick, dog. Me and my nigga Reg. She ain't gonna get mad. Me and my nigga Reg, dog. She she gonna get mad. He wanted to talk to her, but I wanted to talk to her, so I talked to her. And she st- she was related to David Ruffin in some type of way. <laughs> her last name was Ruffin. So she stayed right next door to my, gr- right the other street of my, as my grandma. My grandma stayed on Springfield off the service drive. Springfield was like right off of, right at the Fairview. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So, but Springfield is so small that it don't go to Warren. It's that Dead End Street? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Hell, fuck yeah. Okay. Damn, I'm in Springfield. I'm about to crack her. But uh, okay. <laughs> Ain't no tissues over here, my So man. Springfield, you dog. You ain't wiping this shit on my man. They said, watch me there, word, nigga. Go ahead and wipe your tears <laughs> with that shit. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? We, uh, we go there and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I walk her to the motherfucking crib and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you related to Dave Ruffin? Like, damn, my dad loved Dave Ruffin. And, and Eddie Kendricks and shit. Those was the best singers off of Temptations and shit. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where I was going with this shit. Where was I going? Some girl matching. <laughs> oh, matching outfits, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. This moment is brought to you by <laughs> Effin Baca so, yeah, and I Water. Went, I walked to the crib and found out she related to Dave Ruffin. She stayed down the street from my grandma. And I don't know why I told this story. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it was. <laughs> I guess I was. Duh. <laughs> Hey, look, we was here too. We like, damn, this shit about to. You about to talk about matching? That's the thing. This baby mom about to be mad for no reason. Like, damn. So you did like her. You wanted to match with the man. Damn. Dog. <laughs> hey, I guess I wouldn't say she was related to Dave Ruffin, dog. Fuck it. It be like that. Dog. It be like that. Don't worry about it. Dog. All right, nigga. Right. We talking about we. You on the podcast right now? What's up? And you supposed to start your own podcast, dog. I remember this nigga hit me up, dog. What's the? And you posted the shit. I did, didn't I? Yeah, this was after the music. What's the no, verdict? I know, I know, I know when it was. What's I... the verdict, dog? You post, you had the gavel and everything. <clears throat> so what, what happened, dog? Like, is this something that you still trying to do? Is it something that you taking your time on? Something you said fuck? What's up? Um, because <laughs> just talking to you, I feel like nigga. That's crazy. That's because I definitely, I definitely came through and got all the equipment. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's how you know people be real. <laughs> So what happened with what's the verdict, bro? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing happened for real. Nothing, nothing happened. Yeah. And, um, I went through, got the logo, got all the equipment. Yep. And um, 
it's 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 the perk it's the perks of uh doing what you want to do. I didn't want to do it no more, and I stopped. Damn, just like that. Yeah, just like that. So it, it ain't <clears> nothing <throat> that you going you going to pursue in the future. For sure, for sure. But see, this time I bounced back with a whole network. Yeah, if we gonna, so, okay, get, get on that. Like, uh, watch me network TV. Watch me network. You got the uh, whole little shit on YouTube and stuff. Mm-hmm. So is this something like as far as like a network that you building off the music, podcast, whatever you want to do? Whatever I want to do is going to be released on the Watch Me Network, which is actually I built it. Uh, me and my girl put it together for our kids. Okay. And that's okay. strictly. And I see you got your kids. It's, it's family you got your shit. Dirt on um, there. I look. I look at a lot of people's stuff on YouTube, and you know, a lot of people like have stuff when they just broadcasting they self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like living in that house every day is an episode. <laughs> yeah. Like literally. The funny shit day, I think was when you watch your grass, you didn't want to like start smack it. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day, every day is an episode with yeah. us. And us, the kids, like so um <laughs> we how how I'm gonna break it down is we in the process of building the network now. Okay. I wanna do like say for instance, this the number we working with now. I told her I want to do record like at least five things a day. Okay. So whether it be me and her going to do a podcast, mm-hmm. I got a game show coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my daughter is going to have her own segment. Her right. daughter going to have her own segment. Okay. The old, the kids going to have their own segments yeah. together like a kid show. Like I want to do a, a reality kid show. Yeah. On how kids <laughs> yeah. just, you know, um, my girl going to have a cooking show. Okay. And so we're going to have family mukbang and all that other good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, everything is going to be presented on the network. And it, I feel like I don't see too many people putting their family on. Yeah, yeah. It's just like I, I want to take it to, yeah. to the wins, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. Keenan put the family on. That's I put my son on. Yeah, I want to, yeah. if something happened to me, even if they don't want to do this when they get older, mm. they can always look back and be like, damn, we did this with, as a family. Hell I yeah, did this exactly. with my dad. I did this. And it's like. Because I've been rapping for twenty years, and I I don't have too much of footage on like yeah. it, even if I wanted to put a documentary together, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have that much footage yeah, of my life. Yeah, for sure, hell yeah. So it's like, all right, I don't want that to happen to my kids. Mm-hmm. So I'm in a position to change that and do something about it. So I'm just doing something about it. Okay, that's what's up, dog. So you yeah. said cooking show, podcast, yeah. all that podcast, stuff. yeah. So when when's the podcast start, right, good? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> we in a we in a process, you know. Um, yeah. we 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 are in a process. We we we're have we uh what they be saying? We negotiating. Yeah, yeah. me and her. Cause I mean, it's funny that you say that shit. Like as far as like studying and shit before you get you got fully involved mm-hmm. with music. I ain't gonna say I was a, a student of the game, but with the podcast and shit, I say Chrysler helped me because when I was working at Chrysler, I was listening to Taston. Taston was like the first nigga to make podcasting cool. Mm-hmm. Tast on, then you had the Drink Champs, you had Joe Buttons. I was listening to all these niggas. I'm like, damn, like, this shit cold. And like I said, once you and Paulie came on, and I started thinking, like, though, I can come up with some shit. The, my whole thing with the podcast was to get my music out. Mm. So I'm like, if I bring music artists on here, I can go ahead and tell them about my music. We can go ahead and collaborate. It's a way to get my music out. But at the the fifth episode, I'm like, dog, I like this shit, bro. Like, this is right. something I could do. Fuck the music. Like, I like doing podcasts. Right. I like asking questions. I like getting in tune with what you got going on. Right. And it's not about music. I had people who came up with their own cooking business, their own clothing line. Like, it's not about music. I had a basketball coach on this bitch. Like, it's just, just different things. The just vibe talking out. to people. Yeah. And I like talking to people and finding out and learning new shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's my whole thing behind the uh, the whole podcast and shit. So what would... What would be some shit like y'all would discuss, like as far as like you and your girl, as far as like y'all podcast and shit? All right, so <laughs> we're not gonna use this name, so I can give this name out. Okay, just for somebody who want to bite it. Yeah, me and my girl are so random. Yeah, like we never really sit and have a full head on conversation. So it's just like yeah. our conversation. Do you remember hands up to eighty five? Hands up, Avi. Yeah, it used to no, be a to game. Me. It used to be a game back okay. in the day where yeah. uh, the girls used to, you know, do the hand claps and hands up to eighty five. Yeah, and you just stay start stating random shit. So yeah. if I say red, you say green. Yeah. I say something. And whoever stutter first, lose. Okay, 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 cool, cool. So cool, we was going yeah, with our. We was just gonna be a random, <laughs> yeah. random, whatever. You know, of course we gonna have little notes to, to hit just mm. to give it some organization. But mm. just gonna come on there and talk about our day. Yeah, you know, yeah. and um, we was gonna name it hands up eighty five. Yeah. And that's how we was gonna start the episode off with. We was gonna probably get our kids to play hands up yeah. eighty five. Yeah, yeah, going to get anything. Yeah, yeah, and then you know, like, so let's go. And then that's when we was gonna just start talking. Okay, you feel okay. what I'm saying? Cool, cool. cool. But I didn't want to do that because DC and them got 
85, uh, 85 South. South, and I ain't want the 85s yeah. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I still might use that, so don't, you know. So I said, do you got a name? I was going to say. Without you, without, without you saying a name, do you still got a name? I, uh, alternate <laughs> <No>. name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Let me ask you this, though. Like, with you seeing podcasts and stuff, like, I would love to have a podcast where it's just me and two other people on a, on a weekly but me and my two other people who supposed to be on the show, it was bullshit. Mm-hmm. So I hit this nigga up one day. He didn't believe me because I've been hitting this nigga up for, for months. Saying like, dog, I'm going to do a, a one-on-one interview with people. That's and then fine. in the mid of that, in the midst of that, <coughs> as random topics, like how we started off talking about the NBA. Uh-huh. We talking about the uh, MVP. Like you can have random conversations, but I want to know what, what led you to build to what you're doing now. I'm going to have a talk show too. Yeah, what's the verdict is gonna be my talk. That's show. gonna be your talk show, yeah. and that's gonna be like you and your girl, or you or that's just me, and that's who you interview people. Interview people. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Bring me yeah. on, cause for sure, this. for sure, for sure, for sure, for <laughs> sure. And the um the podcast, uh, ideally, I wanted to have me and my girl. You know, we a couple. Okay. And I wanted to have another person, like one of our homies or one of my homies or one of her home girls, but I want them to be single. Okay. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah, it yeah. could give it a balance of yeah, us yeah, talking yeah. about couple shit and him talking about. Oh shit! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, and then you hey, like, hey. like me and my girl ain't innocent. We both come from, we both got a past, and yeah, that's and that's sure. one thing I want to hit on. Why I feel speak on oh, speak on that shit. Cause I want to ask you a question about that shit. What's up? Speak on it. What about what? Oh, you said you you, you, you threw me off. I was, say, I, was, I, was <laughs> I was going. I was going. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go what? what? No, you said you and your couple got you and your you and your girl got past. Oh yeah, we got past for sure. Um, Do you, is it ever okay to ask about the past? Ask about it. What do you want to know? Like not you, but I'm saying, like, well, what would I want to know? Okay, say say you 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 with her, y'all just getting together. Do you ever ask that question? Like, how many bodies you got? For sure, you ask. <laughs> you wanna, you, yeah. Do yeah. It, is it ever a turn off? No. Is too many. It might. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. It's, it's, that's before me. Like that number shouldn't move too much since we've been talking. Yeah, yeah uh, for sure. It got to stay right there. It can't be... Yeah, it ain't got to stay... You know, Like I said, we we weren't officially together until April. Okay, let me ask you this. Y'all wasn't officially together until April. April of 2019, right? Yeah. Y'all started talking about what, 2018? January. The first day of the year. Okay. So in between that time, would you be cool with her having a body? Would I be cool with it? Like, like you say, y'all wasn't no, no, official until April. Yeah, but y'all was talking. You say you ain't got no, nothing to do with what you. I can't doing. control it. Okay, I can't control it. They, so they don't, they don't like put no pause or no, or no. Hold on, we've been like, rocking for two years straight. Okay, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. we go through shit that couples go through. We yeah. argue. Yeah, fuck for you. Sure. Hell yeah, fuck all you, time. you ain't you got shit. To. Yeah, get out my house. <laughs> such and such, whatever yeah. the case may be. But you know, soon as she walk out the door, or you know. Yeah. What, what you doing? <laughs> come back, come back, please. Yeah, yeah. You forgot something. <laughs> you got that motherfucker too, baby. That's my dog. Like that's 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 my dog. Yo, that's sure. what's up. That's my that's my girl for sure. Hell no, hell yeah. And and what I feel like what I did different this relationship was we set the goals out at the beginning. A lot yeah. of people don't do that. Yeah. You you go off other people's expectation of lives or this is how a relationship should mm-hmm. go. Only thing I ask for is respect and honesty. Yeah. I can deal with anything else. Yeah. Because realistically, you might not want to admit on the show, you're mm-hmm. married. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Your wife, y'all married. Mm-hmm. Do you really think you're going to be the only guy that your wife is attracted to oh, for the rest no. of your life? Fuck no. I, it could be time we be at Walmart. She might see a nigga in a motherfucking cocky ass fight white beard. Like, damn, that nigga, that nigga strong. Oh, yeah. her, <laughs> her taste is pretty wild. No, but, uh, <laughs> it could be some shit. I'm quite sure, like, with her working, she a preschool teacher. So you know you working with you you got dudes who gonna be around. It might be somebody you attracted to, but I'm hoping that you ain't so attracted that you are gonna be like fuck, fuck what you got at the crib. When do when does reality cross with your your world? Yeah. Like, like say for instance, just say for instance, I don't want to I don't want to take it there. Let's take let's talk about just a, a example a example be married couple. Okay. Just say the wife does step out. Yeah. Are you strong enough to to talk about like nah if she's a whore that's just oh, oh, I can't do right. a whore. Put put it to me. Take it to me. So you saying my wife stepping out as far as I ain't going on dates? Okay, the same thing. She just not happy. She going on dates with this dude? Yeah, I can't fuck with it. You can't fuck with no. it. No. All right. Because <laughs> so my thing is like, all right, if it cause to me, I'm 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 like this. If you going on dates, that means that you rock, you feeling this dude. You ain't oh, got to sleep with a nigga. Brainer. See, this is the thing. Cause you ain't got to sleep is, with a nigga to be feeling a nigga. This the question. This the answer I was looking for. Okay, go ahead. What's going to prevent her from doing that is communication. Oh yeah, for sure. And Just that's why tell, I tell me you unhappy, and that's the that's the standard that I set for my yeah. Tell, I tell me you unhappy, no, and I'm a, I say it's your time. I do. 
I don't like for anything to build up that's gonna lead to a big argument. Let me know from jump that you not you not liking what I'm doing. Don't let that shit build up like nigga. I, I hate that you did this. I hate that you did that. You did that, yep. and you yep. bringing four type of four yeah. different things to me yeah. when you could just brought one to me from jump street. And that's what I told my girl from from the jump. It's just yeah. like this is what I learned in previous relationships. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm yeah. gonna tell you what I like, what I don't like. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you how I'm moving, how I'm not moving. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing and what mm. I'm not gonna do. Yeah. And I'm gonna put the ball in your court to see if you want to deal with that. Yeah, for sure. And you should do the same for me. Hell yeah, hell Let yeah. Let me know what's going on so yeah. I can decide. Yeah, if I'm a fuck if I want to deal with that. Yeah, because if you and I, I, for I, the most part we've been pretty yeah, solid. With I don't it, like you know? doing this. I don't like you doing that. So if it's something that you don't like, uh, she don't like that you doing, but it's something that you you gotta do for the sake Give of your example. business. Give me an example. Okay, the podcast. Mm-hmm. Say your girl not into the podcast world or she or whatever. It's and, hard because she is. So. But if she not. Okay, 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 okay. And you doing this shit, but she not liking what you she not liking that you leaving on this particular day every day. What do you do? What do you do? Do you explain to her like, listen, this is gonna this is gonna generate some money in the future. This is something I believe in, like just chill. I know you don't like this shit. Or do you like like for instance, I know how I do he stuff. He's trying to make this personal between him as well. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. This. Oh, okay, let's say. I remember earlier he said that this is his only off day. No. And his wife <laughs> wants him to stay no, in bed and cuddle. So I'm on the wife's side. I will quit this shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, me, I know she I'm might, always team. She, I'm always team with a wife. She like Happy it. wife, happy she, life. I she ain't. even posted shit like, hey, if you want to get on the podcast, uh, show love. Come on the show. My mm-hmm. thing is to make sure I offset. What she might not like, I make sure I do stuff. This nigga taught me that shit. Make sure it's an eighty twenty. Make sure you spend eighty percent of your time doing what she like. Twenty percent gotta be for you. If she don't like what I'm doing, I can't just say I'm gonna stop it because she gonna think she can stop anything she wants. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I know. I know, but I gotta still do what I gotta do. Even if you might not like it, I gotta do what I do. Do you ever um like offer for like to come over with you and? Like just sit, you know, chill. We can chill and shit. You can be, you can be a guest today, or yeah. you can be a co-host with me, or whatever the case may be. I never offered that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at this shit, you guys. <laughs> watch me network. Just watch me. <laughs> I'm gonna try that shit. Cause yeah. I'm gonna do it. She's like, come but on, see, listen. Cause then if she say, cause you saying if she say no, you like, hey, listen, I offered. I offered for you to be a part of this, and then and that's why. <laughs> listen, listen, people, people, you got to pay attention when you know. Let me lace your shoes up now. <laughs> um, that's one of the reasons why. Well, you know, me and my girl enjoy the entertainment business together, but I'm yeah. like, let's do this shit together. Yeah, let's yeah, build yeah. a family shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, let's yeah. do this shit together. Mm-hmm. That's going to stop, that's going to, not stop like that's going to be the reason, but that's going to stop me from um, dipping off or whatever yeah. the case may be. It's going to avoid you from, you know. I'm but see, with, with me, on my, my, my end, that got to be some separate shit. Because I do my shit like with you. I can't have her come come on with, because she might not ask the same topics, but if we want to get on some relationship shit on a separate type of podcast, mm-hmm. then we can do that shit together. But you still got to respect my Sunday, though. No, it's a fuck. <laughs> Like, for real. I, mean, I ain't mad at you. Man. No, for sure. Because my thing is with relationships, dog, you got to have a time to to miss somebody. You feel me? Okay. I'm quite sure you can't be with your girl every day, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I'll be chilling. Yeah. But sometimes you might want to chill by yourself. No. Yes. I'm going to tell you this. You just sit back there and you chill on yeah. how you chill. No, but listen to this. And Yesterday, when, when, I realized it's sometimes that you might be happy being uh, alone. in a single relationship. In a single relationship? By yourself. Because yesterday I went okay. bowling with my nigga, which is her cousin-in-law. He like, dog, let's go bowling. I know if I go bowling on Saturday, I got to bring my family, mm-hmm. which is my two bowling kids. Bowling back open? And my wife. Yeah. My two kids and my wife. You got to go in with your mask on. If you in your, your alley, take your mask off. <laughs> but if you go to the bathroom, you got to throw, throw that shit back on. So my thing is this. When I went to that bitch, that nigga paid thirteen fifty. I paid 50 I'm like, damn. This is the time that you would like to be alone. <laughs> like, hey, the <laughs> fact the fact that that's the reason he wanted to be single is pretty selfish. <laughs> that's selfish. Like, he's like, damn, man, this nigga paid thirteen fifty. I ain't paid fifty. Mm-hmm. And then she told me, "You have a good time." Yeah, we had a good time. That's all that matters. So I told her, like, listen, if you want to get some eat, the price of everybody being there fifty dollars. Yeah. The time that they had, priceless. Yeah. Hey, but I told her, like, you want to get some eat? Yeah, food's on you. Damn. Bowling was on me. <laughs> Food is on you. God damn it. 
<laughs> and guess what? She paid for the the, the chicken tenders and the fries. That's right. And the motherfucking uh, uh 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 mozzarella sticks. That's right. I told my son, if you hungry, you better eat one of them. You better eat some sticks. You better eat some motherfucking mozzarella sticks, cause if you don't. Then you gonna be going home and eat some cookies, nigga, for real. Which, which alley y'all go to? Cause I, that sounds like a platter. We went to one by the crib, dog. Uh, okay. We saw Aiden Beach, so it was like nine mile and. Cause I remember I went nine to mile one in Farmington. I we went to one. They had that was the platter. They had they had chicken <laughs> tenders, mozzarella sticks, nachos, and chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we didn't get the nachos and shit. It probably would be an extra couple dollars. So that's hell of <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> so for sure. So with you, dog. Talk about the podcast. Mm-hmm. We talk about the Watch Me Network. What's some shit that you trying to gain from Watch Me Network, dog? Like, what's some, what's, what's some, I ain't gonna say long term goals. What's some short term goal, short term goals you got with this shit? Togetherness. Okay. Togetherness. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna bring my family closer together. My, my family that live with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My, my kids. Yeah. My girl. For and sure. Her daughter. Yeah. You know, I was wanna, just family and family. I wanna show, if anything, I would, hopefully that, that, um, shows other, fathers how to be you know better fathers being your kids life like it's because when i was younger coming up rapping one thing i wish my mama would have did mm. was be more involved in my music career yeah as far as because, like what input or what she liked or no just the stuff that people couldn't do for me like take me take me places okay. take let's go out of town let, enter me in this talent show oh yeah, this talent sure. show yeah, because feel, yeah, yeah. ever since seventh grade my teachers have been telling you sean Pretty much just comes to my class and rap every day. Yeah. So that should have been a sign that, damn, my son. Yeah, really love this rap. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's what he wants to do. My son wants to rap. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you smart. Uh, you, it shows that you're smart. You know, you're not a dummy. Yeah. But if you want to relax, chill. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. let's go to Atlanta. Let's go to such and let's go to Chicago. Enter this yeah. talent show. Let's meet with these people. Yeah, for sure. And it was just like, I'm gonna say that she was just, you know, she already had my three older brothers. Mm-hmm. So you know, and they was like. Nine years and six years older than me. Okay. You know, so she was probably, at that point, she probably, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired, yeah. I'm Hell tired. yeah, I ain't got time to for that. Yeah. So it's just like, I'm I'm still young enough to be involved actively with my kids. Yeah, so yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. do something. Y'all not about to sit around yeah, all day. On the game, on and, TV. On, on, yeah. on the tablets, on y'all cell phones and all this other stuff. So yeah, let's go do let's, something. Let's do something. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's give, y'all want to, y'all want to YouTube, let people watch you on YouTube. Yeah. Let's Hell put yeah. the show together. You know what I'm saying? And if something happened to me, I got a one, a four, you know, one of four, one of y'all going to pick it up. If not, then y'all, y'all got the footage. It's funny you said shit, because like, even with the podcast, I hope, like, like, not going to wood, something happened to me, but I always wanted some, something that my, my kids can go back and watch me. Yeah. Damn, my dad was crazy. That nigga funny, like, that nigga stupid, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, something they can go back and watch, and instead of hearing people talk about me, they can actually go back and look at what I was talking about. You feel me? That's why I do the whole salute me while I'm here, because... If something happened to me, like, dog, I saluted y'all while I was alive, while you was alive. You feel me? I ain't wait till you pass away and write on your Facebook page, like, damn, he was a good nigga. I love you. All that shit. I can say that shit while you still can motherfucking see this shit. You feel me? Right. I ain't got to wait for you to pass away and be like, nigga, you was a good nigga. Like, and I, the reason why I ex- uh, exclude the mom and dad and, and kids and brothers and sisters, because they should automatically know. That's going to be some shit you can kind of like express to. Oh, so I can salute my girl. Uh, it, it disqualify them too, though. Huh. <laughs> Cause you should be doing that shit on your own, nigga. Like, man, that's my dog. That's, should, man, listen, bro, you should be telling that shit every morning, and shit, dog. Bro, it's crazy because <laughs> no, I'm serious, bro. I don't want to be in here sounding like a simp and shit. No, like, no, you that's could. that's my dog, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what no, I'm saying? Sure. That's like my real best friend. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just like we we really vibe with one another. We connect. This is my first time ever being in a relationship building. Yeah. I'm actually building something. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So let me ask you this. Like, is it like you say that's your best friend? That's your dog? Yeah. Every, is every time it's like, but damn, I ain't pillow talk a little bit too much. <laughs> like, like what the? When you pillow, you know pillow talk. Yeah, you, I know. I know. You said some talk, shit. Like, like, like what you what said the? some shit. Like, I just maybe shouldn't have said that shit. And I'm, I'm really trusting you and not to say nothing. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, no. I did some pillow talking, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thought and shit. <laughs> like, damn, I shouldn't have said that shit. I hope you don't say nothing. No, nope, nothing, nothing, not nothing, nothing that I said. And that's how I know nothing my, my oldest son, mom, is cool because back when we was in a relationship, I ain't pillow talk to some niggas. And she ain't said no shit. Like, you say you gotta keep that lie, that lie strong. Yeah, I told her some shit that she never said. She threatened me. I'm gonna say this shit See, like she shouldn't did that. That was whack. But when she said that shit, oldest son, mom, first album, mom. That was. I know she wasn't gonna say nothing. Yeah, like, don't like, threaten. Don't do now. that. Come on now, you ain't gonna say nothing for real. You can't for be real. that mad at me. Yeah. 
So you say you got the podcast. With the, the what's the verdict is the podcast or a TV show? The what's the verdict is going to be the interview. The, the, uh, interview. the, uh, the interview. When you got people on. Yeah. So the TV show you can't name that. It's all good and shit. My podcast. Q said I can name my hands up to eighty five. I'm thinking about doing that. Go ahead, do that shit, cuz. Uh, that's fire. So, yeah. what you doing that shit at? Like, at the crib? Like, you guys. Okay, so my. Kids starting out with that? That's yeah. Fire. Yeah, I'm, I'm a genius, man. Let me, <laughs> come, let me come an executive producer and shit, man. <laughs> but, no, nah, um. But, uh, me and my girl, we got an office for her boutique. Okay. So, we probably just gonna shoot it out the office. That's okay. probably gonna be our headquarters. Our yeah. headquarters for now. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So, with the music. Well, I know that you got two, you got two motherfucking fire ass albums. Do I? Yeah, and you got the motherfucking new single, The Ignit, and that shit to me is like some shit that you can play in the club all the time, you could do your own little two-step, I saw y'all was out there doing that shit. Me and my girl? Yeah, she's, so is that some shit that you, ignorant. and to me, you 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 a different a different artist as far as like when you first, when I first met you to now, do you feel mm-hmm. like, do you feel like, like I need to change lanes, do I need to, what's up with this? Bro. <laughs> Bro. Nah, uh. I was literally just having fun, bro. Okay, yeah. so the part that we skipped was I recently started making beats in May. Damn, that's what I was going to say. Is beat making something that you're going to sit here and go 100% and kind of put the Hell music no, I to- quit already. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, so... so <laughs> Listen, y'all... I do what I want to do. My life is 100% driven by me. But no, I ain't quit for real. I, um, Me and my... I got a partner, my homie Crawford. He okay. actually co-produced it with me. Okay, the, the inner song. Ignorant, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he... Uh, we... Uh, <laughs> that's <so funny. laughs> I quit, <then. laughs> Yeah, I quit all right. <laughs> but no, I, uh, me and my partner, we... we, we uh, we kind of got like this Neptune shit going on to okay. where we co-produce beats together. Man. Dope, dope, dope. Under no filter production. Yeah. And I seen that you made some beats for your girl. Yeah. You know, oh, I, you seen her, I seen her spitting on IG on a little yeah, shit. Yeah, man. She trash. When she, when she dropping some shit, dog? When she... Ooh. We gotta, you got to bring her on here next. Sir. Say, bring her. I will. I will. <laughs> yeah. well, you invite her, she going to be here. She, she on. Hey, hey, KJ. She on. Come on. Yeah. I think I... I when you told me about it before, I knew that y'all was, you know, what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying. A lot of t- people didn't even know we was talking together. So, yeah, a lot of people. I sent an email like, "Listen, bet, bet." I mean, I sent her a message, but you know, me not being friends, you know, motherfuckers kind of ignore this shit. So did she see it? You was on IG. I or? think I did. No, don't. I don't know if I did, but I think I did. Okay. But yeah, yeah, because you told me some shit. So I sent her a little link. Like I do everybody. I send links to the show. See if they want to get on or not. But yeah, I, she definitely can get on for sure. For sure, you okay. can come on and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Bring her on, whatever. But, but um, you said when she dropping some, um, she, uh, she kind of like fifty fifty with like kind of like trash, I'm, bro. <laughs> Listen, she be um. So the other day, <clears throat> you know, I make beats or whatever. So she comes, she like, do you make beats? Yeah, I make beats. Though. <laughs> oh, do I make beats? That's hella funny. That's hella funny. Said, like, yeah, I quit. I quit. When I was making beats. No, no, no. Remember, I said I was bullshit. I still make. I still. I still yeah, dabble with it. I got uh the song that she that she seen her IG doing. Me and my yeah. partner. So you you that. agent dude with the Neptunes then? Cause Pharrell always out there. No, I'm actually for real. Oh, okay, I'm for real. Yeah. My partner is is the the, the agent the, dude the behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? I'm the face of it. Okay. So um, long story short, she she came to me like a. I think I want to put an EP out. Yeah. But I want you to produce it, though. I'm like, all right. Yeah. And then, three days later, like, I don't know if I want to uh, put it out. <laughs> she like me, bro. We live how we we do what man. we want to do. But uh, she got a song that she got, man, I'm going to play it off the air. Yeah. I'm going to play it, the beat. Yeah. And I'm trying to get her to write to this beat with me so bad, bro. And she man. just won't do it. She's too busy. Duh. That shit I think she's cheating. <laughs> she's no <on> music. <laughs> <laughs> no. Duh. So so with so with that shit, like you you got her coming, you got the network coming and stuff. Like, what's some shit that you got as far as you? You you dropped the ethnic uh, uh uh video. That shit was cold. There's some shit that you can go ahead and dance to, two step to and shit. Yeah. Um, what's some shit that you motherfucking doing, bro? I I, I told I told this shit to my nigga Cheesy. Cheesy, what up, dog? I told you. What's up, Cheesy? You should drop an album, nigga. You told Cheesy, Cheesy should drop an album. He 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 dropped two, but he supposed to drop the, the third part of the cut from a different cloth. Okay. And he bullshit. It be like that. So what's that's why I say niggas who can rap always find a reason to stop rapping, dog. I'll be chilling. <laughs> I'll be chilling. Cause I expanded my brand. Okay. 
<laughs> so are you done with the music or are you gonna just drop Ooh, singles on niggas? Ignorant. Yeah, I'm gonna do ignorant. I'm gonna do ignorant. I'm gonna do singles. <laughs> okay. For sure. But um No whole project. Unless you feel like it. It might change tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I might, you know, I might, I might hit you up like, hey, bro, I need to come back on and promote this album for sure. But yeah. I, um, no, but Ignite came about on mistake. Yeah. So I was um, so my girl was working at this one gig, and she was working um, she used to get off at like four o'clock in the morning. Okay. And um, I used to uh, I used to go pick her up. Yeah. Because I ain't want her. You know, driving that late. You know, yeah. she catch a flat. Anything could happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got to get gas. Anything. Yeah. So it's just like, I, I'll go and get you every okay. night. So long story short, I'm sitting up all night. I'm chopping this sample up. Um, and I was, uh, I was, I was listening to, uh, the, the beat came along with, I was, I was listening to, uh, the overweight, uh, the overweight lovers in the house. Oh, uh, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah, it is that shit. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that's that. I didn't like how they, I didn't like how they did the beat. I yeah. didn't like the beat. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, so I, you know. Oh, huh, that's, um, Heavy D, right? Heavy D, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So then, I, uh, I went back and found the original sample, which was the JB's, uh, yeah. past the piece. So, I, um, I'm like, all right, I like this beat. So I chopped up the sample, okay. added the drum pattern. Yeah. And then ne- the next day, I uh, went to the studio with my partner Crawford. Okay. And we we just doctored it up because the mm. first, the original one was trash. Yeah. Like, but you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like I I cut the sample and I put the drum pattern on there. But he okay. came and added all the bells on. So I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, long story short, so I made the beat that day. Yeah. The next day, um, well, like a week later, I'm listening. I'm walking around. Still got to pick her up at four o'clock in the morning. Okay. I'm just like the first thing I when I start making beats I'm like I don't want to write to my beats that's yeah. that's whack yeah, 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 it okay. was whack yeah. you feel what I'm saying like I don't want to write to my beats yeah. I I didn't I didn't yeah. want to write to my beats yeah. so I, um but this beat just it was just stuck in my head I'm, I'm like fuck I'm about to write to this bitch yeah so um I couldn't find it and I was like having a writer's block yeah. Which was strange because I didn't want to rap. Yeah. I didn't want to. So it's just like, yeah, I'm done. trying to rap to this beat. Yeah, like, yeah. just have fun. Be yeah. free. Yeah, have yeah, fun. Sure. Yeah. Do whatever the beat is. So I'm listening to uh, Pharrell and uh, Puff Daddy. Uh, they got a song called Get Loose and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to that song. So then I'm dun 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 I'm like, man, this shit's so ignorant. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. That's the finest motherfucker I'd have seen yeah. in the club in a minute. So yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm on something. So it started off as a joke. I'm joking at this point. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Oh, no, that's then I'm then then my lyricist, my lyric, my uh my lyricist shit kicked in. I'm like, that's the finest motherfucker I done seen in a club in a minute. And I'm like, a minute, okay, not be a lyricist. Sixty seconds done passed, and I'm still staring at that ass. No, you but the, the, like, the, the funny about that is in a club you do that shit, bro. Yeah. When that song you you look you got that main bitch that you main Mama. chick uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that you're looking at and you might Continue to look at that chick yeah. the whole time. See, I flipped it, you know, because a minute is 60 seconds. I'm like, damn, 60 seconds. And, you know, because I could have been like, a minute still passed, but I'm like, 60 seconds. I'm going to be a lyricist. Yeah, yeah, right, you feel sure. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I'm still staring at that ass. Watch out. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I'm having fun and shit. You know what I mean? Then the started from the bottom, one of the only place that we headed is up. Guarantee that you fall in love. Because yeah. when I penetrate the middle, it's the, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a music lover, so it's just like I remember when I was younger, Spice Girls was popping. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you wanna be my lover, no, so, yeah. Um, long story short and shit, I'm like, okay, I got the hook. I told my girl the hook. She like, yeah, that's fire. Yeah, that's fire. You so I'm like, all right, boom, I got the hook. The yeah. hook is set. How am I gonna like? At first, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna sell this song. Yeah, if I'm gonna sell the song with the hook, whatever. Yeah. Then it's just like, but how would I do it first? So boom, I started off with. I just let my hair down. I don't do the cap. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. And I'm like, uh, when I walk in this bitch, they like, who's that? You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, boom. So then I, you know, chopped, I did the verse and shit. I told my girl the first verse. She like, that's your song. Yeah. Like, you own that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it. So then I end up doing the song. And then that's when you seen the video of me, me and her. Like, we are like, okay, so we got to make a hustle to this shit. Yeah, for sure. You feel what I'm saying? To market it. So it's just like, all right, this was back in May I recorded this song. Yeah, yeah. Then I start feeling like one thing I don't like is other people's expectations. Yeah. I'll fall the fuck completely. I will go on a on a hiatus, like yeah. you said, bro. It's like, yeah. all right, I'm I'm about to show you that I'm not living for you, bro. Yeah. yeah you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I I'm I, I'm straight. Yeah. yeah but long yeah. story short, we did that we did that video. I mean the hustle video where we made the, the little goofy dance up. Yeah. We actually made it up right there on the spot. Like yeah, that shit sweet. Like though. a minute like right before we recorded that shit, we was making it up like yeah. that at the studio. But uh, 
Long story short. I remember you posted that shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, I saw that shit. And I posted them. I'm like, I want this song to go viral and shit. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. then we shot the video, and I'm like, I got to do some ignorant shit in this yeah. video. Yeah. And she used to braid my hair in ponytails. Yeah. So I'm like, that shit gonna be fire. We should do that <laughs> for the video. Yeah. What else can I do? Then I'm thinking like, I'm thinking about wearing a yellow suit with yeah. the yellow background. Yeah. She's like, fuck it, let's do that. So the initial <laughs> video was supposed to start off. I was I was on at the Coca Cola uh, warehouse on what's warm. Yeah, I had the Pepsi shirt on. Though, yeah. doing some ignorant shit. Yeah, I was gonna sit out there like a like a bum, like a homeless yeah. person. I was gonna sit out there with my sign. My <laughs> sign read like everything happened too fast to where people that watch the video. So if you haven't seen that video, it's called Ignit by Verdict on Watch Me Network. <laughs> Tune in, run those views up, please. For sure, Got but you um. That. But it's my my signs say we'll work for Coke. Yeah, and uh, I got and I got the Pepsi. You know what I'm saying? The Pepsi shit off. So I, the original the the original video is supposed to start off with me. Uh, you remember when Ray Charles did the Pepsi commercial? Yeah. You want it? You want it? You uh huh? You got to have it, baby. Yeah. So I I was doing that. That was supposed to be the skit before the before the video started. Yeah. But we end up not being able to you know do that all together. But um. Yeah. So the video started with me walking. I'm I'm following her around. Um, it was supposed to be be a split between that and another scene was supposed to be the first verse. I had like the uh, Coney Island outfit. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna have I had the Coney. I was gonna be watching her outside the Coney Island. Yeah. So it was gonna split from that, and then the uh, second verse start off with uh, me me and her at the hotel. So I was chasing her. I was following her and chasing her throughout the whole video. Then the second verse, I finally get her. Yeah. We about to we about to fuck around. And I'm like, I gotta go to the store and pick up a rubber. Yeah. By the yeah. time I even get to the hotel door, she already at the damn door with the fucking pregnancy yeah, test. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And that was just the message, like how quick these women be talking about they pregnant, pregnant. and all this shit. I'm like, hey, I didn't sir. even hit you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm, like damn, you pregnant already? Like, God damn. Then the next thing, right after that, she throw the pregnancy test at my head, which really happened to me in real life. Yeah. Well, my daughter's mama, she did that <laughs> shit. That's how I found out my daughter was on the way. She, we got into an argument. She threw the damn pregnancy test in my head. That's right. <laughs> and um. Then it's a family photo with a baby doll with money over the face. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like how women look at babies as yeah. money. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Then it's sure. us walking down the street and she pushing a baby stroller and the post of the baby in there, it's a bag of money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And then the, the camera zoom in to the, to the money, then it zoom back up. And then that's when I'm walking down the street with the money outfit on. Duh, that's funny. So now it's that. like she went from the baby to looking at yeah. me like I'm money. Yeah, that's crazy ig- because I'm, look- ignorant shit. I'm looking at you right now, and you got twins come out your motherfucking back pocket because I'm a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's hella funny. I actually got another song I'm going to play for y'all before I leave uh, called Phone Booth. Yeah. That's going to be my next joint. So it's like, is this like a new uh, persona that you got, dog? Uh-uh. Yeah, it's good. Phone Booth going to be the last one. Okay, I like so, that. Is this I want to go back there. I want to go back to rapping, but I just don't. Have say, it, it, I don't so, have time to be like y'all asked me earlier when I'm like, bro, I really don't have no verses, yeah. bro. Like, I'm yeah. So, it, it, so with this is is is, is, it, is it gonna be something you drop in the future, like a a, a tape, an album, project like that? Yeah, no, just a project. Period. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dog, you silly as hell. If dog. I feel like it, you know. All right, before like we we gonna get out the out the music shit, dog. Um, with you rapping, and you dropping like causing for everybody, the last album and stuff you just dropped. Keep dropped, living. Keep living. Mm-hmm. It, do you feel like you needed to? You would have blew up more if you if you moved outside the city of Detroit. Yeah. I, um, have you ever thought about like fuck? I'm out. I might go somewhere else and. Um, blow his music I'm thinking up? about taking my my family to Atlanta. Okay. I'm yeah. thinking about it. That's something me and my wife talk about. Or Atlanta, LA. Uh, just just. Yeah. 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 I gotta build my money up first. Especially but, with um, this Watch Me Network, like this could this could build to something way past music. I feel I feel if if um thank you. I feel if me me and Paula used to used to uh stay out like in California like mm-hmm. two thousand early teens, the early two thousand ten, like eleven, twelve yeah. and shit. And um I feel like if I'd have stayed out there, I'm one of those type of people. I did the Lauren Hill too early. Yeah. You know how Lauren yeah, Hill yeah. chose her kids over her career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I did that too early. Yeah. That's, because a, that's I didn't my, make my career first. It's crazy you said that shit with Lauren Hill though. I, I wish she would have dropped more music after what she did with the Fuji did her own shit. Yeah. Because I feel like nigga, I wanted to see like a Nas and Lauren Hill album. Okay. 
Okay. Or if you want to go with somebody current, a uh, uh, Lauryn Hill and Kendrick. Yeah. Album. Yeah. That'd be dope as fuck. Like it would. them two of them boxing each other, ideas off each other would be dope as hell. Yes. Yeah. That who? Davies. Oh, you like Davies? I like Davies, but a lot of niggas don't like Davies yeah, like that. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. And I, I just feel like I chose, I chose my kids. It's like even though I still had a career afterwards, after yeah. my kids, it was just like I couldn't move how I wanted to move because I always been a primary parent. Yeah, for sure. I already know how it is. And I um, and I uh, yeah, I should have. I feel like I missed my window. Like the Kendrick, the J. Cole's, the uh, the Big Sean's. Uh, currencies, Wiz, oh, all them. That was my nigga. that was my class. Niggas sleep on currency. Yeah. Niggas sleep on currency. Drop shit every month. Yeah, that was my class. No, currency is my nigga, dog. Since Young Money days, like niggas sleep on currency. I'm glad he said that shit because I was just listen. Currency just dropped some shit Friday with Harry Frog. Okay. And currency is the motherfucking truth, bro. Like niggas sleep on currency, bro. Like I'm mad the niggas sleep on him like that. Currency and problem is two niggas sleep, they sleep on. I like problem. Yeah, I love West Coast niggas, dog. Yeah. Me and my girl be... Uh, Rest in peace my nigga Nipsey, dog. Debating. Rest in peace. Me and my girl be debating because I fuck with Tiger. I, I like Ty his hit-making ability. Tiger, make, he, he know how to make a hit, I like dog. his hit-making ability. He know how to make a hit. Because he's not the best of rappers, but mm -hmm. he, he... Not... Speaking of names and, you know, you being verdict and shit like that, hmm. what's some what's some classic... <laughs> what's some classic um rap names that you remember that you like? Damn, that was a good-ass name. The Verdict. Besides you, <laughs> besides you, for me, Easy E. This back in the day, Easy E, right? And Tupac because niggas thought that that was his rap name was that was really was his name. Mm -hmm. And you gotta go ahead and do a, like a slash like Ice Cube slash Ice T. Back then, like that was a dope name to me. Ice Cube, Ice T, Ice Cube. Okay, that was a good name. I like, and Tupac probably like the best rap name because Tupac don't sound like a real government name. Tupac, nigga, like your name is Tupac. That is an odd question, bro. I know, nigga. That's why you got on Shaver versus everybody podcast. Come on, man. Best podcast you in the city. Where we at? Come if we on, doing any man. other podcast, nigga, shut that bitch down. Oh, please, <laughs> please. But no, um, rap names like Verdict. Oh, you said besides me. Besides you, you because you got a dope name. Like niggas want. Yeah, think it about. is. It is. Cause you think about the being. <laughs> I'm a judge, the gavel, nigga. Like Come on, my, my my shit is law. And I found it on mistake. How you find my mistake? Just looking at me and my... I remember I was S-Dub. Yeah. And me and my um, homeboy at the time, we was uh, going through the dictionary yeah. to find new names. I couldn't be S-Dub no more. It was yeah. trash. It was, it, was, it was getting outgrown. Like, yeah, I was sweeter yeah. than S-Dub. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and uh, we just flipping through the dictionary and I just landed on Verdict. Damn, that's how you found that shit. Yeah. I still got the... I think... Um, I, I, not I think I know. I still have that dictionary. Damn. To this day. Remember niggas had, uh, uh, what's that shit you had to look up shit when you do projects <coughs> in school? A thesaurus? Encyclopedia or a Which one? Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Right, well, I'm drunk, niggas. Okay. But, yeah, like that. but when you, got, you had to actually look up shit, bro. Like, in spelling, when you had, like, spelling words, you had to look up the dictionary, look up the word, find sentences for the words, mm -hmm. how can you use the word. Like, remember that shit, though? Like, I don't remember school. Because <laughs> high school ain't for everybody, nigga. <laughs> I literally went through that shit just to go through that shit. So, so, but who are some names that you look like? Damn, like how did he, how did he discover that name? You ever thought about this shit? Like Wiz Khalifa. I never paid attention to how he got that name, but I'm always wonder like how you fucking come up with that name. Like, I like I I'm more so like when motherfuckers use their real name. Yeah, like I always wonder, Kendra Lamar. Yeah, Sean Whitfield is just a trash yeah. ass rap name. <laughs> like it just don't ring. Like so I never I ain't, I'm just gonna be good. Yeah. I just realized what S-Dub meant, man. Oh, you what? Dog. <laughs> Wait, tell me. Oh, S -W. shit. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Dog, look, were you drinking a little bit? I barely graduated. Yeah. Oh, no. Damn. I'm going to tell you how I graduated, bro. I, I, I shouldn't have graduated, dog. I shouldn't have fucking graduated. You I, shouldn't have graduated? No, hell fuck no. God was skipping every fucking day. The thing that saved me... The thing, the thing that saved me in high school was that I got good grades, ninth and tenth grade. Okay. I went to an all white school, basically, Gross Point North. I went to Southeastern, and when I went there, my grades was okay. My brother went to North. Uh, his twelfth grade year, he got kicked out when they found out he stayed in Detroit. Dog, that's how I got kicked out. Yeah. When I was in there, ninth and tenth grade, tenth grade, my mom moved back to Detroit, and my leasing office called the high school and said that I moved. So I told my address and they kicked me out. 
I feel like they only kicked him out because football season was over with. What, what year he went there? 90. Oh, shit, yeah. It's yeah. before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> older brother. Like, my, yeah. He's like nine years older than me. Oh, yeah. yeah. He went uh, 98. Yeah, yeah. But that was on that shit. Like, for real. Like, if you don't belong here, cuz, get the fuck out. Yeah, they kicked him out. So, I went to Southeastern. Um, when I went to Southeastern, I found out I wasn't going to make the basketball team because 80 niggas were trying out for one spot. My nigga Cornbread got that spot because he was tall as fuck. I'm a 5'8", so he ain't picked my dumb ass. <laughs> so that's, like that, don't worry. Hoop dreams was over, and my grades just went motherfucking to the ground. It be like that. Don't Nigga, like, damn, like, I can't hoop no more. Like, this was my reason to go to school. Right. For real, so that was the whole shit. I don't know how we got to that shit. No, we you, to my names, damn. Names, yeah. yeah. Um, so it was like some, uh, like, damn, like, how the fuck he get that name? Like, Bro, I don't. You don't pay attention to niggas like that? <laughs> I pay attention to hey, shit like that. Like, I try to tell you like, like six times, like, verdict. I don't know, bro. Yeah, because, cause too. All right, I'll tell you my shit. My, mm -hmm. Me, my, my nigga Reg, who I was talking about, we mm -hmm. had rap name. He originally, I, I started rapping. Sweet. Our shit was City Boys. Young think, City Boys. I think I've seen you yeah. say something about that. So this is before yeah. City Girls that, came out. Was that the people who told you that your shit was the worst rap he ever heard in his life? Mm. Not his. I'm talking. Oh, about his uncle. His uncle. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got this shit. I pay attention. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I got. Uh, Watch me network. Bro. I study everything. Because <laughs> right? I got a song I'm about to put out called uh, Throwback Thursday. Okay. I'm gonna put a little EP out with all '90s uh, uh, beats. So I got the um, the uh, Jay Z beat um, um, Dear Summer. That's 2000. It is. Don't that's say that shit. That's 2005. <laughs> then a motherfucker. All right. Well, it's still Throwback Thursday. Okay, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm rapping on that thing. shit, and I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking about that shit though. As far as like his <laughs> uncle telling us that we trash as fuck, <laughs> we trash as fuck, and um, we was rapping to the game. Um, this is how we do. That's two thousands as well. I'm saying, I'm saying what we was rapping on when his okay, uncle okay. told us that we was trash. Okay, okay. So we uh, we we rapped to this beat. We in my my room for like a good hour. We rapping to this beat. This is how we do. We go to uh, his uncle, and he's like, he a DJ. He's like, dog, that's the worst shit I've heard in my life. That's both. The old me would be like, nigga, I quit rapping. The, 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 but the new me was like, let me challenge this nigga so the next time he hear me, he going to be like, that's dope. Right. And that's what he said. That's sweet. The next time I came to him, I thought, y'all niggas improve like a motherfucker. To hear that story in person felt different. Yeah. I, 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 so I was like, dog, like, when he said that shit, like, all right, babe, I'm going to always be prepared whenever I go to the studio with anybody. Whenever I go to the booth myself, I'm going to always be prepared and be ready. Shout out to my nigga P.O.G. Uh, whenever I go to him, he always tell me, like, P.O.G. Yeah. P.O.G. fuck with Joe Kane. Yeah, yeah, I know P.O.G. P.O.G. a giant. Yeah, I know P.O.G. You a real east side nigga, cuz. Yeah. His, <laughs> um, his son grew up on the same street as me. Yep. Hey, yeah. that, that old ass nigga got AJ. kids. Yeah, AJ. <laughs> that old ass nigga got kids. But yeah, like going to him job. is what helped me as far as like doing music because like... He had the studio upstairs in that like that little room. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup. That's why I think I love that nigga, dog. Like going up there, like I can't go to nobody else right now. But oh, you still record? Yeah. He still record music. Like, I'm going to record this shit. I got this shit. I put the promo out dog, uh, called Ooh. Broke Niggas with some J's. I think I seen that. You had the orange and black ones on there. Yep. Yeah. So my thing is like whenever the next big J's come out. What made you go out, orange and black? Uh, just because the ones is the original ones. But why you go no, orange it was, and it was black? red and black. Oh, is it red? My yeah. eyes fucked up. Yeah, your eyes fucked up. You were a little blind. So I, I think about the original <laughs> ones. And then on the song, I actually talk about the ones. Okay. So basically, the song without giving out is about a nigga who just obsessed with Jordans. Okay. To the point that he will kill a nigga for Jordans just so he can still live life. Sweet. That's so, a sweet concept. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. I'm going to do that shit, see where it go. If you don't that go ain't no, your 90s thing, though, right? Because Jordans came out in the 80s. Oh, yeah. No, it ain't, it ain't the 90s thing. Yeah, okay. No, that's... <laughs> so before that... You need to let me executive produce because you... Oh, <laughs> that shit. So before that, I got a, a, a Sweeties Day EP that I want to bring out. It's just talking about bad You want to do a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, as far as... My music. mind is... No, it's good. Everywhere. That's a great thing. I ain't, I wasn't saying that to say. Oh no, no, sure. it's everywhere. I think about the podcast when when the corona hit. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna drop an EP the day before I get married. I did an EP the day before I got married. The next one, I say I'm gonna do it on. You released it the day before you got married. Yeah. Okay. Cause I want to have a big celebration. I know on my wedding day I was gonna celebrate what the gender of my kid was gonna be. Sweet. So I wanted to make sure the day before I drop some music. Okay. And then after that, I say, okay, I'm talking about breakups. I don't want to do it on Valentine's Day. I want to do it on Sweetie's Day because I don't believe in Sweetie's Day. But if niggas believe in that shit, let me drop some shit on Sweetie's Day about. What it's going to be called? Oh, let me see. Because I got it right down, dog. Because uh, I got so much shit, dog. So the the the, the fucking um, the album is the Love and Basketball shit when they was all hugging. So it's called Chavez A by Love Edition. So it got that, that shit. Okay. 
So that's just, on Sweetest Day. Yeah. Okay. That's Sweetest Day. If it don't come out on Sweetest Day, then I fucked up. <laughs> but that's on Sweetest Day. It's just talking about bad relationships. Okay. But in the rap Make sure y'all on the lookout for that. Yeah. Yeah. So then after that, that's why I'm going to drop the uh, the Throwback Thursday. And then after that, I'm dropping the um, the Astro album, which is going to be the first time that I purchased beats from different producers. Come shop with me. Okay, bet. We we go ahead and work that shit out. Cause that's gonna be every that's gonna be it. It's gonna be called forty seven thirty seven because I was when I first started rapping it was on Cooper Street. Mm-hmm. And that was the address. Yep, forty seven thirty seven. Okay. So that's gonna be it. If it blew up, if it don't, that's it. See, that's how I felt with ignorant. Yeah. I don't care. That's it. Okay. And after that I just drop like you said, I just I ain't gonna say samples. I don't care. I just I just I'm not living to nobody's expectation. Yeah, My for sure. expectation is to, for people. He said he heard it and made him yeah. dance. He liked it. Yeah, and, he, and right? he a big nigga, so he was dancing. He was a bit sweat like, yeah, isn't it? Funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he was a bit sweat like. Find some motherfucker in <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> for sure. Seconds done passed. So I'm if you made that nigga dance, cause you did your motherfucker job, nigga. For real, for real. You say you liked it when you heard it. You yeah, no, me? it was dope as hell. I ain't like I said, like I told you, it hurt. Like I tell niggas on this shit, Joe Kane. I'm not gonna say that shit in your face just to be like, okay, he on my show. Me tell me this shit. Uh, straight. I'm gonna actually listen to it because a lot of times niggas drop some shit, and just because you're not that big name, they listen to it for the time being, and then that's it. Like you gotta live with that shit. You gotta listen to it for a couple of listens before you could really say if something is dope or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Fresh, he came on this bitch like you can't just listen to an album one time. And be like oh y'all, it's sweet. Sometimes you hear an album the first, and that's what make them instant classics. Yeah. When you I know- first heard uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Good Kid, Man City, I knew it was a classic the first time I heard it. That, to pimp a, to pimp a uh, butterfly, you like that shit? I liked it just because it was Kendrick Lamar. It, no. It didn't, have that much, it didn't age well with damn. me. With me. I'm My hurt. favorite Kendrick album is Damn. Damn, that, that was cold, but... The, on, on <laughs> that to, was cold, but... Hold on. To pimp a <laughs> butterfly, when he said, if, this, if these walls could talk... Fire. And when I think about the first time I ever got some ass, I was 16, and those walls was gone. (laughs) 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 This segment here is brought to you by Effin Vodka. No, no. I ain't going to tell her name like I said, you know what I'm saying, but... My first experience with um get some get some get some action wasn't a good experience though. It wasn't. No. Mm. It wasn't what my brothers and my cousins and people my uncles told me it was gonna be. Okay. It was a disappointment within myself. Sweet. <laughs> because I got told you my my uh my cousin I call him my cousin he like he a big homie. Okay. His girlfriend stayed next door to me, so he should drop condoms off at my crib so his girl won't see it. Sweet. So he dropped some extra. Like my sweet. He dropped some <laughs> some con, there was some Magnum SLs in my crib. I go to the bathroom. My girl look in my drawer and see those bitches, and she's like, "I'm scared." I'm like, "For what?" She pulled the condoms out. <laughs> I throw a bitch right back in the drawer. Like, bitch, I don't know if I can fit those. I never, <laughs> I never even did this shit. <laughs> I never did this shit before, dog. Like, put them bitches back in the drawer. Let me get those motherfucking lifestyles you get from the motherfucking clinic. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> I never put the bitches on in my life. Nigga said, bitch, I don't you know, but, that shit. I'm, and that's that's a real story, dog. Shout out to my nigga, my nigga PG Green, dog. Like, that's no, hella funny. That's not happening. You might, you not about to embarrass me on my first time. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put them on and say I got to switch out. That's hella funny. <laughs> Who is a, a, a artist from the city? Who's your favorite artist from the city? Number one, and then who is an artist that you want to see get on? This nigga, uh, what's the verdict, real quick? My favorite artist from the city is Big Hurt. Okay. Because he the first Detroit rapper I ever, I have a list to in the city. Because when I came to Harpers to Detroit, my niggas put me on Blade, Big Hurt, and everything. I, I gravitated to Big Hurt. Big mm-hmm. Hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the best <coughs> underground CD from the from Detroit is uh, K D Z, um, Stuck in My Ways. With the, the best underground CD. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because it just it just did something to me. Call my dope money. Uh, what hood you from? All that shit. Uh-huh. That was something different. Who you say who I want to see? Uh, yeah, get on. Like successful. Mm-hmm. Who do you want to see? Like on mainstream, quote unquote. I would like to see that nigga very get on, but that nigga rap like that for real. Mm-mm. You ain't gonna see that. Payroll. Payroll. I think you said that too on that. Yeah, episode. because I feel like he. When you listen to music, it make you want to go hustle, make you want to go get some money. Like I feel like Jeezy signed <laughs> Doughboy Cash out just because of payroll. I agree. 
You know what I'm saying? Payroll is like a nigga, like, he gonna keep that same flow no matter what. Even on Big Shot album. Nigga, he ain't about to switch up. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm payroll, nigga. That's it, nigga. Like, I ain't about to switch up, nigga. Like, I'm, I'm, this is me. So I would love to see that nigga blow up as a solo artist, even though I respect that he, he's still true to his clique and that's how you should be. You know what I'm saying? He's true to his gang and mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, big, uh, big Keys, uh, Kate, um, what's the one nigga name? Um, yeah. HBK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kid. And then you got, um, the other dude, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, but you were part of that shit. And then rest in peace, the rock. I want to see that nigga shine. Sweet. I think he dope out the city. Sweet. What about you, nigga? Um, what about you, nigga? <laughs> uh, my my favorite will probably be Viz. Okay. I like Viz. It might be some biasness. It might be some six miles. Cause you from the from the, from the hood, yeah, hood for shit. Sure. Yeah. For sure. But I definitely. Viz cold though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I want to. I want to see. Uh, I want to see him. I want to see him get on, mm -hmm. like, cause I know he, he's smart enough to be able to work his way through the industry. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for like, sure. Hell yeah. He don't fuck around and start his own label. Hell yeah. You know Ice me out records and shit. Yeah. Ice start records. Oh yeah. Ice up records. We both wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ice up. Ice up records for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I definitely always felt like if I'd have got on, I'd have definitely opened doors for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he'll know what to do with it once he's in there. Yeah, for sure. You know, I've been trying to reach out to his manager, Chanel. I want to, you know, executive produce his next album. You know, right. holla at me. I put some shit together. That's what shit you want to do, though. Yeah, I want to executive produce. I feel that like you want to be behind the music. Like, you don't want to yeah. be like the main nigga. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I like, like I said, J Kid, I like to see other people shine. Yeah. I like to, to throw oops to Kenya Martin. You yeah, feel what I'm for saying? Sure. I Hell like. Yeah. Throwing Richard Jefferson, you Kerry Kittles and shit, my yeah. nigga, with the high yeah. socks, nigga. I love Kerry Kittles. Yeah, I, I like seeing other people shine. Yeah, you know, it yeah. make me feel. I feel like that's what I was sent on Earth to do. Yeah, for sure. That's my purpose. Hell yeah! Even with this nigga, with the podcast, he like being behind the shit behind. Besides being right here, All right. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna take over that shit, cause I'm gonna be that nigga, you dog. Know, and, I, and I was here, <laughs> and I was here from the beginning. Yeah, know? for sure. When he decided he wanted, you know. Yeah, that's 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 a true story. I feel good about that. I ain't even gonna. Like, I was, I'm gonna tell I was my gonna, girl that when I go. I was gonna shout you out before, but I said I'll do a shit when he on the show. That's fire. Mm -hmm. That's fire. I remember she I called a nigga like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, watch me network, cuz. I can do this shit though. Like <laughs> 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 Watch me watch me do this shit though. Watch me watch no, I see, me I see what you did. Watch though. me take you over the motherfucking no, mountain, dog. Did, like though. for real, for real. Maybe no. I would, um thought about turning y'all shit into like a, a whole network and just have different podcasts and different shit coming through. See, that's what you're trying to do. Okay. We do that already. All right, my fault, my fault. My fault. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on with us, dog. Watch, I'm, I'm shit. I, you know, watch, I'm the, watch the agent, verdict, dog. Yeah, currently, we have uh, three podcasts. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he black. He got a black shot ready by uh, beers. beers. Bourbon whiskey podcast yeah. where we talk about beers. And bourbon. the funny thing about that was I met this older dude, dog. We were talking about... Uh, That's bourbon I'm whiskey. I apologize, bro. We were talking about bourbon whiskey, and I'm like, same page. Yeah. yeah, I was talking about bourbon whiskey because of this nigga podcast. I didn't know about shit about bourbon and whiskey. I knew about vodka. That's fire. That's but shit, I was able to talk about some different whiskeys and shit. Like, cause I know about that shit. Cause you, you know about this shit. And all cause of this nigga, dog. That's fire. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Sada and Cash Kid too. Them other two favorites. I like Cash Kid. Them other he be two spitting. favorites. So you was you disappointed in that um that freestyle with um payroll album, the cipher. On payroll album? I mean, my bad. Big, Big Sean. Sean. Um, I, was, I was disappointed a little bit. All like right, the I'm, beat selection. I ain't really care for the uh the grinding remake. Yeah. Um wasn't that the best um um um, um <coughs> rap on that bitch I for, I, I I believe it was uh Royce. Royce, yeah. Yeah, I like I like the Oprah and Gale line. That was pretty yeah, fire. Yeah. Royce Cole though. Um Nigga sleep on Royce. I'm 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 not too much of a fan of Eminem like I used to be. Me neither. I'm glad you said that shit. I'm not, I think uh, you should stop. Let me see. That's, that's <laughs> funny. I love uh, Eminem. T, is, T Grizzly did him. Yeah, but he fucked up opening. I, I think it was cool. It was cool. It, it, it was him. It was Sada, him. I don't know what he did on that one. He just did some crazy yeah, shit Sada, on that bitch. I love you, Sada. Dog. Come on the show, but I didn't think you really did too much on that. On that, I other. wish they would have. I wish. Shout out to Big Sean, bro. He he did. Bowie James did his thing on there. Yeah, Big I see what Big Sean was saying was doing, was trying to you know put the city on and get niggas a a big. You know what I'm saying? Platform as far as like showcasing their skills and shit. Right. I understand that. I think Vez should have been on there. He should have been on there. I would put him on there in front of a couple of niggas. I ain't going to name names, but I would put him on there. Yeah. I would put Vez on I would put Stress Money. I would put Virgil on that bitch too, cuz. If you still if you still rapping. <laughs> I would have, um, 
I would have, I would have, I'd have helped ir- arrange the track though for sure. Mm-hmm. My um, shout out to my homeboy Wit. Wit, uh, he was one of the arrangers. No, bro. I feel like that's your next thing though. I feel like that's your next thing as far as like music. I feel like you, you are gonna be like a nigga who like arrange shit, mm-hmm. set shit up, write shit. Like I feel like you wanna be behind the scenes. Like you wanna. You wanna you don't wanna necessarily take the credit, but you wanna be like involved in it, but then be in the background. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for shout sure. out to my nigga Cheese. My nigga Cheese, he a background ass nigga though. Like he wanted to just... Cheese, my guy. I've been trying to get this nigga to make a. When Joe Kane came on, his nigga was way back there. He didn't want to show his fucking face, bro. Cheese like, didn't. Yeah, you know, he didn't. I respect him for that because he like this Joe Kane interview. I'm not gonna be in this, involved in that shit. That's fire. So um, <laughs> you ask me, uh, what do you what do you feel like you want to take? Shy versus everybody. Like, what? What do you want to take it, or is this just something that you like to come do every? I like I like to do this shit every Sunday, but I want to get paid for this shit too. Okay. But I want I want this shit to, to be like some shit like as far as like Detroit rappers or just rappers in general. If you come in the, in the, in Detroit or if you're a Detroit rapper, if you got some shit dropping, I I want to feel like you got to come here to drop some shit. Sweet. You know what I'm saying? If you a payroll, if you a Vezo, if you a Blade a Blade Junior, <laughs> if you a T Grizzly, if you a Big Sean, I feel like. You gotta come here to promote some shit before you go anywhere else. And I feel like uh-huh. if you up and coming, you gotta come here too. Sweet. And I yeah. feel like I fuck with it. We were talking about like niggas spinning people. I feel like if I was a he back at it, Joe. No, no, no. I feel like if I was a um, DJ BJ, niggas would make sure they come here. Don't do that. So my thing is me, my <laughs> me, and my cousin talk about this shit, dog. Shout out to my nigga uh, Maurice Airrod, my cousin. He was talking about like he got some shit started. <coughs> If you know the person you're working with might not be a big name, think just just imagine that nigga might be one day a big name. So you don't want to fuck that shit up because in the future you might have to go to that nigga for some shit. You feel me? So you don't want you don't want to fuck up with no relationships, big or small. But listen though, outside of you being my man, mm-hmm. that's why I'm here. Yeah. You get them. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, why not? Yeah. I ain't doing shit else. I'm, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, I'm for right sure. Around, you know, I'm, I'm in the area. I'm yeah. Here. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the only thing y'all missed out on is y'all gifts. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. <laughs> if you just waited another day, you'd have had a, a oh you know, yeah, yeah. Hoodie, but I'm gonna still send it. I'm gonna still Hell send yeah. it. So shit, the, work. the last thing I, I kind of like initiated some new things, dog. It's called um, who would you rather be, dog? And I give you hmm. two names. You gotta pick one. Sweet. Who would you rather be, dog? Jay Z or Tech Nine? Jay Z. Okay. Who would you rather be, Neo or Chris Brown? Neil. All right. Who would you rather be? Juvenile or Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Okay. Okay. Who would you rather be? Michael Jackson or Prince? Michael Jackson. Okay. Prince was hella short. <laughs> 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 who would you rather be, dog? R. Kelly or Usher? I never want to be R. Kelly. <laughs> no. R. Kelly got some hits, though. Nobody can beat that nigga in the verses. Nobody. No, at all. Uh, Usher. <laughs> Who's you want to be? Luther Vandross or Freddie Jackson? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. A TV show. Who would you rather be? Fresh Prince of Bel Air or Martin? Fresh Prince. All Martin right. Broke. <laughs> San Francisco or Good Times? They both was broke. Um, <laughs> son, or who would I rather be? What you mean though? Who? What? Okay. I, as far as the as far as the show in general, San Francisco. Okay. Then, Chicago was real, man. Good times. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, what's that? Uh, I forgot the name of the project it was in. Dog. Green, yeah. Green, All right, green. the last one, dog. Last one. Who would you rather be? Chappelle show or Living Color? Hmm. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Eleven color. Okay. Uh-huh. You can talk about that already. Yeah. yeah. Putting your people on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's yeah. what I said. Hell yeah. Hell That's yeah. Exactly what and that, that nigga put people on for real, for real. For sure. All right. So we're going to go ahead. I ain't did this shit in a while. Top three. Give me your top three childhood crushes. <laughs> Brandy. Nigga, <laughs> sleep on Brandy. Brandy was nice in little Moesha, though. All right. I love Brandy. Brandy. Megan Good. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I hope you go right with this last one. I hope you go right. <laughs> my my three is Megan Megan Good, mm-hmm. Neil Long, mm-hmm. Jason Lyric, uh, motherfucking Jay Pickett. Jay Pickett. 
Yeah, I just like Brandy. And when she was in motherfucking grass with motherfucking my mans and that bitch naked, nigga, like. Yeah, you up. <laughs> you know, this nigga was a young pervert. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Brandy and Megan Good. I'm going to switch up, though. Give me your top five rappers. Mine is Big, J, Nas, and Tupac. Kanye West. Okay. Drake. Okay. Kendrick, J. Cole, Verdict. Yeah, okay, that's what's up. Right, yeah. My shit was uh, Ice Cube, DMX, Snoop Dogg, Lil Wayne, and Dog. The Game. The Game? You like The Game? The Game is like... My... I don't... I don't I, I... It's cool. Once it... I figured The Game out, I couldn't, like... Get me name dropping. I couldn't get with it. Yeah, I feel you. I couldn't get with it. All right, give me your top three old school TV shows. Hmm. <laughs> I had like older brothers and shit, yeah, yeah. so it's just like my shit. It changed every day. <laughs> um, if if uh, I'm trying to think of a show that'll come on that I will watch, like no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. What's going on? Uh, does wrestling count? Shit, raw. You about to say Raw's world? Raw for yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, Recess. Hell yeah, that shit was dope. Uh. <laughs> Bro, uh, Martin. Hell, you gotta go, Martin, dog. Give but you up. know what's crazy? I will watch. I will watch. Uh, it's crazy. I know Detroit is gonna kill me. I will watch Fresh Prince before I watch Martin. Mm. <laughs> See, Martin. Martin was no Martin, was cool, but yeah. it was surrounded by just Martin. Yeah, everything it was, was Martin. Martin. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You might you watch Fresh Prince. You might have a show about. Ashley going through teenage shit. Yeah. Carlton going through taking his drugs or whatever. Yeah. Hillary going through it. Just, it, was more, it was more. It was more. I'm. I'm. I'm more family oriented. Yeah. Hell yeah. Give me your top three. Uh, top three movies. Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> Man. So you can always Friday. I said in I'll, next podcast, I can say and recite the whole movie of Friday from beginning to end, yeah. bro. No Friday. Friday, but no Friday. Um, poetic justice. Yeah. That's my shit. And um, Nigga, the wood. Chicago, Chicago got his ass but beat. Duh. The wood, yeah. my shit, bro. Yeah. Damn, that's a that's a good shit. Yeah. That's some good shit. I think I um I put Friday, the wood, and I probably put uh, Starship Redemption. Oh, you like them horror movies, huh? That, that shit was crazy. He was in jail. Yeah, nigga. I don't get with Nigga it. went through football fields full of motherfucking sewer shit. Like he yeah, went through some shit. That didn't convince me to want to watch it. <laughs> Give me your Nacho. This last one, Nacho. Artists, but top three albums. Life After Death, Blueprint. <laughs> Hella funny. Um, damn. College Dropout. Dog, the reason I say Blueprint, he say Reasonable Doubt, dog. But Blueprint. He wasn't, he, wasn't, he needed Blueprint. His top three albums are Blueprint, Reasonable Doubt, and 444. 444 is fire. Yeah. The yeah, four for four. Nope. I ain't gonna be fake with y'all. Four for four was top heavy. Once it started getting to the bottom, I was just like, all it's right. like, all right, I'm cool. American yeah. Gangster. Sort That's of why nigga Lance. Shout out my nigga Lance. Uh, my cousin. That nigga always talk about uh, American Gangster. American gangster, gangster but you ever notice Jay Z is like the only artist we do that to? Yeah. Like his like his fucking albums are just like chronological Bibles. Like you just gotta <laughs> like, what's Jay Z yeah. best shit? It's like yeah. you don't ever be like, what's Tupac best shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, to me, people sleep on Tupac. Um, um, Thug Life. My favorite Tupac guy on Me Against it, the World. It's Me Against the World, but then after that, it's not even All Lies on Me. It's Thug Life. Then All Lies on Me. Okay. And it, and strictly for my niggas, it's really like kind of going for the shit that's going on right now. I got one for you. What up? Keep living. College ain't for everybody. Nice. Ooh. I'm gonna keep living. Keep living. Cause you really, I think you rap about like your oh, shit, right? Like, <laughs> no, like I think that that's, that's <laughs> really, I think college for anybody is like your introduction, but I think keep living is like what you was really going through at that time. Oh man, it hurt. Yeah, and you as 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 a, as a person who listens to music, you want to you want to hear when the motherfucking artist is hurting. Damn, you want to hear that shit? It made good music. It made good music, bro. Like damn, that nigga was really going through some shit. That nigga was damn near dead. <laughs> damn. <laughs> What's the best song you feel like on Keep Living? I want to say the uh, either Jody or the or the uh, the intro. Mm, the only two songs I like the you talk about. I like the 48 bars though. See what he did. I like the 48 bars. 
That shit was cold too. That's what's up. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> but the, the, the shit, cause I, 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 I like songs that relate to me. Okay. You feel me? So my mom and dad breaking up, it really had me thinking. Like, damn, what if my mom was this person to him, or what if he was this that you know make you think? That was, a, that, and was then, that was more fire than what I thought it was. And then you can sit and think about your own shit. Like you said, you said what if your dad was this, what if your mom was this, but then what if you was that person to your your kid's mom? You mm. feel me? Mm -hmm. So you got and that one you kind of relate to all three sides. So you want your mom to be with somebody special, but nigga, what if you that person your mom couldn't be with? That sounds wild. <laughs> yeah, for real though, like for real. What if I'm that nigga? What if I'm my dad and my dad and like I said, my mom couldn't really like kind of like be with my dad for real. I'm telling my mom to get rid of this nigga, but I'm him. Hmm. You feel me? So a lot of times we talk about you talking about depression and you talking about therapy. I'm thinking about Charlemagne and shit. Like a lot of times we. We kind of shy away from therapy because we think that's like some bullshit. When a lot of times we need that shit because a lot of times you talk to niggas on the block, you talk to uh, niggas who going to give you the answer that you want, but you really need some shit for real. Because I look to this nigga for some, for, some, for some answers, but he might just give me what I want to hear, but I need some real shit, like a real, a real person who can be like, you know what I'm saying, you wrong or you this or you that, but you looking for somebody who kind of like agree with you. Right. You feel me? A lot of times we do that shit. So, you know, you get some real shit on motherfucking Shivers, everybody podcast, the realest podcast in the real, fuck all your other podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you don't let me on that bitch and really fuck y'all niggas, dog. And if you block me, fuck y'all niggas too, because the niggas that block me, good. They block you? Hell yeah, I don't know why. What the hell you do? Shit, just, <laughs> just been a real nigga. Damn. So, <laughs> hey, I got this little app that I, I go and check every day for niggas who, like, like, Unfriend you, just to, just to see who who unfriended me, because on my podcast page I'm not gonna follow celebrity celebrities. I follow celebrities on my regular page. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't following me, I ain't gonna follow you back. I'm gonna delete your ass. Damn, that's how it is, dog. <laughs> that's fucked up. So last question I'm gonna ask you, dog. Yeah, fuck y'all niggas who unfollow me too, dog. You know you know y'all are. <laughs> uh, drunk moment or high moment. A funny story when you was one or the other. Either you were drunk or you was high. I don't have no stories high. Like, for real, for That's real. That's cool. I ain't even like smoking. <laughs> Felt like a fucking follower. Yeah. I ain't like it. But, um, drunk. Give me, give me a good drunk moment when you was, you couldn't walk. I don't. <laughs> I don't really got no drunk story. All my drunk stories end in fucking. I don't really have like all the like embarrassing moments yeah. like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Only I, thing I, I can think of being drunk as hell uh, the night after prom. Yeah. And um, hella drunk. Yeah. My fucking condom fell off in her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can like. Just super bent drunk. All right, let me tell you, let me let me ask you this. Then I know you could probably think of this. How was? Oh yeah, and then one time. Uh, <laughs> Mo mo fucking shit. Uh, <laughs> I woke up with a blood bath on my fucking shirt. Damn. Yeah. What was it? Because he was on a period, or that was our I first time. I don't know. When we never discussed it. Okay. I don't know. Like seriously, we <laughs> yeah. never discussed it. Like I don't even think she knew that she bled. Oh, she had to know. She yeah, bled yeah. All of them. She didn't we, we didn't talk about it. Like, hey, you see this shit? Yeah. My man's actually noticed it first. Yeah. Like So uh, I have one of those. I ain't gonna say nothing though. Yeah, my homeboy, <laughs> my homeboy, he actually was messing with my home, well, my friend, my homegirl. Yeah. And um, they slept out in the car on some drunk shit. Yeah. Me and old girl slept in the crib. He came in the next morning because they was in the driveway still. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He came in the next morning like, I'm like, oh, Duh. shit. So Fuck I just up. went to the other room and just changed my shirt and shit. We never discussed it. And I never even seen her since. For real, for real. Let me ask you this, Dan. This is the last question I'm gonna ask you before we get off this mud. What is your approach on a feature or getting a feature on your song? Do you look to kill or do you look to even the vibe? Back in my young days, I used to want to kill, but now I just be want to make a bit, the best song. Yeah, I feel you. I low key be wanting a feature to kill me. Yeah. I yeah. want them to shine. Yeah. I want you to do what you got paid for or yeah. what you what I needed you to do. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm always holding my own. Yeah, for sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I want you to shine. Yeah. 
Hell because no. that's what's gonna bring the song out. That's what's up, man. And uh, you shit. don't wanna, you don't wanna, because when you get a feature, you, 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 you trying to get their crowd. Yeah. So you, you don't to wanna get them at their sure worst, and them, then they crowd be like, yeah, oh, he was trash as hell on that you song. The, you get the best of what they can, they can bring to the table. Right. I feel you. I feel you, man. And you got watch me work TV. Network. Watch me network. I'm, no, I've been drinking this fucking effing dog. That's all. Hey, hey, fifty dog. Give us a motherfucking deal, bro. We've been drinking your shit like five episodes in a row, dog. So tell tell the people where you can find your uh, your 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 network, your music. You can find me on IG, at Watch Me Network TV, or at Ver- what's my name on Instagram? Verdict uh, <laughs> underscore Verdict underscore underscore. And on Facebook, don't really follow me on Facebook for real, cause that's just yeah, you be, be on that bitch. So you got two underscores name up. Two underscores after verdict on Instagram. So once again, that's underscore verdict underscore underscore, mm. and then that's Watch Me Network TV. Okay, and you got a lot of shit coming out on the Watch Me Network. You know what? Follow me on Facebook. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> verdict Whitfield on Facebook. Yeah. And then I got Watch Me Network TV on Facebook as well. Okay. Okay. What's what's some uh, some last shit you want to tell people, dog? Watch Me Network. <laughs> Go ahead, throw the motherfucking mask, cause like you got you been doing. <laughs> you got the T-shirt. Get the motherfucking clothes and shit, dog. Yeah, man, you know. Got the mask. I'm, a, I'm actually going to do a, um, a limited edition. I'm going to uh, press up like 12 hoodies. Yeah. And just do a limited edition, so I'll be looking out for that. Just a black, a regular hoodies. I'm not trying to sell no merch right now. You oh, feel yeah. what I'm saying? I just oh, yeah. I just want to do a one-time only thing. Like, boom. Yeah. Got some merch if you want to fuck with it. If you yeah. don't, it just pile up in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit. People don't understand that part. <laughs> Shit, and he, it's just gonna be sitting here in the motherfucking closet. Nigga like you know? chilling that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And my shit, dog, like my shit, man. If you fuck with that one chick, she ain't she ain't right for you. It might not be the one. You fuck with that second one, she trash. That third one, that's gonna charm? be that's gonna be your motherfucking wife, cuz. Shot rest the motherfucker everybody. See what he did there. <laughs> Two, three, man, this shit so ignorant. That's the finest motherfucker I ever seen in a club in a minute. Sixty seconds done pass and I'm still staring at that ass. But watch out! Started from the bottom, but the only place that we headed is up. Guarantee that you fall in love. Cause when I penetrate the middle, it's gonna make you say, uh. Huh. I just let my head down. I don't do the cap. When I walk in this bitch, they like, who's that? Taking holes way back, cut into a lie. I wanna beat it like boom bap, true that. You hella stellar, baby, you must got your groove back. And I just got paid, I ain't a new jack, nor Johnny Kim. It's obvious if you read the fine print, it'll tell you that I'm the hold up. All I do is put in work like assignments. Nailing holes to the wall with this nine inch. Women claim to be a dime, just a pretty penny. Lil' mama, that's nonsense, I'm too cold. Then I'm stuck. I ain't stutter when I'm up inside them guts. You be like, da 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 da. Damn. 